taking money out through hawala route uh, funding of uh, these terror activities now the workers of congress party are being detained we are showing the pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at shahin bagh these workers are raising slogans against uh, the Bayern Munich won the 2022 edition of the Bundesliga in Germany with this win being their 10th in a row it was their 32nd win of the title overall here's a look at how they celebrated as Bayern Munich was seen celebrated at the Allianz Arena in Munich the team took to one of the corners of the field showcasing the trophy of the 2022 Bundesliga Cup The title has been the 10th consecutive win in a row. The win also happened to be the 32nd one since the league began in 1963. Bayern forward Thomas Müller moved towards the stand and handed the trophy to one of his supporters. As the supporter lifted the trophy, the crowd was seen chanting and cheering to celebrate the victory. Midfielder Leon Goretzka shared his thoughts about the win. Man sagt ja immer, das ist eigentlich der ehrlichste Titel über ein ganzes Jahr hinweg wirst du für deine Leistungen ausgezeichnet und ähm, ja, das heute wieder mit den Fans hier feiern zu dürfen, ist schon noch mal eine andere Nummer. Ähm, zwei Jahre mussten wir es jetzt künstlich irgendwie äh, uns ja vorstellen, dass alle vom Fernseher sitzen, jetzt endlich wieder alle da. So muss es sein und hat richtig Spaß gemacht. The team won the trophy after a long season ending in a draw in a match against Stuttgart with both sides having scored two goals each. Agency report Republic TV. You're watching Republic TV coming up after this um, Morning Express with Nupur stay tuned. Oh, good morning, Rukma. Thank you for that. And in fact, we've got a lot lined up for you over the next one hour. Here's a glimpse of what's coming up. Punjab is on high alert after the blast of the police headquarters in Mohali, the NIA, to probe the suspected RPG attack. नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहाँ शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू राकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of mumbai it's being done in north mumbai in goregaon and malad and borivali it's also been done in south bombay passive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs uh, uh, taking money out through hawala route uh, funding of uh, these terror activities Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing the pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus um, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू राकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो 
लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के आक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को आक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ Punjab is on high alert after a blast at the police headquarters in Mohali the NIA had to probe probe the suspected RPG attack The Gyan Bayapi hearing continues in Varanasi today court to decide on removal of the commissioner Demolition drive continues in New Delhi today anti encroachment drive is planned in all four zones of South Delhi Sedition hearing continues in the top court today after a rare intervention from the Prime Minister. Amit Shah announces the digitization of the census as 50% of the population could respond to questionnaires on their mobile phones. And the East Coast braces for Cyclone Asani. Heavy rainfall is predicted in the next two days. Good morning and welcome you are watching Republic TV this is the morning express I'm Nupur Talwar Suri now in a rare intervention the prime minister has asked for a relook at the sedition law the government is now set to reexamine the law the center meanwhile has asked the supreme court not to take up sedition cases here's more Today in the Supreme Court a rare occurrence happens. The MHA files a three-page affidavit in the sedition debate in that the prime minister says he believes that it's time for colonial hangover to be shed and any outdated laws to be struck down. Adding to this the prime minister also said that the government is taking all action to re-examine and reconsider the sedition law. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asked to re-examine and reconsider the provision of sedition law, a move which could initiate a new set of developments in the area of civil liberties and personal rights. Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju said the Prime Minister urged to remove the obsolete sedition law, adding that the government will ensure that the sovereignty and integrity of the nation is preserved while re-examining and reconsidering the law on sedition. Prime Minister Modi ji has clearly stated and directed that we will reconsider and re-examine the provisions of the sedition law. Prime Minister Modi ji has already taken a decision to remove all the obsolete and colonial laws which are irrelevant in today's time. The centre also told the Supreme Court that reviewing and repealing old laws is an ongoing process and that the government of India has already scrapped 1500 laws since 2014 and 15. The affidavit further reads that the government intends to work towards shedding the colonial baggage at a time when the nation is gearing up to mark 75 years of independence. Bureau report, Republic TV. Now there was a suspected blast at the intelligence wing office of the Punjab police in Mohali. The blast which was reportedly uh, conducted using a rocket propelled grenade took place on the third floor of the building. A rocket-propelled grenade hit the intelligence wing headquarters of Punjab police in Mohali, causing damage to one of the floors of the building. No one, however, was injured in the explosion which took place at 7.45 p.m. A blast was reported in Punjab police's intelligence headquarters in Mohali in sector 77 of Monday evening. According to the police, this explosion took place at around 7.45 in the evening. A rocket-propelled grenade was found at the third floor of the building. Two suspects are reported to have arrived in a car and a shot was fired from about 80 meters away. It was not targeted but a random shot was fired. The intelligence officials and investigators are currently going through the CCTV footage. The National Investigation Agency will send a team to the intelligence office to probe the matter. Just to take you through 
the extent of the damage that was caused after this blast. This blast shattered the windows of the headquarters as glasses were shattered not just on the third floor but also on the fourth floor of the building. The DGP has been in touch with the Chief Minister who sought for a, a detailed report on this particular incident. At this point in time, there has been no official word whether at all this is a terrorist attack that was carried out. In fact, the police has called this as a minor explosion resulting in no injuries. But just to put this into perspective, why exactly this has raised an alarm? That's only because over the last several months, there have been several terror link incidents that have taken place in the state of Punjab, starting from 28th of March, where three hand grenades, IEDs that were recovered, along with about 1.5 kilogram of explosives that were recovered from Ambala. On the 24th of April, explosive device near the Purari jail was recovered in Chandigarh. Then on 5th of May, three improvised explosive devices in metallic container, 31 life ammunition, a country-made pistol, six mobile phones and 1.3 lakh rupees in cash uh, was found in Kandal. And on 8th of May, 2.5 kilogram of IED in a bag was recovered from Taran Taran. As the police cordon off the area, an alert was sounded across the state. The explosion came close on the heels of the recovery of an explosive device near Burel Jail in Chandigarh on April 24th. With the news of blast, reactions started pouring in from across the country. Former Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh expressed shock over the explosion and urged Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan to take strict action against those who were behind this incident. Punjab Congress Chief Amrinder Singh Raja and former Punjab Home Minister and Congress MLA Sukhjinder Singh Randhawa dubbed the explosion as disturbing. Shiromani Akali Dal Chief Sukhbir Singh Badal too expressed concern over the incident. As investigation agencies continue with the probe, the recent brazen attacks on government premises are becoming a serious cause of concern. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Now, a court in Uttar Pradesh's Varanasi will continue hearing the Gyanvapi Mosque issue today. Now, this comes after a standoff outside the mosque when the inspection panel that visited the mosque uh, was uh, stopped to conduct the survey. A court in Uttar Pradesh's Varanasi will continue hearing the Gyanvapi Mosque survey issue today. This comes after the Varanasi District Court ordered a survey at Gyanvapi Masjid adjacent to the Kashi Vishwanath Mandir in Varanasi, an exercise that was halted by the administration amid protests on Sunday. This is the नष्ट किया गया और इसको नष्ट करने में छह दिन तक लड़ाई चली थी लगभग जब ये नहीं तोड़ पाए इतना पुराना स्ट्रक्चर मजबूत खड़ा था तो तोप से चुनार से तोप मगा करके इन्होंने पश्चिम तरफ से दागना शुरू किया हमारा इतना स्ट्रक्चर इतना ये कंप्लीट ध्वस्त कर दिया गया और यहाँ पर ये दरवाजा लगा करके बंद किया गया। a team of lawyers were denied entry inside the mosque amid massive protests. The survey order was served after five women filed a plea seeking permission to worship Hindu deities whose idols are located on an outer wall of the mosque. Earlier, a Varanasi court had ordered the continuation of videography and survey of areas outside Gyanwapi Masjid. Heavy police force was stationed in the area after a court-appointed official and a team of lawyers carried out an inspection near the area on Friday. अदालत अगर कोई गया है तो उसकी जिज्ञासा है उसको शांत करने के लिए न्यायालय जो आदेश करेगा उसके तहत हम कार्रवाई करेंगे और हम उसी कार्रवाई को आगे बढ़ाएंगे जो हमको निर्देश होगा माने न्यायालय का और कानून कोई हाथ में लेगा उसके खिलाफ कार्रवाई होगी ये बिल्कुल साफ मान लीजिए कि उत्तर प्रदेश में किसी को कानून से और सांप्रदायिक सौहार्द बिगाड़ने के लिए अगर किसी ने भी कोशिश की तो उसके खिलाफ कड़ी से कड़ी कानूनी कार्रवाई होगी and amid protest and sloganeering from either sides, all eyes are now on Varanasi court's hearing in the case due today. Bureau Report, Republic TV.
Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik has called health care one of the top priorities of his government. The Chief Minister said that he was consistently making efforts to provide affordable quality health services to people of the state. BJP party president JP Nadda after inaugurating the Atal Cancer Care Centre at Haryana's Ambala Cantonment has said that the hospital will not only benefit cancer patients from the state but also those from neighbouring states including Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. A fire broke out on the 14th floor of Jivesh building at Bandstand Road in Bandra. According to the Mumbai Fire Brigade Department, no casualties were reported in the incident. The reason for the fire is yet to be ascertained. The former Union Law Minister Ashwini Kumar has said that sedition law is a free country, was absolutely unnecessary and repeal or comprehensive revision uh, should be carried out by the central government. He said that the extent of abuse of the sedition law has come to a point where national consciousness continuing with colonial law in a free country seemed to be absolutely unnecessary. A blast occurred outside the intelligence department building of the Punjab police in Mohali. The police court in the off the area around the office. No damage has been reported uh, and investigations are being carried out by the police. Now, Russian President Vladimir Putin was seen walking around the other Russian citizens as they participated in the Immortal Regiment mask March in the country. Now, several citizens were seen carrying portraits of their family members who had taken part in the war under the Soviet Union. A special march was carried out around the Victory Day in Moscow. Known as the Immortal Regiment March in Moscow, the march commemorates those who died in World War II. Russian president was seen walking along with other citizens carrying the portrait of his father. The march was carried out at the Red Square in the city with several citizens carrying portraits of their family members who were victims in the Second World War. The Immortal Regiment March, meanwhile, was also seen being carried out in other countries such as Argentina. Russians were heard talking about the importance that the march holds. Cada familia soviética tiene muchos muertos en sus familias. Entonces, al salir con las fotos de los que perecieron o, o los que quedaron vivos o volvieron, eh, es, es motivo porque nosotros tenemos ese legado para que el mundo sepa que esa guerra no debe repetirse. Y más que nunca hoy. Obviamente me solidarizo con toda la gente que eh, ahora está sufriendo. De verdad, eh, es tremendo. Pero yo no, 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 no puedo decir más. Entiendo que son engañados, entiendo que eh, es un camino y una acción que sí había que hacer. Eh, espero que pronto se termine con menores eh, víctimas y menores pérdidas para la gente civil. The current celebrations mark the 77th anniversary of Soviet victory over the Nazi regime in Germany. Agency Report, Republic TV. Now, the French President Emmanuel Macron has said that it was unrealistic that Ukraine would soon join the European Union and propose the creation of a new political organization that could bring together countries on the continent that share European values. French President Emmanuel Macron said on Monday it was unrealistic that Ukraine would soon join the European Union and proposed the creation of a new political organization that could bring together countries on the continent that share European values. Macron spoke after the European Union's executive arm, the European Commission, said it aims to deliver a first opinion following Ukraine's request to become a member of the bloc in June. Mais même si nous lui accordions demain le statut de candidat, L'instruction est faite et je souhaite que nous allions vite à l'adhésion à notre Union européenne. Nous savons tous parfaitement que le processus leur permettant l'adhésion. The 27 European Union nations have been fully united in backing Ukraine's resistance to Russia's invasion. Adopting unprecedented economic sanctions against Moscow since the start of the war in February. But leaders are divided on how fast Brussels could move to accept Ukraine as a member and how swiftly the 27-nation bloc could sever energy ties with Moscow. 
European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said that she discussed Monday with Ukraine President Zelensky European Union support and Ukraine's European pathway. Auf der einen Seite sehen wir den Autokraten Wladimir Putin in Moskau seine Militär, sein Militär parodieren lassen. Das Einzige, was er anzubieten hat, seinen Bürgerinnen und Bürgern. Und auf der anderen Seite sehen Sie hier in diesem Europäischen Parlament eine Feier der Demokratie. Aus 27 Mitgliedstaaten, 24 verschiedene Sprachen, die Vertreterinnen und Vertreter von 450 Millionen Menschen haben hier ein Feuerwerk an Ideen, freier Rede, freien Überlegungen über unsere Demokratie gezeigt. Und das zeigt eben auch die Stärke, die wir haben. Hinter dieser Freiheit verbirgt sich eine wirtschaftliche Stärke, die wir dem militärischen Aggressor entgegensetzen. Und deshalb war der Tag heute ein ganz entscheidender. For now, Ukraine only has an association agreement with the EU, which is aimed at opening Ukraine's markets and bringing it closer to Europe. It includes a far-reaching free trade pact and helps to modernize Ukraine's economy. Macron said a fast-track procedure for Ukraine would lead to lowering standards, an idea he rejected. Instead, Macron proposed the creation of what he called a European political community, which would be open to countries who haven't joined the EU or those like the United Kingdom who have left it. Macron added that joining the new organization would not be linked with a future EU membership. The Ukrainian fast-track bid has received warm support in Eastern European countries, but European Union officials have stressed the process could take years, with unanimity among current members required to allow a newcomer in the club. Agency Report for Republic TV. Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally. A testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality. To apply, visit amity.edu. Good evening and welcome. The government has told the Supreme Court that it is reviewing the provisions of the controversial sedition law, section 124A. Now, this is historic and I'll tell you why, but not, not for the reasons the lobby is imagining. The government has informed the Supreme Court that the process of reviewing the law is happening in forums that are appropriate and where such reconsideration is constitutionally permitted. Now, what does this mean? This means very simply that very politely the government, that is the executive, the highest executive in this country, is telling the judiciary, the highest judiciary in this country, that as of now, the judiciary need not step into the area of directing the government what to do. This is very significant. Because very often an impression that has gone on over years and decades is that governments don't do anything, governments don't act, so the judiciary is compelled to step in into areas of the executive, often into areas where the primary responsibility is that of the elected government. But governments don't do anything. So the judiciary has to step in. But now that the government is doing its job and not just doing, 
but doing it very well, but also informing the court that thousands of outdated laws have already been revoked by the government. The court truly has no reason to act or to step in. So I feel that's the correct way of looking at what the government has done today. Not this premature, unresearched celebration that sedition laws will go. That's some other discussion altogether. And on that, the government is going through the due process. Ladies and gentlemen. Bulldozer ke bahar saamne bed gaye hain Congress ke neta. Wahan par keh rahe hain ki hum aage nahi chalne denge bulldozer ko. Koi notice nahi diya gaya hai. Aur hum yahan Shaheen baat ko target karne ki baat phir se Congress party ke neta kar rahe hain. Kis tarah se siyasi roop se ye bulldozer chalaya ja raha hai. Sirf Shaheen baat par chalaya ja raha hai. Jamia par chalaya ja raha hai. Ye baat keh rahe hain. The pictures of crashes taking place between police and workers of political parties. Police resorting to blackie charge removing these protesters. जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा But fresh tension has been reported in Bhatpara in West Bengal. Now, this after five people were injured in an incident of bombing by miscreants. According to eyewitnesses, two bombs were hurled. धाम चला छपाई करता है मार दिया बम हम ना देखा झमेला हुआ है हम ना देखा है कैमरा किसके साथ किसके हुआ ना मालूम नहीं है सर आपको कहाँ लगी चोट जी हाँ छब्बीस घंटे का पड़ा है छब्बीस घंटे का पड़ा है कितना टिच किया कितना टिच किया पड़ा है हम मालूम नहीं है कितना टिच पड़ा है हाँ छब्बीस घंटे in fact, Kishale now joins us from our Bangla newsroom. Kishale, good morning. Kishale, give us more details as to what the police is saying in terms of who uh, do they suspect to be behind this incident. Exactly, Nupur, what has been a history is that in in this area, there has been a history of violence, there has, been a his, there has been a history of chaos where bombs were being hurled and several illegal weapons were being uh, recovered before as well. Right now, what happened was two groups of miscreants who were under the influence of alcohol, as you said, they were drunk and they engaged in an altercation which, which escalated and then bombs were being hurled. But all the five people who were injured were common people. They were passing from that area when the, those bombs were hurled. Police are investigating this matter. All right, we run. Uh, we are running into some audio trouble over there. We're going to try and fix that. But here's what we know so far: there seems to be fresh tension uh, that's been reported in Bhatpara in West Bengal. Now, uh, Kishale, of course, was talking us through uh, the incident. I think he's back with us. Kishale, uh, tell us more. Uh, can you hear me, Nupur? Yes, absolutely. Go ahead, please. 
Okay, okay. So what happened exactly was yesterday night there was an altercation between two groups of miscreants, and it is being known that these two groups were actually under the influence of alcohol. And before this as well, formerly there were several incidents of altercation, several incidences of violence in this area of Kakinara and Bhatpara of North 24 Parganas, and this area is known to be chaotic. What the police is saying is that these two groups of miscreants are not related to any political party. However, these two groups Groups when they were engaging in altercation that escalated into hurling of bombs and five Absolutely. people, five so, common so people as far were as the investigations go currently, it does not appear to be political violence. Thank you very much, Kishale, for joining us. And here's a look at the top international news this morning. Chinese President Xi Jinping met uh, the German Chancellor Olaf Scholz via video conferencing. Now, in addition to bilateral ties and furthering trade and investments between two countries, the two sides also, dis also discussed the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. According to media reports, China has been working to promote peace and defuse tensions between Ukraine and Russia. More than 100 firefighters from 20 different fire departments responded to an overnight fire at the NRG Energy Plant in Fort Bend County in Texas, the United States of America. Officials said a coal unit caught fire on the roof before midnight. A spokesperson for the NRG, who owns and operates the plant, said that the station is being shut down and no injuries have been reported. Stocks deepened their losses on Wall Street. The benchmark index came off its fifth weekly loss in a row and renewed worries about China's economy piled on top of markets already battered by rising interest rates. Now, stocks uh, fell across Europe and much of Asia, as did everything from old economy crude oil to new economy Bitcoin. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said uh, during an official visit to the non-NATO member Moldova that consequences of Russia's war against Ukraine escalating are too frightening to contemplate. The UN chief who arrived in Moldova's capital also said in a joint press conference with Prime Minister Natalia Gavrilita that the impact of Russia's war in neighboring Ukraine is profound and far-reaching. Relatives of people said still missing in an explosion at a luxury hotel in Cuba's capital clung on to hope that their loved one might still be found alive. More bodies were pulled out from the ruins of Hotel Saratoga, bringing the official death toll of the powerful explosion at the iconic building to 35. And here's some sports news. Now, upcoming star Carlos Alcaraz recently won the Madrid Open by defeating Alexander Zverev. Now, the rising popularity of this tennis player has been addressed by tennis star Rafael Nadal. Here's more. Carlos Alcaraz recently earned the title at the Madrid Open against Alexander Zverev. Let everyone know he was ready to take up the major leagues. Tennis champion Rafael Nadal addressed his rising popularity in a recent interview. First, I think he's young, he's new and all the new things uh, are much more interesting than older things uh, without a doubt. When you see a new car always looks better, when you see a, a new phone always looks better than the, than the old ones. So it's something that it's, it's normal in this life and uh, I, I have, um, uh, I can't complain all, <laughs> at all about that uh, and at the same time I am happy to have uh, somebody like, like him from my country achieving all the things that he is achieving. He then spoke about the presence of the ones currently at the top of the game and the time they will remain in the game. Of course, I think for the fans and for the sport, uh, it's better if I am playing, if Roger is playing or if Novak is playing because uh, saying from humble position, but at the same time we are part of the history of our sport. So uh, it's good that the best players in any sport are on, on court. But the situation change, is changing and uh, we are getting old too and uh, new generations are coming strong. But of course Roland Garros will be uh, such an important event. But there is, uh, I think, uh, a lot of candidates. While Alcaraz will not be taking part in the Italian Open, Nadal will feature in the tournament as part of his preparation for the French Open.
Agency Report for Republic TV. Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally. A testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality. To apply, visit amity.edu. We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Park. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting. And here's a quick recap of the top headlines at half past eight this morning. Punjab is on high alert after a blast at the police headquarters in Mohali. The NIA is to probe the suspected RPG attack. Gyan Vyapi hearing continues in Varanasi today. The court is to decide on the removal of the commissioner. Demolition drive continues in New Delhi today. Anti-encroachment drive planned in all four zones of South Delhi. Sedition hearing will continue in the top court today after a rare intervention from the Prime Minister. Amit Shah announces digitization of the census as 50% of the population could respond to questionnaires on their mobile phones. And India's east coast braces for Cyclone Asani, heavy rainfall predicted over the next two days. Going back to the big story that we are tracking this morning, we are getting more information on the RPG attack uh, that was uh, aimed at a police station in Mohali. Uh, what we understand is that uh, they fired from uh, the rocket-propelled grenade and thereafter fled in a white car from the blast site. So these are details that are just coming in. We're also now learning that perhaps the NIA could be asked to investigate this audacious attack. Let me go across to Amandeep. Amandeep, this was an audacious attack and it's being uh, it's something that's causing a great deal of worry because the manner in which this happened this was a, a RPG attack and the attackers we understand actually fled after firing the rocket Absolutely have learned from our police sources in highly police uh, place police sources that the attackers spent good amount of time outside the intelligence office and meanwhile i can show you the visuals also this is the building on the right side and it is just approaching to the road and in fact that car white car was parked outside the uh, office in front of the office and attackers just came down stepped down from the car they have fired the rpg and they fled in a white car just from this road as well. This is the escape route of the attackers. And meanwhile, till midnight, Punjab police was trying to find out the rocket the RPG launcher and they have searched the area. That is the reason they have cordoned the entire area nearby the intelligence office. But so far, they have not recovered the RPG launcher. But yes, a fresh detail is emerging. A white car was used by the attackers. They spent good amount of time. They have parked the car at a side roadside and then they fired the RPG at fourth floor of the intelligence office and later they managed to flee from the spot without any intervention of the, the security. Nupur, the security always remained deployed outside the gate 24 by 7 and in fact uh, when the uh, RPG launched it was a complete failure of the security that they have not spotted the registration number of the car but yes it has been cleared by the highly police sources that white car is involved into this attack and attackers managed to flee from this road as well just because they par parked the road, parked the car on a roadside. They spent good amount of time outside the intelligence office without any intervention. They stepped down from the car, they fired the RPG on the fourth floor of the intelligence office, they managed to flee in a very smooth manner. And mm. now police is trying to uh, investigate the matter, they are trying to uh, pick up those people who are actually involved into the terror right. activities just because one thing is very much clear, the motive of the attack attackers were to spread the terror among the police and right. that is 
the reason they Absolutely. have fired just you know in what, front of Absolutely. You know what, as you're pointing out, this is not just a security failure. It's also an intelligence failure. Uh, thank you for the moment, Amandeep, for joining us. All right, Amandeep, in, in fact, if I could come back to you, as I was earlier saying, this is also an intelligence uh, failure because, you know, an RPG is actually a shoulder-fired anti-tank weapon system and there will be a lot of questions as to how uh, this uh, uh, weapon actually reached outside the intelligence office. Absolutely, Nupur. Absolutely. The point is that RPG is cannot be fired uh, by a running car. They park the car on a roadside and then they step down. And in fact, uh, at least two persons uh, should be there to uh, fire the RPG with the launcher. It is a shoulder. Uh, uh, it is a shoulder launcher. They have to put it on the shoulder and then they have to fire. And this is what they did yesterday evening. And the most important point is Nupur that they spent good amount of time outside the intelligence office but nobody was there to question them that what they are doing and when they put out the rocket uh, RPG launcher as well nobody noticed and nobody questioned them they smoothly fired the RPG they managed to flee in a white car this is the fresh details and in fact a complete failure of the intelligence as well as the security if they are not able to secure the intelligence office how could they secure the people of Punjab the, the state that is having a border right. state adjoining the 600 kilometers border with the Pakistan this is a big question and big loopholes in the police uh, intelligence as well as the security. Yes, Absolutely. Nupur. As you're pointing out, uh, security challenges always are high in a border state. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, moving on, the centre told the court yesterday that provisions of the law which pertain to Section 124A will be re-examined and reconsidered. A day before the Supreme Court considers whether it needs to re-examine the constitutional validity of the sedition law, the Centre told the Supreme Court on Monday that the provisions of the law which pertains to Section 124A will be re-examined and reconsidered. This comes after Prime Minister issued instructions to re-evaluate the necessity of the colonial law in present times. On Monday, the government had also asked the court not to consider the petitions challenging the colonial law and to wait for the reconsideration exercise to be conducted by the centre. The Supreme Court had fixed May 10 as the date to hear petitioners who are challenging the constitutional validity of the sedition law. The centre, in its three-page affidavit to the Supreme Court, said it is committed to maintaining and protecting the sovereignty of the nation as well as removing outdated colonial laws. It mentioned Prime Minister Modi's commitment to shed colonial baggage that has passed its utility as a part of the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahoshav celebrations. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Well, in fact, as the anti-encroachment drive continues in Delhi Shaheen Bagh, uh, the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party are continuing to stall it. Here's a report. <laughs> A massive drama unfolded after the protests erupted in Delhi's Shaheen Bagh ahead of the anti-encroachment drive by the South Delhi Municipal Corporation on Monday. While the Congress and the Aam Aadmi Party have accused BJP for targeting a community, BJP has retaliated by saying that the opposition parties are practicing appeasement politics. धन्यवाद करते हैं माने उन्होंने इनको उल्टे पैर बैरक लौटाने का काम किया और कानून के तहत जो कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए जो निगम ने किया है उसका भी उन्होंने स्वागत किया है क्योंकि निगम हमेशा कानून के तहत कार्रवाई करता है क्योंकि कानून के तहत इनको जो हटाने के लिए कोई नोटिस देने की जरूरत नहीं होती कानून जो एमसीडी एक्ट है 321 322 अभी वहाँ पर एडिशनल फोर्सेस कुछ पहुँची हैं जैसे हमारे कर्मचारियों ने बताया है लेकिन तय तो तब होगा जब रूबरू बात होगी और वो रिटर्न में क्या लिख के देते हैं। Earlier on May 4th, the South Delhi Municipal Corporation began the first phase of demolition drive that is scheduled to continue till May 13th. In the first phase of the demolition drive, several parts of South Delhi, including the Karni Singh Shooting Range area, in Tuglaka Bagh and around Meheroli Badarpur Road were covered. Hundreds of people, rather thousands, came out and the main road of Shaheen Bagh connecting to the national capital was blocked. For a short period of time, it felt as if 
Shaheen Bagh, there is a different set of laws. But the government has made it clear that whatever is legal is legal and illegal construction and encroachment will not be allowed. Agency Report, Republic TV. You are watching Republic TV and this is the Morning Express. Still to come, the east coast of India braces for Cyclone Asani. A heavy rainfall is predicted over the next two days. And Amitya announces digitization of census as 50% of the population could respond to questionnaires on their mobile phones. वहाँ पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहाँ शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों का अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया आरोप चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai. It's being done in North Mumbai, in Goregaon, in Malad and Borivali. It's also been done in South Bombay. Massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs, uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route, uh, funding of uh, these terror activities. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus um, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया आरोप चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं News just coming in. In fact, top sources have now confirmed the Khalistan link to the Mohali rocket attack. Sources tell Republic TV that the role of the wanted pro-Khalistan terrorist Rinda is also under the scanner and a very active pro-Khalistan wing is involved in this attack. I'm going to go back to Amandeep who's reporting from Mohali. Amandeep, give us more details. 
Well, look what the point is. During the preliminary investigation, it has been cleared yesterday evening itself that a terror attack, it was a clear-cut terror attack and pro-Khalistani elements were involved into that. And even on the top of the list is uh, Harvinder Singh, Rinda and all the gangsters. Basically, the intelligence and Punjab police are now scrutinizing and checking the connections and verifying the role of all the active gangsters in Punjab. And Rinda is on the top of the list of the gangsters just because he is involved into the recent incidents happened in Karnal arrest, in Tarantaran arrest, even the people from, from the Ferozpur arrested in All right, Karnal. I'm going to come back to you in just a bit. Abhishek uh, is also joining us now. Abhishek, this is not just an audacious attack on the police forces, but it is also something that's extremely uh, worrying. Well, Lupur, yes, and uh, uh, if you see the series of uh, attacks and terror incidents that have taken place over the last in Punjab, in fact, I won't say a few months, but uh, even a uh, couple of years, uh, a clear pattern emerges of uh, Khalistani terrorists uh, and, uh, uh, you know, fugitives of law being harbored by Pakistan uh, uh, and uh, now being used uh, to carry out uh, these separatist and terrorist activities uh, uh, from their soil. So, uh, there is a pattern emerging and agencies believe that this is also an act uh, uh, by one of those uh, cells uh, of Khalistanis activated, possibly going again to Harvinder Singh Rinda because we have seen in the last three instances at least uh, uh, his clear hand. Uh, so, so agencies moving in that direction. Uh, this is a serious matter given the fact that a rocket propelled grenade has been used. Uh, uh, this has not happened in Punjab for uh, decades, uh, one would say, and the security agencies are concerned. And uh, that's why we are seeing doubling down in terms of uh, uh, the, the NIE also joining the investigation. In fact, within a couple of hours, uh, a team of uh, National Investigation Agency had reached the spot and uh, has picked up tabs. Uh, it's possible that the case might get transferred ultimately to NIE. But as of now, Punjab Police investigating with the support of central agencies and uh, a clear link emerging of uh, a Khalistani cell having executed this uh, uh, incident yesterday in Lupo. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Abhishek, uh, not just the fact that this was a rocket propelled grenade where these attackers actually came out of a white car, they fired this rocket and nobody appears to have seen them because we don't even know the number, registration number of the car. But apart from that, this particular building actually housed senior officials uh, with the rank of, uh, you know, about uh, IG rank officials. And not just that, there are obviously that are questions that are going to be asked about how densely populated this area actually is. Well, yes, Lumpur. So uh, this this is a, an additional aspect of investigation and actually indicates towards uh, the kind of uh, ground support uh, uh, the, the the attackers uh, had uh, or uh, the kind of recce they would have done. So that's an added uh, area of concern uh, which the investigators are looking at. Uh, but as I said, till the time that at least a couple of arrests are made, which we are told uh, um, uh, could be very soon, in fact, uh, today itself, uh, uh, given the trails that uh, uh, they have, uh, or the leads they have, uh, I think uh, it's just a matter of time before this case really gets solved. But uh, preliminary investigation and some uh, chatter picked up uh, on uh, surveillance uh, clearly indicates towards uh, a Khalistani cell that was activated, which has executed this, and uh, the, the police, uh, with the support of central agencies, is moving in that direction. Absolutely, Abhishek. Also, uh, what's worrying is that the blast comes on the heels of the arrest of a number of suspected terror operatives from Punjab and Haryana uh, recently. For the moment, Abhishek, thank you for joining us. You are watching Republic TV and still to come, sedition hearing continues in the top court today after a rare intervention from the Prime Minister. And a demolition drive continues in New Delhi. Anti-encroachment drive is planned in all four zones of South Delhi. locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai. It's being done in North Mumbai and Goregaon and Malad and Borivali. It's also being done in South Bombay. Massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs, uh, uh, 
taking money out through Hawala route, uh, funding of uh, these terror activities. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this person and then this person will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पे मैंने भाष्य किया है We are showing you the pictures of this protest, which is right now taking place uh, outside Shahin Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress Party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. A uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shahin Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. A uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These work. Now Delhi's Chief Minister and Aam Aadmi Party convener Arvind Kejriwal has just tweeted and he said that Mohali blast is a cowardly act of those who want to disturb peace of Punjab. The Aam Aadmi Party's Punjab government will not allow those people's wishes to be fulfilled. Peace will be maintained under all circumstances with the cooperation of all people of Punjab and culprits will be punished severely. So that's the first reaction that we are getting from the Aam Aadmi Party convener Arvind Kejriwal. Do remember that there is a new government that is in place in uh, uh, Punjab and uh, there are of course uh, questions being asked as to the effectiveness uh, so far because we have seen a large number of arms and ammunition being recovered from Punjab and this uh, attack of course uh, uh, that took place at the intelligence office of the Punjab police uh, raises more questions. Now what we understand is that uh, perhaps uh, sources are telling Republic TV that uh, Rinda's role is under the lens as far as this particular RPG attack is concerned.
You are with Republic TV and up next, the Gyan Vapi hearing continues in Varanasi today. The court is to decide on the removal of the commissioner. And the east coast of India braces for Cyclone Asani. Heavy rainfall is predicted for the next two days. locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai. It's being done in North Mumbai, in Goregaon, in Malad and Borivali. It's also been done in South Bombay. Massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs, uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route, uh, funding of uh, these terror activities. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus um, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पर मैंने भाष्य किया है We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Park. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. Uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Park. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. Uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of... Uh... NI to probe Mohali blast. Top sources tell Republic it was an RPG attack. Rocket launcher not yet recovered. Top sources confirm role of active pro Khalistan ring. Role of wanted terrorist Rinda under the lens.
Gyan Vapi hearing continues in Varanasi today. Court to decide on removal of commissioner. Demolition drive continues in New Delhi today. Anti encroachment drive planned in all four zones of South Delhi. Sedition hearing continues in top court today after rare intervention from the Prime Minister. An East Coast braces for Cyclone Asani. Heavy rainfall predicted in the next two days. Welcome to live and breaking here on Republic TV and sources have confirmed the Khalistan link to the Mohali rocket attack. Sources tell Republic that the role of wanted pro-Khalistan terrorist Harvinder Singh Rinda is also under the scanner and a very active pro-Khalistan ring is involved in the attack. Attackers had done full recce of the area to verify possible escape routes and had selected the time when the security shift changes. Security shift of office changes at around 6 p.m. Attackers were aware about the change of security shift. That is the reason they fired from the front gate of the office. And Rinda's role is under the lens. Now over this, joining us is our correspondent Amandeep. Amandeep, when we talk about the pro-Khalistan, the Khalistan link, uh, it's uh, really very alarming. What details can you give us? Absolutely, absolutely. The point is this is very alarming stage for the state of Punjab just because pro-Khalistani activists and their activities are escalating every day in Punjab. Certain kind of recovery, certain kind of terror plots foiled by the police as well, but certain kind of attacks that were materialized by the pro-Khalistani activists, that is the worrisome situation for the state of Punjab. And the most important point is that certain kind of RPG attacks have never seen in Punjab after the terrorism. And in fact, after the terrorism, certain uh, this attack happened that is a clear clear cut indication and even what we have learned uh, from the senior officers is who has actually worked in the time of the terrorism in Punjab they reveal that the similar uh -huh. modest friendly was opted in this attack as well it was the time in the early 90s and the uh, late 80s when certain kind of RPG attacks happen in the Punjab to ambush the police stations and even to attack the police as well and uh, for from that time, from early 90s till now, no RPG attack identified or spotted in Punjab. But all of a sudden, it happened when pro Khalistani elements are active in Punjab and they are regularly supplying the explosive to carry out the terror plans. And in fact, they this is the another piece of their modest pendi that they always select a perfect time to attack to create the terror. The motive of this attack is to create the terror among the police so that they should stop their investigation into the pro Khalistani elements. And and in fact, they should stop doing the recoveries from cross, in fact, cross border recoveries of the explosives and the drugs. And even uh, the timing that we were mentioning that 6 p.m. when the shift security shift changes, they are just handing over the security to the new shift. That was the timing they have selected to attack, uh, attack just in, in front from the front gate of the office, just because at that time the security is changing. And even they got that time slot, they, they got that time to escape from the spot after attacking from the front side of the gate. I can show you the visuals as well. Police security is beefing up at the spot and in fact the area is still being searched by the police just because yesterday evening this attack happened uh, from the front gate. The RPG was fired from the front gate of the intelligence office through the launcher and in fact in attackers came in white car. They managed to flee from the spot just because they have already identified the possible escape routes. The Reiki was completely done by the attackers and even the time was selected so that security 
will not be able to identify them or will not be able to uh, in an active mode so that is the reason you can see additional forces has also called in to search the area just because the entire area the entire office has been cordoned off from all the angles no civilian or no other person is allowed to go inside just because still they are not able to find the uh, rpg launcher and they are trying to search the area so that at least some piece of evidence could be fine to identify this but the modest brandy the kind of attack it is clearly indication that this is these are not the gangsters these are not any kind of social elephants these are the pro khalistani activists who have carried out the attack at the intelligence office and the purpose of the attack was to spread the terror not to kill anyone just to create a terror among the police so that they should stop their activities against the pro khalistani activists just because certain inputs from the intelligence are being spreaded among the police and on the basis of that input certain kind of re recoveries were continuously happening from past many days 7.5 kg of explosive recovered in karnal with four arrest 2.5 kg of ex explosive recovered in tarantan with two arrest and certain more recoveries are happening every second day so that is the reason the police is still investigating now the the two angles in the investigation theory are emerging number one pro khalistani activist who are sitting in the pakistan they are trying to run their agenda in punjab and even they have connected to the punjab gangsters as well they have roped in the gangsters into their khalistani agenda and providing them all kind of logistics monetary supports weapon support explosives drugs everything is involved into this entire nexus so on these two angles the police is investigating this case they are they are now uh, verifying the details of the gangsters who are lodged in the nearby jails and even who are still on the run and in fact how many gangsters are involved into the pro khalistani activities just because harvinder singh rinda was also a normal gangster of punjab but now when he just uh, emerged into the agenda of khal pakistan he shifted his base to pakistan and started handling the people from there they actually hired the youth through the social media and then they asked them to carry out such kind of terror plans either in himachal pradesh either in kalnal telangana or in punjab their basic motive is to spread the khalistani agenda in punjab so that at least the movement can be revived just because of after early 90s this pro khalistani movement has been declined and even with the the finish of certain khalistani uh, forces khalistani liberation force khalistan zindabad force babar khalsa khalistan tiger force they all has been finished in the punjab they have lost their grounds but now they are trying to resume they are trying trying to restore their grounds in punjab by hiring the youth for such kind for such purpose and even they are offering good amount of money every second day sikh for justice general council is releasing a video that khalistan is coming back so many Many people are joining them. Their basic motive is to spread the terror in Punjab, to create the panic in Punjab, to challenge the law and order situation in Punjab, so and this kind of attacks. So terrorism rears its head once again, Amandeep. Right, terrorism rearing its head once again uh, on the well brought on by pro-Khalistani elements there, and an RPG attack on uh, Punjab. Uh, intelligence headquarters uh, an alarming sign is it a lapse of security forces uh, what actually happened republic is looking into all the details even as investigations are on amandeep our correspondent on the ground moving on now to other news stories a court in uttar pradesh's varanasi will continue Hearing the Gyan Vapi mosque survey issued today, this comes after a standoff outside the mosque when the inspection panel visited the mosque to conduct the survey. A court in Uttar Pradesh's Varanasi will continue hearing the Gyan Vapi mosque survey issued today. This comes after the Varanasi district court ordered a survey at Gyan Vapi Masjid. adjacent to the Kashi Vishwanath Mandir in Varanasi an exercise that was halted by the administration amid protests on Sunday yah jo dhwans kiya gaya hai pehle paschim taraf se hi isko nasht kiya gaya aur isko nasht karne mein 6 din tak ladai chali thi lagbhag jab ye nahi tod paaye itna purana structure mazboot khada tha to 
तोप से चुनार से तोप मगा करके इन्होंने पश्चिम तरफ से दागना शुरू किया हमारा इतना स्ट्रक्चर इतना ये कंप्लीट ध्वस्त कर दिया गया और यहाँ पर ये दरवाजा लगा करके बंद किया गया A team of lawyers were denied entry inside the mosque amid massive protests. The survey order was served after five women filed a plea seeking permission to worship Hindu deities whose idols are located on an outer wall of the mosque. Earlier, a Varanasi court had ordered the continuation of videography and survey of areas outside Gyanwapi Masjid. Heavy police force was stationed in the area after a court appointed official and a team of lawyers carried out an inspection near the area on Friday. Adalat agar koi gaya hai to uski jigyasa hai usko shant karne ke liye nyayalay jo aadesh karega uske tahat hum karwai karenge aur hum usi karwai ko aage badhayenge jo humko nirdesh hoga mani nyayalay ka aur qanoon koi haath milega uske khilaf karwai hogi ye bilkul saaf maan lijiye ki Uttar Pradesh mein kisi ko qanoon se aur sambhadhayak sauhad bigadne ke liye agar kisi ne bhi koshish ki to uske khilaf kadi se kadi qanooni karwai hogi and amid protest and slogan hearing from either sides all eyes are now on varanasi court's hearing in the case due today Bureau report Republic TV And as many as 1500 projects worth more than 70000 crore rupees are likely to be launched at an event in Lucknow on the 3rd of June Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to attend the ground breaking ceremony Here's a report Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 3rd of June will be attending the ground breaking ceremony in Lucknow. Let me tell you that this is going to be a mega event where it is expected that around 1500 project worth more than 70000 crores will be launched the big groups the big corporate like adani group like hira landani group like reliance industrial is expected to join the event chief minister yogi adityanath is closely monitoring the situation on the ground and monitoring the preparation on the ground chief minister yogi adityanath has also uh, stated that uh, uh, this is going to be the mega event and uh, it is going to give uh, the new platform uh, to the people and the investor uh, in Uttar Pradesh chief minister yogi adityanath has also stated that earlier in 2017 if we talk about the ranking then ease of in ease of doing business uh, uttar pradesh was at 14th position more national news now chief minister navin patnaik called health care one of the top priorities of his government The chief minister said he was consistently making efforts to provide affordable quality health services to the people of the state. Bharatiya Janata Party national president JP Nadda after inaugurating the Atal Cancer Care Center in Haryana's Ambala cantonment said the hospital will not only benefit cancer patients from the state but also those from neighboring states including Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. broke out on the 14th floor of the Jivesh building at Bandstand Road in Bandra according to Mumbai Fire Brigade Department no casualties were reported in the incident the reason for the fire accident is yet to be ascertained Former Union Law Minister Ashwini Kumar says sedition law in a free country is absolutely unnecessary and repeal or comprehensive revision by the central government is necessary. He said the extent of abuse of the sedition law had come to a point where in the national consciousness continuing with colonial law in a free country seemed to be absolutely unnecessary. Blast occurs outside intelligence department building of Punjab police in Mohali. Police cordon of the area around the office no damage reported on the spot investigations are being carried out by the police and time now for a short break but coming up right after that here on republic tv sedition hearing continues in the top court today after a rare intervention 
from the Prime Minister. And the East Coast braces for Cyclone Asani. Heavy rainfall predicted in the next two days. Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally. A testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality. To apply, visit amity.edu. Good evening and welcome. The government has told the Supreme Court that it is reviewing the provisions of the controversial sedition law, section 124A. Now, this is historic and I'll tell you why, but not, not for the reasons the lobby is imagining. The government has informed the Supreme Court that the process of reviewing the law is happening in forums that are appropriate and where such reconsideration is constitutionally permitted. Now, what does this mean? This means very simply that very politely the government, that is the executive, the highest executive in this country, is telling the judiciary, the highest judiciary in this country, that as of now, the judiciary need not step into the area of directing the government what to do. This is very significant because very often an impression that has gone on over years and decades is that governments don't do anything, governments don't act, so the judiciary is compelled to step in into areas of the executive, often into areas where the primary responsibility is that of the elected government. But governments don't do anything. So the judiciary has to step in. But now that the government is doing its job and not just doing. But doing it very well, but also informing the court that thousands of outdated laws have already been revoked by the government. The court truly has no reason to act or to step in. So I feel that's the correct way of looking at what the government has done today. Not this premature unresearched celebrations that sedition laws will go. That's some other discussion altogether. And on that, the government is going through the due process. Ladies and gentlemen. Jho log atikraman ko bachane ke liye, jho bangladeshi rohingyao ke atikraman ko bachane ke liye, atang failane wale logon ko atikraman bachane ke liye, jho bulldozer ke saamne lete hai, janta bhi unko letane wali hai. बताएं कहाँ हैं रोहिंग्या? आ जाएं यहाँ पर, मैं साथ चलूँगा, कोई नहीं रहेगा, इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ। कोर्ट का आदेश मैंने माना, इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए, मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है, उसपे मैंने भाष्य किया है। We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But Welcome back to Live and Breaking. Well, the East Coast is bracing for Cyclone Asani. The IMD has predicted heavy rainfall in the next two days in coastal Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. The IMD says that while the cyclone is unlikely to make landfall in West Bengal, the state will experience heavy showers. And our correspondents, uh, Triasi in uh, West Bengal and Bibartan in uh, Orisha, joining us uh, right now for more details about what the weather is like even as uh, the cyclone is expected to strike as uh, the east coast braces for Asani. Coming to you, Triasi, first. Uh, which are the areas that are most likely affected? Also, a sense of what uh, precautions are being taken by the administration. Uh, actually, I am in New Dhaka. I am showing you that the weather is weather normal because it is dark in the morning and there is rain in the morning. And in the morning, there were many tourists who came to the Samundar. Hey, 
में ये रक्ता में रस्सी रस्सी से घेर दिया गया और एन डी आर एफ है माइकिंग हो रहा है सुबह से काल से भी माइकिंग हो रहा था आप देख सकते हैं बहुत सारा टूर और और बोल रहा है और और जो बोल दिया गया कि ना आने के लिए समुंदर में ना आने के लिए मैं बात कर रही हूँ टूरिस्ट लोगों के साथ क्या क्या बोल की बोलबें कैम लग से एखे आटके पड़े कि बोलें We were then joining us uh, from uh, uh, Bhubaneswar in Orisha, where the cyclone is expected to strike, uh, or the impact of the cyclone in some way or the other, as the IMD has predicted. We are talking here about Cyclone Asani. We were then what about uh, in Bhubaneswar? What is the weather like? Cyclone Asani expected to strike any time now. <laughs> So, Yukma, uh, weather has been changed in Odisha a few, few places uh, as per the prediction of uh, IMD or Meteorological Center of Bhubaneswar in few places like Ganjam, Gajpati, Puri, Khorda are, uh, uh, are to be witnessed in heavy rainfall with us. Uh, Uma Sankar Das, a meteorological scientist, is with us. We will discuss about, uh, uh, sir, what are uh, the updates of uh, severe cyclonic storm Asani? Particularly now, the severe cyclonic storm uh, in last six hours, it has moved with a speed of 5 km per hour in uh, west northwest or direction. And it is about uh, 350 kilometers south south uh, west of uh, east of uh, Bisakhapatna. Apart from that, Puri from Puri it is around 590 kilometer in south uh, west uh, east direction. And Gopalpur uh, south south west around 590 kilometer. We are expecting it will uh, move in uh, same direction till today night. And afterwards it will recoup towards uh, uh, after reaching west central Bay of Bengal of uh, North Andhra coast. It will recoup towards uh, North Andhra of uh, Odisha coast. And and uh, under its influence, we are expecting heavy rainfall activity will continue over some parts of Odisha till uh, 12th. And for, for, for today, particularly South Odisha, some few districts has been warned for heavy rainfall activity. Tomorrow also, and day after tomorrow, we are expecting heavy rainfall. Apart from that, uh, few districts of Andhra Pradesh uh, are under orange warning for heavy, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity. Apart from that, uh, in last uh, next 24 hours, we are expecting the severe cyclonic storm will uh, uh, weaken into a uh, cyclonic storm. Sir, is there any chance? Chances of uh, landfall process in Odisha or West Bengal somewhere? No, uh, actually we have uh, earlier as prediction, it will move parallel to the coast. So there is no chance of uh, landfall over the any part of uh, mainland area. So it will mainly, it will effect will be due to the rainfall activity, whereas the in uh, maximum wind speed uh, currently, it is around 90 to 100, uh, gusting up to 110 around the center of the cyclone. And when it will reach uh, Odisha coast, it, we are expecting it will weaken into a deep depression. Further as move to a parallel with the coast it will become a depression under its influence mainly rainfall activity will be there and uh, apart from that looking at the uh, wind speed uh, over the Odisha coast that is expected from 12th onwards uh, uh, till 13th it will be around 40 to 50 maximum 60 so all the ports of Odisha has been warned with a distance cautionary signal number two and fishermen are advised not to venture into uh, of Odisha, along and of Odisha coast till 13th. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Das. Uh, Rukma, you have uh, listened that uh, uh, the uh, cyclonic storm would move parallelly. Uh, there is no chance of landfall in West thank Bengal or in Odisha. We'll go back. Uh, well, many thanks uh, for joining us there. Well, that was very enlightening. We go across uh, for Shriyasi now. Uh, Shriyasi, we just heard the IMD saying that uh, the maximum will be maximum threat will be from rainfall activity because the cyclone is not expected to make landfall anywhere in the mainland areas uh, uh, what about uh, in west bengal uh, we were talking about uh, the weather there you said it was fine as of now but uh, perhaps fishermen have been advised not to venture out into the bay of bengal uh, till what date exactly is the imd giving out precautions Uh, how actually, actually already um, already we, weather office se high alert jari kiya hai aur jari karne ki wajah se to logo ko samundar mein uh, nahane ke liye bhi roka uh, roka gaya hai aur aur uh, tourist bhi bahut naraz hai is iske wajah se kyunki bahut dur se logo ne aaye hai uh, digha mein new digha mein main abhi main new digha mein hu to uh, logo ne bahut dur se aaye hai uh, ab dekh sakte hai ki yahan pe disaster management hai aur miking bhi ho raha tha ndrf 
का एक टीम भी आए हैं लोकल पुलिस भी है और 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 दस और जो सिचुएशन सिचुएशन जो है अभी न्यू दिखा का तो बोल बोल रहे हैं कि होटल में वापस जाने के लिए टूरिस्ट को लेकिन लेकिन टूरिस्ट लेकिन टूरिस्ट आ रहा है सुबह से आ रहा है क्योंकि वेदर अब अब वेदर एकदम नॉर्मल है इसीलिए टूरिस्ट भी आ रहा है लेकिन लेकिन टूरिस्ट बहुत बहुत नाराज़ है ये पूरे सिचुएशन की वजह से मैं आपको समुंदर की समुंदर की तस्वीर दिखा रही हूँ आप देख सकते हैं अभी समुंदर भी नॉर्मल है लेकिन 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 कभी भी कुछ भी हो सकता है क्योंकि ऑलरेडी ऑलरेडी वेदर ऑफिस से रेड अलर्ट जारी किया है कि हैवी रेन रेन फॉल होगा और 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 और, और ये सिचुएशन की वजह से और, और बोल दिया गया कि समुंदर में ना आने के लिए मैं आपको दिखा रही हूँ और मैं टूरिस्ट टूरिस्ट के साथ बात करूँगी कम लगे आटके पड़े ना तो कल के तो भलो लगे लोगो ने बोल रहे है की रस्सी से रोक के रखा है तो ये लोगो ने बहुत दूर दूर से आए है समुन्दर में नहाने के लिए लेकिन 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 ये जो रस्सी है ये जो रस्सी है ये ये रास्ता है बाहर से समुंदर में आने का और ये रस्सी से घेर के रखा है इसीलिए इन लोगों इसी इसीलिए लोगों ने नहीं आ सकते हैं समुंदर में इसीलिए ये लोग बहुत नाराज़ है क्योंकि बहुत दूर से आए हैं ये लोग वेल श्रेयसी मेरी थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग अस एज वेल एज बिबोर्तन हु जॉइंट अस फ्रॉम भुवनेश्वर and even as the east coast braces for cyclone asani there is some relief in that the imd says that the maximum impact will be from rainfall activity the cyclone not expected to make landfall on the mainland and i'm moving on to other news stories in uh, other sto- footage of the puri beach was shared ahead of the cyclone asani in orisha locals were seen at the beach amidst overcast skies and gradually rising waves Deputy DG of Regional Meteorological Center Dr Sanjeev Bandopadhyay of IMD Kolkata seen monitoring movement of storm Asani suspension of fishing and tourist attractions was advised by the official ahead of the cyclone District of Bhadrak experiences rains as a result of cyclone nearing the mainland. Heavy showers could be seen throughout the district as clouds accompanied the cyclone reached their saturation. Thirty-seven member team of Orisha Disaster Rapid Action Force team arrives in Bhadrak in case of any adverse situation. Team deployed to address any incidents. that would arise as a result of the storm following advisories issued by the IMD Municipal Corporation in Asansol seen alerting people in district about oncoming cyclone an official commissioner of municipal corporation Nitin Singhania moved around the district giving and sounding the alarm to people via a loud speaker And here we slip into a very short break but coming up on the other side here on Republic TV top sources confirm role of active pro Khalistan ring in RPG attack on Punjab intelligence headquarters role of wanted terrorist rinda under the lens Also coming up after this break demolition drive continues in New Delhi today anti encroachment drive planned in all four zones of South Delhi Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally a testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality to apply visit amity.edu
we are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. A uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं द पिक्चर्स ऑफ क्रैश इज टेकिंग प्लेस बिटवीन पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज पुलिस रिसॉर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीस प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया आरोप चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजॉर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai it's being done in North Mumbai in Goregaon and Malad and Borivali it's also been done in South Bombay massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route uh, funding of uh, these terror activities Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bagh. These workers are raising slow. A Khalistan link emerges to the Mohali blast. Top sources confirm the role of active pro-Khalistan ring in the attack. Role of wanted pro-Khalistan terrorist is now under the lens in the attack on the Punjab intelligence headquarters. NIA to probe Mohali blast. Top sources tell Republic it was an RPG attack. Rocket launcher not yet recovered. Gyanwapi hearing continues in Varanasi today. Court is to decide on the removal of the commissioner. Demolition drive continues in New Delhi today. Anti-encroachment drive is planned in all four zones of South Delhi. And the east coast braces for cyclone Asani, heavy rainfall predicted in the next two days. Well, news just coming in, the Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan has called for a meeting at his residence at about 10 this morning with the DGP and other senior officials to seek a report on the course of action so far in this uh, RPG attack case. Now, 
Uh, the top sources have also now confirmed the Khalistan link to the Mohali rocket attack. Sources are telling Republic TV that the role of the wanted pro-Khalistan terrorist Harvinder Singh Rinda is also now under the scanner and a very proactive Khalistan ring is involved in this particular attack. Let me go across uh, to our correspondent on the ground. Amandeep is joining us from Mohali. He's reporting from right outside where this attack took place yesterday. Now, uh, Amandeep, uh, of course, there are several intelligence inputs uh, that will be questioned because at the end of the day, this was an audacious attack. But uh, give us more details on what the investigations have revealed so far. Well, Lupu, the entire investigation has been inclined towards the Khalistan angle. Just because it is not a normal attack, this, according to the modus fundi of the attack, it is clearly indicated that pro-Khalistani has carried out the attack with their old modus fundi, with their old model. Just because in early uh, 90s and late 80s, similar attack happened on the forces when the central forces have been deployed in the Punjab during the time of the militancy. And certain kind of RPG attacks happened at that point in time also with a selected time and now after the gap of so many years again the activities of the pro Khalistani elements are resuming and this attack is clear-cut indication that this is not a normal attack no anti-social element no gangster yes this is a Khalistani attack a clear-cut indication the persons who are involved into the attack they must be having a very strong training that how to fire a RPG and what to target just because they park their car outside the the front gate of the intelligence office and they stepped down from the car they fired the RPG with the launcher and they carry their launcher along just because no uh, rocket launcher recovered from the nearby areas this is how it has been unfolded on the fourth floor of the intelligence office a window pane has been broken with uh, uh, with the impact of the RPG and even they managed to flee very smoothly they know what are the escape routes and from where they can escape and flood the spot very smoothly with, without coming under the lens of the security. It was the change of the timings of the security shift and that is the reason they have opted for 7.45 timings when mm. the security changes, when the security was handing over to the new shift. This is the, this is the vacuum time they can utilize. So they have right. just exploited that time with attack and even from the front gate it was clear cut indicator that pro Khalistani elements are trying to create terror among the Punjab police as well so that they should stop the investigation and uh, in their, uh, their raids against the pro Khalistani elements and to recover the explosives just because All right. Rupur, if All we right, just now, talk Amandeep. about past 10 days every second day there is explosive recovery all right, yes. ab absolutely. As you're pointing out, in the past week uh, or so, we have seen a large number of explosives being recovered from, the, uh, from Punjab. Now, but apart from that, we understand that the Chief Minister has swung into action. There is going to be a meeting that will be held in about half an hour from now. Uh, but also, we believe that uh, there is immense pressure on the new Punjab government now after this. Obviously, Nupur, obviously, even Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan has shot the report yesterday evening itself from DGP and he has pulled up the DGP that how intelligence office remain under the attack of the pro Khalistani elements. Now, again, in within half an hour, Punjab Chief Minister will take stock of the situation and will check the developments of the investigation that either there is a strong development which can reveal and expose the nexus of the Khalistan, which can reveal the terror plot, how it happened and who all are involved this is the meet that all points will be discussed in the meetings and even you have rightly pointed it out Nupur that the Aam Aadmi party is under extreme pressure to prove their metal in Punjab regarding the law and order situation just because it is one side that that is trying to create the panic in Punjab and even on the other side every second day drones are delivering the explosives and the drugs in Punjab N another challenge 
third challenge is the, the certain kind of protests are happening the way clashes happened in Patiala. Hindu versus Sikh clashes happened in Patiala. This is the third. Just because Punjab is a state that is being ruled by the minorities and in fact always remains sensitive. Just because having a 600 kilometers border with the Pakistan, certain kind of elements are always try to exploit Punjab and this is the biggest challenge from the, for the Aam Aadmi Party as well, for the Bhagwant Maan as well. Right. To just de-escalate the, this all and to maintain calm and peace in Punjab. And now this meeting is being called to discuss all the points that how the law and order situation can resume and even the peace can resume and the most important point is Absolutely. that this attack Absolutely. As you are pointing out, as you are pointing out, there are several questions that need to be answered. Uh, thank you for joining us. Now, a fire broke out in a timber market in Chandan Nagar police station area of Indore. Some wood factories in the market were burned to ashes. The fire brigade reached the spot and extinguished the fire through, uh, through six water tankers. Now, the fire was suspected to be due to a short uh, circuit. So that's uh, an EBEX news alert that's just coming in. We understand a fire broke out in the timber market in Chandan Nagar police station area of Indore. Some wood factories in the market were burnt to ashes. The fire brigade reached the spot and extinguished the fire through uh, six water tankers. News in brief now. Calling for commitment to the party's accelerated revival, Congress President Sonia Gandhi has said that it is imperative that leaders and workers step forward and repay their debt to the party in full measure at a critical juncture when the party is beset with challenges. In her opening remarks at the meeting of the Congress Working Committee, Sonia Gandhi noted that there are no magic wands for electoral success. Bihar's Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has said that strict action will be taken against perpetrators of the Bihar Public Service Commission preliminary examination paper leak. He said that immediate action in the matter has been taken and the government is checking where and how the paper was leaked. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister has said that an inquiry has begun and people, uh, the police is investigating this leaked incident. Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Bhagel has hit out at the BJP for turning Lord Ram into a warrior-like figure and Hanuman into a symbol of anger to further politics of polarization. Bhagel added that the portrayal of Lord Ram and Hanuman as aggressive figures over the years isn't good. The BSF troops foiled another smuggling attempt through a Pakistani drone. Vigilant BSF troops fired at the drone coming from Pakistan and brought it down. During the search, the BSF recovered a hexacopter drone and seized around 10 kgs of heroin. Amritsar BSF DIG B Singh has said that soldiers heard the humming of a drone flying over the fence and fired nine shots towards a flying object and brought it down. Karnataka's Chief Minister Baswaraj Bomai has said that the state government will ensure implementing the Supreme Court's order on the use of loudspeakers in public places in a cordial manner. On instructions to implement the order, he said that the onus of implementing the order lies with police officials of the rank of Deputy SP in their respective areas. And the Union Home Minister Amit Shah has lauded the Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma for his vision and mission of growth and development of the health uh, sector in the state. Further, the Home Minister assured the Chief Minister of all support from the centre whenever it was required. Now moving on to international news, in Sri Lanka, chaos has intensified as anti-government protesters have set fire to houses and offices of numerous ruling party politicians. Here's a detailed report. Amid the worst economic crisis in the island country since its independence, chaos has intensified as anti-government protesters set fire to the ancestral home of the Rajapaksa family in Hanbantota in Sri Lanka. The protests had already turned violent ahead of Sri Lankan Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa's announcement that he had decided to resign from his post. Mahinda Rajapaksa, the prominent figure in the Rajapaksa clan, faced a massive public wrath in the sacred city of Anuradhapura.
The citizens of the island country have been showing their discontent with the present government in Sri Lanka as they continue to struggle in long queues to meet their basic necessities, including food and medicines. Sri Lanka's opposition leader, Sajit Premadasa, also faced angry protesters outside the presidential secretariat in Colombo as unrest continued following the Prime Minister's resignation. Rajapaksa stepping down came after authorities deployed armed troops in the capital. Colombo following an attack earlier in the day by government supporters on protesters who've been camped outside the offices of the President and Prime Minister. The violence has triggered widespread anger with people singling out Rajapaksa supporters and attacking them in many parts of Sri Lanka. Bureau Report, Republic TV. While well, you are watching Republic TV, we slip into a very short break here. On the other side, we're bringing you more news, including the Chief Minister of Punjab has called for a high-level meeting at about 10 this morning. And the Punjab Chief Minister calls for that urgent meeting. जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों का अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai. It's being done in North Mumbai and Goregaon and Malad and Borivali. It's also been done in South Bombay. Massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs, uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route, uh, funding of uh, these terror activities. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bag. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus um, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया आरोप चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ
का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पर मैंने भाष्य किया है showing you the pictures of this protest which is right Right now, are coming to you from Guwahati in Assam, where uh, the Home Minister is uh, present. Now, uh, this, of course, is an official uh, event that the Home Minister is uh, uh, going through. Uh, this, of course, uh, comes as the Union Home Minister, of course, is in Assam uh, over uh, for a three-day visit. Let's go across to Anirudh, who is reporting on this uh, from Guwahati. Anirudh, tell us more of what's happening. का दिन असम राज्य के लिए ऐतिहासिक और असम पुलिस के इतिहास में आज का दिन स्वर्ण अक्षरों में लिखा जाएगा असम पुलिस द्वारा प्रदर्शित सेवा की भावना समर्पण बहादुरी ऑन इट वे टू इंस्पेक्ट अलंकरण प्रेरित विच हैज बीन Uh, to call on to mark the presentation of the president's colors to the Assam police. Assam police happens to be the ninth uh, police force in the state, uh, uh, the ninth state to get the coveted president's uh, color, and also the tenth force if we count the, uh, the Delhi police uh, who have. Earlier, got these coveted uh, colours from the President of India. Uh, the Union Home Minister, who is on a two-day visit of uh, Assam uh, today, is his uh, second day in Assam. Yesterday, he also visited uh, the international border in Amankachar, and thereafter, he had also taken part in various other programs. Today, after this uh, event, the uh, Union Home Minister will go to the Assam Police Headquarters, where he will. Uh, have the lunch with uh, the officials and the ones of the Assam Police, and thereafter uh, he will also have a brief interaction with the personnel of the Assam Police. Towards the afternoon, the Union Home Minister will also participate in the first anniversary celebration of uh, the second term of the BJP government in the state of Assam and. Uh, will also uh, take part in uh, inauguration of several uh, projects and also laying of foundation stones of several projects today before uh, wrapping up his visit and leaving for Delhi. The world. Right, absolutely. As you're pointing out, of course, uh, there are several critical programs that the Home Minister has on his itinerary, including, of course, uh, the second term of the BJP government over there. But uh, give us a sense of the kind of focus that the centre wants to put on Assam. Now, there are several programs that are likely to be uh, also announced. Uh, yes, to put the centre's focus on uh, Assam and. Uh, Uh, not it particularly can be felt uh, from the very fact that uh, 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 there have been repeated instances of uh, many top union minister, including uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, to the region, uh, and also the concern and the efforts that have been put on by the union government as far as several welfare projects of the government is concerned the implementation or uh, inauguration of foundation stone laying of several critical projects the focus the orientation that the, the union government has been putting in as far as the act is policy is concerned the efforts can be uh, seen in a very crystal clear manner and uh, also that uh, the assam police the assam police this uh, award uh, that has been bestowed upon the assam police the president's colors is also a testimony for, to, to the fact that uh, the sacrifice and the service that the assam police have uh, been giving to the nation as a whole for the last uh, more than 
25 years and in fact the president colors is given to a regiment of those who have fought uh, extraordinary and exemplary service to the nation for a continuous period of 25 uh, years assam police is one of the oldest uh, police uh, force in the uh, country which has been there before pre independence time has got this rare honor today and is has once again testified the uh, commitment that assam police have towards fighting the the corruption or also the insurgency which has been infecting the region for several decades you're pointing out of course assam is the 10th state in the country to receive this honor for its exceptional performance in tackling insurgency controlling crime maintaining law and order and ensuring security of the lives and property uh, to both common and important people now uh, as you're pointing out of course it is a, a very very special moment for the punjab uh, for uh, the assam police i beg your pardon and visuals on your screen are off the home minister uh, visiting over there but uh, uh, also uh, you know anirudh talk us through the journey of the assam police because uh, they've seen it all whether it's insurgency or terrorism or uh, you know uh, the interconnecting uh, the issues that arise from you know uh, the fact that uh, this also has borders which are porous uh, so talk us through how difficult the job has been for the assam police Like the poor, uh, as far as insurgency is concerned, insurgency is certainly a note that Assam police has been dealing with insurgency uh, since the 1940s. Uh, you can say, uh, even as the Naga insurgency uh, started at that time, uh, a part of undivided Assam. So Assam police, as far as insurgency and counterterrorism is concerned, Assam mm. police is perhaps. Uh, Right, absolutely. As you're pointing out, of course, tough bo- job that the Assam Police has uh, performed exceptionally. Thank you for the moment for joining us. You are watching Republic TV, and up next, the Punjab Chief Minister is to chair an urgent meeting on the Mohali blast as Khalistan links emerge. And security is heightened in the national capital as the demolition drive is set to continue today in all four zones of South Delhi. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है पता है कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूँ कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पे मैंने भाष्य किया है वी आर शोइंग यू द पिक्चर 
leaders of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. Uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. Uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, A Khalistan link emerges to the Mohali blast. Top sources confirm the role of active pro-Khalistan ring in the attack. The role of wanted pro-Khalistan terrorist now under the lens in the attack on the Punjab intelligence headquarters. The NIA to probe the Mohali blast. Top sources tell Republic TV that it was an RPG attack. Rocket launcher not yet recovered. The Gyanwapi mass uh, hearing continues in Varanasi today. Court is to decide on the removal of the commissioner. Demolition drive continues in New Delhi today. Anti-encroachment drive is planned in all four zones of South Delhi. And the East Coast braces for Cyclone Asani. Heavy rainfall is predicted in the next two days. Well, the SFJ has now threatened the Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister after the Mohali attack and says that the attack is a lesson for the Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister. The SFJ says that learn from the grenade attack at the Mohali Police Headquarters. This could have been Shimla. Now, that is a cryptic message that is coming in from the SFJ. What we understand is that it has threatened the Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister after the Mohali attack. Now, do remember uh, that the Assembly of Himachal Pradesh saw these particular flags as well as uh, graffiti, which was written in Gurmukhi. Uh, uh, and uh, the flags of Khalistan, of course, over there put up. Now, uh, the police in Himachal are still investigating. There have been no, uh, uh, there have been no remarkable uh, output in terms of who could be behind this. I'm going to go across to Gursimran, who's reporting from Jammu on this. Uh, Gursimran, to begin with, give us more details of what the SFJ has said. See, this is an audio that has been released by the SFJ chief Gurpatwan Singh Pannu, wherein he has threatened uh, the chief minister of Himachal Pradesh, Jairam Thakur, by saying uh, that uh, learn from the lesson from the Mohali blast. Otherwise, this could have been Shimla. So clearly hinting that uh, they, some in some manner, he is claiming the responsibility for what has happened in Mohali and has also threatened of the dire consequences uh, if uh, the uh, Himachal government continues its crackdown on the Khalistan sympathizers because he has clearly mentioned that on June 6 we are going to announce the dates of the referendum and you should not uh, uh, you should not do crackdown on those who are supporting this Khalistan movement so clearly clearly a threatening uh, video audio has been released by the Gurpatwan Singh Pannu who is the chief of uh, this uh, band terror outfit uh, seek for justice and now the intelligence agencies too have taken the cognizance of this uh, spoke to a few officers who are part of the probe in Punjab they said that they too have gone through this audio uh, some 50 seconds audio that has been released by the SFJ chief and they are saying that we are looking into each and every possible angle because the incidents that have taken place in Punjab in past two months clearly clearly are hinting towards the Khalistani hand in the terror link incidents that have taken place so nothing is being left at chance but this is really very serious at a time when a grenade attack has taken place in Mohali at that very uh, same time Gurpatwan Singh Pannu the SFJ chief threatening the uh, chief minister of Himachal Pradesh of the dire consequences saying that that this would have could have been the Himachal uh, the Shimla so this is really very serious concern and now the agencies are looking into the matter very very seriously
All right, uh, Gursimrum reporting on that. Thank you for joining us. Moving on, Punjab's Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan has now called for a meeting at his residence at about 10 this morning with the DGP and other senior officers to seek a report on the course of action so far in the RPG attack matter. Uh, the top sources, of course, have confirmed to Republic TV that the Khalistan link to Mohali rocket attack has now been ascertained. Uh, sources are also telling Republic that the role of wanted pro-Khalistan terrorist Harvinder Singh Rinda is also under the scanner and a very active active pro-Khalistan ring is involved in this particular attack. Uh, so those are the latest details that we are getting uh, on this. Amandeep uh, is continuing to bring us the latest from Mohali. Amandeep, there are a series of meetings lined up today. Of course, the uh, one to watch out for will be the one that is being chaired by uh, the uh, Chief Minister of the state. Well, absolutely, Nupur. The point is that important meeting is being chaired by Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan regarding the attack, uh, uh, RPG attack on Punjab Intelligence Headquarters. And that is the most important meeting. Yesterday evening, Punjab Chief Minister has pulled up the Punjab DGP and sought a detailed report regarding the attack. And today in the morning by 10 a.m., the meeting is going to start any minute from now. And in fact, the, in this meeting, Bhagwant Maan will sort the details of the investigation so far. What is the development in the investigation and how many arrests are detained uh, 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 by the Punjab police during the course of investigation and what are the possible theories of the investigation where the police has been inclined their investigation. These all things will be discussed in the meeting just because this is not a normal attack. It actually created panic and pressure uh, automatically mounted on the Punjab government just to prove that mm. they can maintain the calm and peace in Punjab every second day such kind of incidents are happening and every second day the pressure is being mounted on the Bhagwant Maan as well as our government to prove their mettle to maintain calm and peace in Punjab and this incident has break all the barriers and over limited everything that Punjab intelligence bureau which always remain in a secret uh, uh, on a very sensitive place that is uh, uh, that was attacked by an RPG RPG uh, the attackers used RPG they have launched that RPG out Outside the front gate, there are certain points that are raising so many questions in this in entire episode. But the point is that now the development in the investigation is inclined toward the pro-Khalistani elements, the modest penalty that they have opted for, that is being used by pro-Khalistani elements since early 90s and late 80s. There are certain mm -hmm. organizations who are very well trained, uh, who are actually connected to the Khalistan uh, movement, and they are very much trained how to launch these RPGs just because they were into this uh, incidents and the attacks since years and they know from where they get, from where to get the training and uh, how to launch these attacks and how to done the reiki how to make their possible escape routes everything was done in a very planned manner and even that is the reason this is a worrisome situation for the state of punjab that such attack after the gap of you uh, after the gap of years and when these attackers were not under any kind of pressure they spent good amount of time outside the intelligence office and they fired the RPG from the front gate of the intelligence office. That is the right. some situation. No security. Nobody has noticed. Nobody has checked the CCTV camera. And in fact, on the roadside offices, they are remain unaware. All right. So as you're pointing out, it's not just an audacious attack, but there are uh, questions as to how this weapon actually reached where it did and thereafter it was fired from. Uh, so investigations currently underway. Thank you. And here's a look at some news in brief now, calling for the commitment to the party's accelerated revival. Congress President Sonia Gandhi has said that it is imperative that leaders and workers step forward and repay their debt to the party in full measure at a critical juncture when the party is beset with challenges. In her opening remarks at the meeting of the CWC, Sonia Gandhi noted that there are no magic wands for electoral success. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has said that strict action will be taken against perpetrators of the Bihar Public Service Commission preliminary examination paper leak. He said that immediate action in the matter has been taken and the government is checking where and how the paper was leaked from. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister has said that an inquiry has begun and the Punjab police uh, and uh, the police uh, are investigating the incident. 
Chhattisgarh's Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel has hit out at the BJP for turning Lord Ram into a warrior-like figure and Hanuman into a symbol of anger to further politics of polarization. Baghel added that the portrayal of Lord Ram and Hanuman as aggressive figures over years isn't good for society. The Border Security Force troops foiled another smuggling attempt through a Pakistani drone. Vigilant BSF troops fired at the drone coming from Pakistan and brought it down. During the search, BSF recovered a hexacopter drone and seized about 10 kgs of heroin. The Amritsar BSF DIG B Singh said soldiers heard the humming of a drone flying over the fence and fired nine shots towards the flying object and brought it down. Karnataka's Chief Minister Baswaraj Bomai has said that the state government will ensure implementation of the Supreme Court's order on the issue of loudspeakers in public places in a cordial manner. On instructions to implement the order, he said the onus of implementing this order lies with police officers of the rank of the deputy SP in their respective areas. The Union Home Minister Amit Shah has lauded the Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma for his vision and mission on growth and development of the health sector in the state. Furthermore, the Union Home Minister assured the Chief Minister of all support from the centre whenever it is required. is coming in we are learning that 11 people have been detained for questioning by the Punjab police in the Mohali blast case this is news that's just coming in we are learning that 11 people have been detained for questioning by the Punjab police in uh, this particular attack that took place yesterday uh, there was a rocket propelled grenade uh, which was fired at the intelligence headquarters of the Punjab police in Mohali uh, this uh, attack took place at around 7:45 in in the evening now according to senior officials uh a, a wall of the building bore the maximum impact with shattered window panes that were seen strewn. Now an investigation has been ordered into this and uh, questions are being raised about the security of the place because uh, apparently there were two men who came in in a white car and were able to uh, fire this uh, uh, RPG. Let me go across I think to Amandeep. All right, I think we've got Gursimran with us. Gursimran, give us more details, please. A senior official who is part of the probe has confirmed this to the public that 11 people have been detained by the Punjab police and this is based on the key evidences that have uh, that they have recovered during the analysis of the CCTV footage of the premises. Uh, pertinent to mention that it was at around 8, 7.45 in the in yesterday evening when this incident took place and soon over that uh, uh, the Punjab police reached the spot. They started analyzing the CCTV cameras. It was around 8.30 when the analysis of the CCTV footage was started and around at 10 p.m. that, that the National Investigation Agency teams to have joined uh, them in the CCTV analysis and during CCTV analysis 11 suspects have been detained by the Punjab police they are at present being questioned at an unknown location by uh, the counterintelligence wing of the Punjab police as well as the various intelligence agencies and they are trying to find out their links with this attack pertinent to mention that this crackdown will continue a senior official who is part of the probe has confirmed to Republic that 11 of these people they have this divulged some of the details which are going to be really very uh, crucial in the investigation that will follow and all this will be briefed to the chief minister of Punjab Bhagwant Man in a short while from now when DGP of Punjab VK Bhavra will be briefing him about the entire situation and a report a detailed report will be submitted to CM Bhagwant Man. All right, uh, so those are details that we are just getting uh, right now in terms of the investigation that is taking place. 11 people have been detained for questioning by the Punjab police. All right, uh, moving on to the other breaking news story that we are getting. The UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has directed the Uttar Pradesh government to open its offices in Mumbai. Now, uh, this is a decision that has been taken by the Chief Minister to ensure that uh, people from Uttar Pradesh who are working in Mumbai are given enough support. We also understand that uh, this proposed office in Mumbai will have a business environment and business promotion ideas for people of Uttar Pradesh. Let me go across to Anuj who is reporting. On this, Anu, give us more details of what you're learning about this particular idea of uh, the government of Uttar Pradesh. Mr. Yogi Adityanath, who directed himself 
uh, to open the offices in Mumbai now. This is for the ease of business. This is for the jobs. This is for the uh, environment, uh, environment, so that uh, the migration is easily connected with the this government, and this is going to uh, uh, increase uh, the job. This is going uh, to be uh, the offices of so this government. This is going to be the official government office in Mumbai now. What we have been told. So this is a big decision that has been taken by uh, the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. Let me remind you. Yesterday only this was. Uh, Let me remind you. Yesterday Yesterday only this was uh, uh, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath who stated it very much clearly and talking about Uttar Pradesh that in ease of doing business in 2017 the Uttar Pradesh was at 14 uh, position but now it has reached uh, to the second position if we talk about the ranking so these all are the factors which has been already calculated and now uh, going ahead with the thing this is a decision that has been taken by uh, the Uttar Pradesh government and the Chief Minister himself that Yogi Adityanath to open the offices in mumbai to to create more jobs and to give more facility to the people the migrant so this is going to be a big uh, development this is going to be a big opportunity uh, for the people of mumbai also and uh, for uttar pradesh also yes all right anuj reporting on that thank you for joining us Top uh, international news this morning: dozens of fully grown evergreen trees, as well as rocks and dirt, toppled into an Alaskan bay, uh, which has been covered the roadway and cut off road access for scores of people in the Seward city of Alaska. According to the city officials, there were no injuries reported in the landslide. Fireworks lit up the night sky in Moscow as part of celebrations marking the 77th anniversary of victory over the Nazi Germany in World War II. More bodies were pulled from ruins of a luxury hotel in Cuba's capital, bringing the official death toll of a powerful explosion at the iconic building to 40. According to official data, 20 people injured patients have been hospitalized. Rescue operations are still being carried out. The namesake son of the late Philippines dictator Ferdinand Marcos appeared to have been elected Philippines president by a landslide victory. Marcos Jr. had more than 30.5 million votes in the unofficial results with more than 96% vote share. Andy Warhol's shot sage Blue Marilyn created a new action record as he as it has been sold for $195 million, the iconic portrait of Marilyn Monroe has become the most expensive artwork by a US artist ever sold at auction. It has also become the most expensive piece from the 20th century. You are watching Republic TV and still to come, we track Cyclone Asani as it uh, as heavy rainfall is predicted over the next two days. Good evening and welcome. The government has told the Supreme Court that it is reviewing the provisions of the controversial sedition law, section 124A. Now, this is historic, and I'll tell you why, but not, not for the reasons the lobby is imagining. The government has informed the Supreme Court that the process of reviewing the law is happening in forums that are appropriate and where such reconsideration is constitutionally permitted. Now, what does this mean? This means very simply that very politely the government that is the executive the highest executive in this country is telling the judiciary the highest judiciary in this country that as of now the judiciary need not step into the area of directing the government what to do this is very significant because very often an impression that has gone on over years and decades is that governments don't do anything, governments don't act, so the judiciary is compelled to step in into areas of the executive, often into areas where the primary responsibility is that of the elected government. But governments don't do anything, so the judiciary has to step in. But now that the government is doing its job and not just doing, 
but doing it very well, but also informing the court that thousands of outdated laws have already been revoked by the government. The court truly has no reason to act or to step in. So I feel that's the correct way of looking at what the government has done today. Not this premature, unresearched celebration that sedition laws will go. That's some other discussion altogether. And on that, the government is going through the due process. Ladies and gentlemen. कोर्ट का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पे मैंने भाष्य किया है We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. The workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. Uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. The workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. Uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against us. Uh, Well, Raj Thakre has called for a meeting of MNS leaders at his residence at 11 this morning. We are learning that uh, along with the issue of travelling to Ayodhya, other key issues are likely to be uh, discussed. To remember that Raj Thakre had given a loudspeaker warning to the government of Maharashtra and thereafter, of course, there have been a lot of reactions that came in from the MVA government. Let me go across to Alicia, who's reporting on this. Alicia, uh, we understand that Raj Thakre has called for a meeting uh, this afternoon, but also, obviously, this is an issue that uh, uh, Raj Thakri will want to make maximum political capital of. Uh, well, yes, uh, Ma Mansi Chief Raj Thakri has called for a party meeting at 11 a.m. in the morning and uh, he has called uh, at his residence at a shift uh, shift in Dadar and uh, this is the head of his Ayodhya visit. We know that uh, Raj Thakri is going to uh, he will be visiting Ayodhya on 5th of June. But uh, even before that, uh, Raj Thakre has given a, given a clear note to uh, his uh, uh, monthly leaders and workers clearly stating that no one in the party should talk to media about uh, his visit to Ayodhya. He has also requested uh, the party that uh, they have already appointed us. All right, Alicia, thank you for that. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is expected to attend the groundbreaking ceremony in Lucknow, where as many as 1,500 projects worth more than 70,000 crore rupees are likely to be launched on the 3rd of June. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 3rd of June will be attending the groundbreaking ceremony in Lucknow. Let me tell you that this is going to be a mega event where it is expected that around 1,500 projects worth more than 70,000 crores will be launched. The big groups, the big corporate like Adani Group, like Hira Randani Group, like Reliance Industrial is expected to join the event. Chief Minister Yogi Arithinath is closely monitoring the situation on the ground and monitoring the preparation on the ground. Chief Minister Yogi Arithinath has also uh, stated that uh, uh, this is going to be the mega event and uh, it is going to give uh, the new platform uh, to the people 
people and the investor uh, in Uttar Pradesh. Chief Minister Yogi Arityanath has also stated that earlier in 2017, if we talk about the ranking, then ease of, in ease of doing business, uh, Uttar Pradesh was at 14th position. Pictures, ladies and gentlemen, right now I've got the pictures there of the explosives which have been used. Those are the pictures from Mohali in Punjab, ladies and gentlemen. What is a matter of great concern for us, Shavan, is that this RPG attack, which means there has been significant infiltration of weaponry into urban areas in Punjab. Police have blocked the way and even there are certain barricades. The police is investigating the matter just because there is huge damage. alert that's just coming in. A blast occurred in a firecracker warehouse. The impact was such that the roof of the warehouse was blown up due to the blast. Cracks were seen in nearby houses due to the firecracker blast. The injured have been admitted to hospital. The fire department uh, says it is engaged in extinguishing uh, the fire. So plumes of smoke, of course, still uh, coming out of uh, that uh, firecracker warehouse uh, where a blast took place. Uh, the uh, investigative agencies, including the fire brigade, of course, still examining the cause of this blast. So this is an incident that took place in Bijnor. A blast occurred in a firecracker warehouse over there. The impact was such that the roof of the warehouse was blown up due to the blast. Cracks were seen in nearby houses also uh, due to uh, the blast that occurred over here. The injured have been taken to hospital and uh, teams of the fire department are currently engaged in dousing the flames. You are watching Republic TV. We slip into a very short break. On the other side, we bring you more news, including the role of the wanted pro Khalistan terrorist is now under the lens in the attack on the Punjab intelligence headquarters. And a demolition drive continues in New Delhi today. Anti-encroachment drive planned in all four zones of South Delhi. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus um, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया आरोप चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स
locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai. It's being done in North Mumbai, in Goregaon, in Malad and Boriveli. It's also being done in South Bombay. Massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs, uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route, uh, funding of uh, these terror activities. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this person and then this person will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, Top headlines at half past 10. Khalistan link emerges to Mohali blast. Top sources confirm role of active pro Khalistani ring in the attack. Role of wanted pro Khalistan terrorists now under lens in the attack on the Punjab intelligence headquarters. NIA to probe Mohali blast. Top sources tell Republic it was an RPG attack. Rocket launcher not yet recovered. Gyanwabi hearing continues in Varanasi today, court to decide on removal of Commissioner. Demolition drive to continue in the national capital today, anti-encroachment drive planned in four zones of South Delhi. And uh, the East Coast braces for Cyclone Asani, heavy rainfall predicted in the next two days. Good morning viewers, thanks for tuning in, uh, tracking the big story coming in this hour. In fact, we are getting visuals of the heavy security deployment in parts of the national capital as the demolition drive is set to continue today in four zones of South Delhi. Remember, anti encroachment drive was carried out in Shaheen Bagh yesterday but had to be halted midway in wake of the massive protests that also took place in the area. So the visuals on your screens uh, right now of the heavy security deployment in the new friends colony where the anti encroachment drive is set to take place shortly. Security has been beefed up in New Delhi. The visuals on your screens as well of the Jamans who have been deployed as the anti-encroachment drive is set to begin. We have uh, Anuj joining us live from the national capital. Anuj, uh, we can see the visuals of the heavy security deployment in the area. Help us uh, with more information you're getting uh, from your sources. Oh, well, exactly the heavy deployment could be clearly seen in the visuals where we have seen yesterday what happened yesterday uh, after that uh, the preparedness could be clearly seen on the ground. Let me tell you that today it is going if, if, if you talk about the anti encroachment drive then this is going to happen in the four zone and uh, if we elaborate it more this is central zone, south zone, west zone and uh, the Najafgarh zone and if you talk about the visuals what we are getting from the ground is from uh, the new French colony the MCD team has already reached there let me break this also at this one in time what we are getting and the police deployment could be clearly seen yesterday let me remind you we have seen the heavy deployment of the police in Shinebag whereas we have also seen the protesters who were there on the ground finally the FIR has been registered against uh, the the MLA Amanatullah Khan of uh, of uh, Okhla uh, which comes uh, in Shinebag on the other hand now this is the pre uh, planned and move of SDMC and this is uh, like the precaution has been already taken that that's why the Javans could be clearly seen there on the ground, the proper arrangement could be clearly seen there on the ground so that uh, everything goes in a appropriate uh, uh, manner. Uh, there could be uh, clearly seen uh, the arrangement of the police person that has been made in and the latest what we are breaking, let me again remind you, is that uh, 
uh, uh, if we talk about the new French colony, then MD, uh, uh, MCD uh, team members have already reached there on the ground. So it is going to be the anti-encroachment drive. Uh, let me remind you that earlier for three to four days it was stopped because of the forces and uh, the SDMC was looking for the forces uh, uh, from the police department. Now the police department is on alert. Seeing the situation on the ground, if we talk about yesterday, what uh, we have seen in uh, Scheinberg, now the proper adequate arrangement has been already made in by the Delhi police and the Delhi police personnel the Javans could be clearly seen over there on the ground so this is going to be the anti encroachment drive which is going to continue in the national capital earlier it was till 13 but there was a break for three to four days and now this is going to be extended so the Delhi is already planned if we talk about MCD this is already the list which has been already prepared this is going to be the different area we have seen the same in Scheinberg the other areas is uh, uh, new French colony as we are talking and if you talk about the today's drive then yes again let me remind you this is divided into the four part this is going to be the central zone this is going to be the west zone this is going to be south zone and at the Najafgarh zone so we are getting the visuals of the security personnel which has been deployed now the drive is going to start we have seen uh, how the protesters was there on the ground if we talk about yesterday but the situation should remain in control that's why the adequate arrangement could be clearly seen on the ground we have to wait and watch what exactly will be the next yes. move how the people are going to react on the same but the anti encroachment drive in the national capital is on and the visual could be clearly seen where the jawans and the police personnel are already deployed yes back well to absolutely you, anuj thanks for breaking it down uh, for us we'll keep coming back to you as you track all the latest on that story and uh, moving on uh, then in another story, the exodus of Kashmiri Pandits in the 1990s has been one of the dark chapters in Indian history for the past few years. The issue will be taken up again as the trial of Bitta Karate is set to begin today. 31 years after the Kashmiri Pandit genocide of 1990, justice still evades the family of Satish Kumar Tiku, a young businessman who was shot dead by terrorist Farooq Ahmad Dar a.k.a. Bitta Karate. We want justice! We want justice! Bitta Karate! Hi! Hi! Bitta Karate! Hi! Hi! This year, Satish Tikku's family filed a new application to place on record Bitta Karate's shocking video confession that the first Kashmiri Pandit he murdered was Satish Tikku. The last hearing was on the 30th of March 2022. The hearing that was scheduled to take place on the 16th of April was later deferred to the 10th of May. As the retrial commences, the nation is closely watching if Satish Tikku's family will finally get justice. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Of all that's making news, calling for commitment to the party's accelerated revival, Congress President Sonia Gandhi said it is imperative that leaders and workers step forward and repay their debt to the party in full measure at a critical juncture when the party is beset with challenges. In her opening remarks at the meeting of Congress Working Committee, Sonia Gandhi also noted that there are no magical wands for electoral success. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar said that strict action will be taken against the perpetrators of Bihar Public Service Commission preliminary exam leak. He said that immediate action in the matter has been taken and that the government is checking where and how the paper was leaked. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister also informed that an inquiry has begun and police are investigating the paper leak incident. Chhattisgarh Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel hit out at the BJP for turning Lord Ram into a warrior-like figure and Hanuman into a symbol of anger to further the politics of polarisation. Baghel added that the portrayal of Lord Ram and Hanuman as aggressive figures over years is not good for society. कुछ हो भी गईयां, कुछ हो जान गईयां, ते जनता तक पहुंच जाएंगे, ते मैं ही बार-बार कहना चाहूँगा तो आज जरिए कि जिन्हें भी पंजाब का माहौल को खराब करने की कोशिश की थी, वो बख्शे नहीं जाओगे, सख्त तो सख्त सजा मिलूगी, उन्हें यह कई पीढ़ियां याद रखन गया कि ऐसी पंजाब जिधर हस्ता बस्ता पंजाब है, � तो इंटेलिजेंसी दफ्तर और पुलिस दफ्तर जेड़े ने 
ਉਹ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਲੱਗੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਬੜੀ ਜਲਦੀ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਦੋਸ਼ੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਸਲਾਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਰੀ ਸੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਸੂ ਕੱਲ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਦੱਸ ਸਾਈਡ ਦੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਜਾਂ ਜਾਰੀ ਕਰ ਲਈ ਮੁੱਖ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਯਾਰ ਸਵਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਯਾਰ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਸਵਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਆਉਣੇ ਨੇ ਦਿਖਾਓ ਦਿਖਾਓ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇੱਕ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਇੱਕ ਅਹਿਮ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਦੇਖੋ ਸਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਸਤਾਰੂ ਲੋਕ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਸਰ 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 ਸੋ ਆ ਗਿਆ and uh, punjab chief minister there or you can see the visuals first visuals of punjab chief minister bhagwant man who held a, sh- a a key meeting to review the security situation in the state and also addressing the media shortly after that a key meeting that he held in which uh, he said that strict action will be taken against the perpetrators also going on to add that intel inputs are currently being gathered and that uh, the khalistan link uh, in fact what we are getting to know has also emerged in this case so the first visuals of uh, Ch- uh, chief minister bhagwant man holding a key security review meet with all the top state officials and also addressing the media going on to say that strict action will be taken against the perpetrators and any attempt to vitiate the atmosphere of punjab will be st- will, uh, strong action will be taken on that So we have uh, Amandeep joining us uh, as well Amandeep we just heard Bhagwant Man addressing the media uh, what is the latest that you are picking up because now we understand that the Khalistan link has also emerged in the case Well absolutely Samiksha even the Punjab chief minister Bhagwant Man has ensured when the media raised the question regarding the uh, uh, RPG attack on intelligence office Bhagwant Man says by the evening everything would be clear and police will be able to nab the accused who are actually involved into this case and even he has also claimed that the entire police force has pressed into the services to investigate this matter to find out all all the possible angles and who all are involved into this entire case and even he ensured that very soon everything would be resolved and punjab will resume its key peace and harmony very soon just because it is a very terror attack and even from our sources we have learned that punjab dgp vk bhagra bhavra has explained the entire situation and even he has also explained the khalisani link how it is emerging into this attack and who all are on the top of the list of punjab police that who can be involved into this attack and now the punjab police teams are being investigated separately into this case and that is the reason Punjab chief minister has given the assurance that by the evening everything would be resolved this entire case will be solved and the accused will be uh, in the custody of the police to expose what kind of nexus it was just because it is not very normal attack the way yesterday night police behaved that this is a minor attack the way administration reveals the statement that this is a very minor attack a minor damage has put into place after the rpg attack in intelligence office but now they are taking it on a very serious note in investigation is getting deeper and deeper just because when the khalistani link has emerged into this case this investigation is now uh, taking the another step and in fact punjab dgp himself is monitoring the every step of the well, investigation well uh, amandeep just stay with us sorry just hold your thoughts there let's once again listen into what punjab minister had to say lagatar kafi arse to ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਾ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਖਰਾਬ ਕਰਨ ਦੀਆਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੇ ਦੁਸ਼ਮਣਾਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਰਹਿੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਭਾਈਚਾਰਾ ਉਹ ਇੰਨਾ ਮਜ਼ਬੂਤ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਬਾਵਜੂਦ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਇਰਾਦਿਆਂ 'ਚ ਸਫਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਕੱਲ ਰਾਤ ਜੋ ਮੋਹਾਲੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਘਟਨਾ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਡੀਜੀਪੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਰੇ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਸ ਦੇ ਅਫਸਰਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਮੀਟਿੰਗ ਲਈ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਸਾਰਾ ਡਿਟੇਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਨਿਕਲ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਗ੍ਰਿਫਤਾਰੀਆਂ ਕੁਝ ਹੋ ਵੀ ਗਈਆਂ ਕੁਝ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਗੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਜੜਾਂ ਤੱਕ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਜਾਂਗੇ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਹੀ ਬਾਰ-ਬਾਰ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਜਰੀਏ ਕਿ ਜਿਨੇ ਵੀ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਾ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਖਰਾਬ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਊਗਾ ਸਖਤ ਤੋਂ ਸਖਤ ਸਜ਼ਾ ਮਿਲੂਗੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ news and reef from across the globe dozens of fully grown evergreen trees as well as rocks and dirt toppled into the Alaska Bay uh, which has covered the roadway and cut off road access for scores of people in Seward city of Alaska according to city officials there were no injuries reported in this landslide Visuals 
Sir, we are getting to you of uh, the demolition drive, uh, which is set to begin very, very shortly in the national capital. And the first visuals uh, we are getting to you of the bulldozers that have arrived at the spot where the demolition drive is set to begin very shortly. Remember, the demolition drive will be carried out in Delhi's uh, New Friends colony. And we will be getting you ground updates by the minute from the demolition drive site. Also remember that uh, demolition drive uh, was taken, was held in Delhi Shaheen Bagh, but had to be halted in wake of uh, the massive protests that also happened in the area. The first visuals we are getting to you of uh, the police personnel as well who are at the spot. The visuals are from New Friends Colony in the national capital where the bulldozers have arrived and all the illegal structures are set to be raised from uh, in this uh, particular location which is the new friends colony of the national capital so the anti encroachment drive which is set to begin very shortly in uh, new friends colony we have uh, piyush also joining us live from the very location uh, piyush over to you he help us understand what is the situation right now and the scenes you are seeing at the spot where the demolition drive is set to begin well, we can see the pictures of bulldozer pictures now. These there are at uh, uh, the new French colony of National Capital. Uh, the people there are now going back uh, from that uh, particular place. Remember that people had gathered there in large numbers and now we can see the pictures of uh, the bulldozer which is now reaching there in that particular area. Uh, remember that it's going to be another uh, big demolition drive that will be carried out by South Delhi Municipal Corporation, where it is uh, uh, going to uh, take, which is going to take place in four zones, of, uh, which has been uh, divided by the SDMC, uh, North, West, South, and North in Azimbe zone. Uh, the, and today the pictures are coming in from the central zone, where uh, in uh, in New Friends Colony, Bulldozer has now uh, reached. Uh, Police personnel have been deployed in large numbers and yesterday when SDLG had gone to do its demolition drive in Shine by area of Delhi, there was not enough uh, security personnel deployed uh, and that is why the agency officers faced a lot of problems. In fact, uh, protests also broke out at the, at the very time, at the very moment when Bulldozer reached here and the protest was uh, basically done by the uh, Shine Vag, uh, by the of the Shine Vag, uh, in fact, the opposed state demolition drive, and after which uh, the obstruction which was created by the political workers in the local church, uh, finally, a uh, demolition drive could not take place. So, today, SDMC is very much uh, prepared, and all these four zones, uh, uh, massive security has been uh, deployed, CRPF personnel has been deployed, and uh, we are now getting these pictures from New Friends Colony, where Bulldozer has now reached uh, uh, the demolition drive. Is now taking place and uh, uh, the encroachment, the legal encroachment which has been done uh, is now being removed uh, by the NCD from all the जाएगा वो इसमें रखा जाएगा यहाँ पर एसएसबी के जो जवान है वो आ चुके हैं सीआरपी के जो जवान है वो ऑलरेडी पहले आ चुके हैं जबरदस्त तरीके से यहाँ पर जो है वो फोर्स जो है दिल्ली पुलिस वो तैनात कर दी गई है क्या कहना चाहेंगे एमसीडी इस समय एक्शन में नजर आ रही है पूरे दिल्ली में बोलो साहब बोलो हाँ जी क्या नाम है आपका आपका आप इस तरफ से बात करने की कोशिश करते हैं हम सर आपका नाम क्या है विनोद कुमार विनोद जी एम सी डी इस बार इस बार पूरे दिल्ली में एक्शन में नजर आ रही पूरा अतिक्रमण हटाया जा रहा है जी बिल्कुल पूरा अतिक्रमण हटाया जा रहा है यहाँ पर पहले भी आए थे तो सुनने में आया था की कुछ पत्थरबाजी हुई थी इसलिए आज जबरदस्त बंदोबस्त किया गया हाँ प्रशासन के द्वारा बंदोबस्त किया गया है यहाँ प्रशासन के द्वारा बंदोबस्त किया गया है ये वो तमाम ट्रक जिनमें जो अतिक्रमण का जो सामान रहेगा वो उठाकर रखा जाएगा और ये वो बुलडोजर है ये वो बुलडोजर है जो उठाने वाला है इस तरीके के अतिक्रमण को ये जो अतिक्रमण है ना इस तरीके का अतिक्रमण जो है वो हटाया जाएगा आगे की तरफ आइए उज्जवल दिखाइए इस तरफ का इलाका दिखाइए देखिए ये एन की टोपी पहनकर यहाँ पर जो तमाम आए हैं एन के कर्मचारी हैं इस तरीके से यहाँ पर चूंकि आज बुलडोजर चलने वाला था उसके पहले ही जहाँ स्थानीय लोग थे यहाँ के उन लोगों ने इस बुलडोजर के आने के पहले ही अपना यहाँ का अतिक्रमण खुद से हटा लिया आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर ये सब दुकानें हैं ये सब दुकानें हैं यहाँ पर और इस तरीके से देखिए ये दुकानों में पाइप्स लगे हुए थे एंगल लगे हुए थे ऊपर शेड लगा हुआ था इसको काट कर उन्होंने हटा दिया है इसलिए हटा दिया है क्योंकि जो इससे पहले की एम हटाए ये हटा दिया गया है देखिए यहाँ पर जो है ड्रोन से यहाँ पर निगरानी रखी जा रही थी यही वो ड्रोन है यही वो ड्रोन है जिससे निगरानी रखी जा रही थी क्योंकि पिछली बार जब यहाँ पर आए थे तो कुछ पत्थरबाजी हुई थी इसके चलते यहाँ पर जो है और ये है हम आपको दिखाते हैं पंजाब के मुख्यमंत्री भगवंत मान जिनकी अभी आपने यहाँ पर बात सुनी थी क्या क्या so the visuals uh, on your screens coming from uh, the new friends colony in the national capital where there is heavy security दुकाने हटा ली मैं जहाँ पर खड़ा हूँ इस वक्त यहाँ पर दुकान हुआ कर दी थी कल तक 
लेकिन अब यहाँ पर नहीं है दुकान और ये देखिए क्लैम ये देखिए ये देखिए जाफर बिरयानी के नाम से यहाँ पर ये एक बिरयानी हब था यहाँ से लेके वहाँ तक का और यहाँ पर बिरयानी मिलती थी और पुलिस का बंदोबस्त देखिए यहाँ से लेके लगभग 200 मीटर आगे तक जबरदस्त तरीके से यहाँ पर पुलिस का डिप्लॉयमेंट किया गया है और सिर्फ यहाँ पर इसलिए किया गया है क्योंकि किसी भी प्रकार की अप्रिय घटना न घट सके सामने की तरफ जो जामा मस्जिद है इसके आस के जो इलाके आप देखिए उज्जवल दिखाइए एक एक कोना दिखाइए हर कोने में दिखाइए ये यहाँ पर यहाँ पर चांद भाई का एक ढाबा हुआ करता था और ये देखिए क्लैंप लगे हुए हैं अभी भी ये क्लैंप जो है टूटा हुआ पड़ा हुआ है क्योंकि लोहे के एक क्लैंप से ऊपर चादरें लगी हुई थी उसको काट के लोगों ने जो है अपना अतिक्रमण खुद से हटा लिया इससे पहले कि एमसीडी हटाती और तो और ये देखिए आगे की दुकान देखिए एक आगे बहुत यहाँ पर देखिए यहाँ पर भी जबरदस्त तरीके से यहाँ पर जो यहाँ के डी हैं वो बात कर रहे हैं हम उनसे जानना चाहेंगे क्या कुछ कह रहे हैं वो देखिए अभी अभी बात कर रहे हैं वो अभी कुछ देर के बाद में हम उनसे चर्चा करेंगे लेकिन यहाँ पर जो है जबरदस्त तरीके से यहाँ पर जो है एक बड़ी ड्राइव जो एमसी So the visuals on your screens right now of uh, Bhagwant Man, who is uh, leaving for Ljubljana, is what we are told. This uh, just a short while back, I uh, remember he also held a key security meet with the top state officials, in which he said he, uh, he discussed uh, the Mohali attack case. And now the visuals we are getting to you of uh, Bhagwant Man, who is leaving. For Ludhiana, the first which was we are getting to you just after, shortly after uh, Chief Minister Bhagwant Man also addressed the media in which he said that strong action will be taken against the perpetrators and that uh, any attempt to vitiate the atmosphere of atmosphere will be strongly thwarted. So the first visual of the chopper of uh, Bhagwant Man, he's just leaving for Ludhiana after holding a key meet with the top state officials, with the state DGP as well, closely tracking all the latest on that story. On the other side, uh, we'll get you the latest on the Gyan Bapi hearing case as it is set to continue in the Varanasi court today. And Raj Thakre has called a meeting of MNS leaders at his residence at 11 a.m. सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai it's being done in North Mumbai in Goregaon and Malad and Borivali it's also been done in South Bombay passive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route uh, funding of uh, these terror activities Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए 
जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के आक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों का आक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ कोर्ट का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पर मैंने भाष्य किया है showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Bagh remember that bull bulldozer has reached here but workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here a uh, police is trying to control the situation police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location but uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers uh, We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place. Across to the live visuals we are getting to you right now of the demolition drive which is underway in the national capital in four zones of South Delhi. The visuals on your screens right now are from the Mangolpuri and New Friends Colony in the national capital. So the bulldozers there raising the illegal structures in uh, the New Friends Colony as well as the Mangolpuri area of the national capital. There is a heavy security deployment as well. Additional forces have been deployed. Uh, after the protests uh, we saw at Shaheen Bagh where the anti-encroachment drive was also carried out yesterday and the visuals there on your screens of the bulldozers raising uh, the illegal structures in the Mangolpuri area of the national capital. So there is a heavy security deployment as well. Additional forces have also been deployed. Uh, the visuals on your screens uh, of uh, the heavy security deployment. And uh, all the illegal structures are being raised as the anti-encroachment drive continues in South Delhi. The visuals are right now. So uh, that was a local leader uh, speaking to the media and saying that people have moved out yet uh, they are demolishing. So uh, clearly hitting out at the MCD officials saying that people have uh, have moved out yet. Uh, encroachment drive is anti-encroachment drive is underway. And a lot of rebellion there as far as uh, the anti-encroachment drive there is concerned in the Mangolpuri area of the national capital. So uh, the demolition drive has begun and all those illegal buildings are being raised and as the buildings are being raised, a lot of protests uh, which seem to be taking place. Let's uh, listen into that soundbite again. 
वो नहीं हटा रहे वो हट जाएगा वो भी लोग हटा देंगे लोगों तंग कर रहे हैं इधर आओ इधर आओ इधर इधर इन लोगों ने हटा लिया आराम से पब्लिक को पब्लिक को वही तो करो पब्लिक को कोई ऑब्जेक्शन नहीं है बिना कर रहे हैं मैं आपसे कह रहा हूँ की पब्लिक को कोई ऑब्जेक्शन नहीं है जो बचा हुआ था वही तो हटा रहे हैं बचे हो अगर नहीं हटा रहे थोड़ा बहुत है हल्का बोलना सब लोगों ने अपने हटा लिए आप देखो वहाँ पर आप देखो वहाँ पर and bulldozer rolls in delhi many at many places uh, locals uh, up in arms over the demolition drive that the mcd has undertaken it's a big task uh, and uh, most residents are uh, expressing their anger here on republic tv we can see we are bringing you those visuals live as they are happening in mangolpuri area in new delhi as well as in new friends colony as well live and breaking here on uh, Republic TV the demolition drive in national capital delhi continues mcd determined to ensure that uh, encroachment rules are not overridden police there on the spot as well demolition drive is currently underway in national capital in four zones of south delhi the visuals we are getting right now are from mangolpuri and new friends colony in the national capital residents up in arms picking up uh, picking through the debris there and the municipal corporation in the national capital clearly determined to continue with its campaign against uh, encroachment yesterday we had seen how the anti encroachment drive in shaheen bagh was undertaken piyush our correspondent uh, on the story on the ground there piyush we are getting visuals from mangolpuri and uh, new friends colony uh, give us uh, an update uh, we are seeing that many of the residents a few of the residents are uh, expressing their anger they are angry picking through the debris and so on uh, what is the situation like there and other parts of delhi and also from mangolpuri and other parts of delhi and also from remember that uh, today cmc is going to carry out uh, its demolition drive in four zones uh, it's a demolition drive in four zones uh, central zone west and also in nazafgarh zone right now we are here in uh, uh, sagarpur area of national capital where the drive was to take place but here uh, police officers they are saying that as of now drive has not begun but yes we are getting puri and new friends colony where massive deployment of uh, mcd officers has been done a uh, security personnel has also been done uh, remember that uh, uh, yesterday scmc had gone there to shahin bag but they faced a lot of problems uh, as they could not carry out the demolition drive uh, because of the uh, uh, because of the unavailability of enough security personnel and, and after that the protests had also uh, broken out scmc officer okay. 
every area of plastic capital. Last we did not have a drive. We further going to uh, continue, but yes, uh, today uh, the drive, demolition drive, is taking place in four zones. Uh, uh, the massive plastic capital deployment has been done. By the ASD, as our Delhi Municipal Corporation, uh, to talk about this, this entire thing, remember that a uh, politic is also taking place on this entire issue where uh, limitations are now there on arm of the party that it. Uh, did not let the demolition drive to that it uh, did not let the demolition drive to uh, take place uh, yesterday the aam aadmi party and congress workers had all uh, to protest the demolition drive which took place in right piyush when when was the last time we had seen such uh, uh, quick and dramatic action on the mcd as uh, on the part of the mcd as far as uh, the national capital is concerned these areas known uh, for encroachment uh, uh, and as far as we know most of the encroachment that's being bulldozed here are extensions of shops or homes uh, uh, it's not actually as if uh, homes are uh, getting destroyed is that correct yes yeah, i'm sure you guys are telling out the uh... There are many illegal. There are many places in Delhi where illegal extension encroachment has been in fact done by the uh, people living there in two parts of national capital. So, uh, only during this regular exercise, uh, we have seen MCD taking out uh, this such drives. Uh, yesterday, the allegation was clear on MCD that uh, it just was to politicize the issue, and uh, BJP is doing the politics of uh, Hindu Muslim. Uh, but today, also this drive is taking place. It is happening in India. It's not only. Shine Bagh was part of uh, the demolition drive, but uh, other areas of uh, Delhi were are in fact a uh, part of the uh, demolition drive. Right now, every speaking demolition drive is uh, taking place in a new and colony in Mangalpuri, in Saharipur, in Ravagad, in Chawla, in many parts of South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Uh, so this drive is certainly uh, interesting. That time, uh, it says that uh, only Shine Bagh was being targeted. But other parts of where illegal encroachment has been done, there also the uh, demolition drive is being carried out. Uh, as regular on regular basis, we have seen uh, strikes of being carried out by the officers of the Delhi Municipal Corporation. And today, uh, in large numbers, uh, the officers of MCD have reached there. We have also seen the massive presence of the security personnel there at. Uh, New Delhi colony, Mangalpuri area, and other other parts of the national capital. Uh, there are four zones where the demolition drive is being carried out. Yesterday, uh, has been reached in large numbers yesterday because of the unavailability of enough security personnel. Uh, the drive could not take place uh, uh, properly. But today, uh, they have come in large numbers. The security personnel has been deployed in large numbers, and that is why uh, the officers are able to are able to. Uh, to, uh, we are designed to, to function their duties. Uh, in right now, we are also in Saharipur, uh, but here we are seeing the situation is uh, uh, comparatively. Right. Uh, interestingly, uh, interestingly, uh, Piyush, when we talk about politicization of the issue, yesterday, AAP leaders as well as Congress leaders were saying that, uh, and various other members of uh, the com of of uh, of Shahin Bagh. Uh, of the of uh, local residents they were saying that you know the minority community is being threatened today the argument is one of poverty a local leader has said as our reporter told us that poor people should not be threatened the mcd this is not a way to function the mcd is doing wrong Well, uh, local leaders there up in arms. Uh, these are visuals uh, as our correspondent Piyush uh, was telling us from Sagarpur in New Delhi, Sagarpur, Mangalpuri, a New Friends Colony, uh, known uh, to be a very posh colony in uh, New Delhi, also part of the demolition drive of the Municipal Corporation of Delhi, which is uh, going at it. Uh, it's been many years since such a drive was undertaken by the municipal corporation and uh, local residents uh, are of course uh, extremely perturbed extremely angry at what's happening however 
the MCD has its own argument. The bulldozers arriving there in uh, Mangolpuri, in uh, New Friends Colony and also in Najafgarh, which is uh, almost on the outskirts, Mangolpuri also as, as well, Sagarpur near Mangolpuri and uh, New Friends Colony. All four zones are in South Delhi. Going back once again to our correspondent Piyush. Piyush, when was the last time the MCD has actually acted on uh, its warnings, on what it has said? Um, like you rightly, uh, you know, pointed out about the fact that uh, the demolition drive is taking place uh, in many parts of the national capital, uh, in Nazarbad, Chavla, Mangalpuri, New Defence Colony, in Tagarpur. These are the parts where the demolition drive, as you are speaking, uh, is taking place. Uh, the bulldozers have now reached at their respective locations, uh, and uh, the demolition drive is taking place in these parts. Uh, so through this drive, like we were telling to our viewers, through this drive, uh, a message is being sent out clearly, loud and clear messages being sent that uh, uh, not only one particular community is being targeted, but uh, everywhere, uh, wherever there is an uh, illegal encroachment, uh, the bulldozer is going there uh, to demolish and to, to demolish the encroachments that have been done by the people uh, in these respective locations. Uh, so today, the demolition drive is uh, being carried out, uh, and we are getting the pictures from the uh, defense colony from. Uh, uh, Mangolpuri and also from other parts of national capital. We'll have to wait and watch how uh, this drive is going to, to take place throughout the day, but uh, there is massive uh, presence of uh, security personnel and, and in, in large numbers uh, the uh, CRPS personnel have been deployed. We are also seeing uh, the MCD officers uh, reaching there in large numbers. Uh, so today the MCD has gone fully prepared. Uh, yesterday when uh, the officers had reached in Shahinbagh, uh, only handful of uh, uh, personnel were present there. Uh, in fact, uh, that was the reason that uh, uh, the NCD officers uh, could not carry out uh, uh, their demolition drive. Uh, in fact, the bulldozer, ha bulldozer had to return back uh, uh, to uh, the SDMC office uh, uh, because it was stopped there by the locals and the workers of political parties. Uh, uh, but, uh, but today, uh, the CRPF personnel uh, and all the police personnel of uh, the local in, in, in these areas where the demolition drive is to take place has been deployed in large numbers. Uh, and as we are speaking, uh, we can see the pictures coming in from New France Colony where there is, uh, uh, you know, anger also among the people. The people are saying that uh, uh, this should not have happened. Uh, in fact, uh, they are living here for the last many, many years. And that is the excuse which we have seen every time wherever... Which we have seen every time wherever uh, the demolition drives uh, takes place. Uh, last time when uh, demolition was taking place in Jangirpuri, few people had did, raised objections on that also. Uh, in Shaheen Bagh also, we saw massive politics taking place uh, uh, but today the locals are now expressing their anger over this demolition drive in uh, uh, New Friends Colony and also in Mangolpuri area of Delhi. Uh, demolition drive basically has been planned in Sagarpur, Chavla uh, and also other parts uh, of Delhi. We'll have to wait and watch how the, the day is going to go today because SDMC is fully prepared today. They does, uh, SDMC does not want to take any kind of chance and that is why uh, BJP which is also ruling the MCD has made it very clear that it will not tolerate at any cost the illegal occupation by these people. In fact, BJP has also uh, said that uh, since beginning BJP has also said that uh, the uh, there is a illegal encroachment of uh, Rohingyas and, and Bangladeshis uh, to which the other political parties have been rebutting by saying that no there is no such a uh, uh, presence of these uh, uh, of, of people from uh, from either from from Rohingya or community or from uh, the Bangladesh is uh, uh, we'll have to wait and watch um, how the arm of the party is going to look today's demolition drive but there is a massive presence of security personnel there is massive presence of MCD officers right. in these areas where this demolition drive Piyush, we'll be back with you in a short while we have with us on the phone line arm Admi party MLA Mukesh Ahlawat who was detained uh, Mukesh ji, aapki baat bataiye Republic ko, uh, what do you feel about uh, bulldozers rolling into various zones in Delhi? Madam, I said in logon ko pehle 4-5 din pehle bata diya tha ki yahan se bulldozer chalega. Aur yahan ke logon ne sabne apne aap hata liya hai. 
और कहीं भी आप लोग चेक करोगे तो सब हटा पड़ा है लेकिन फिर भी ये बुलडोजर लेके आए हैं और लोगों को तंग करने में लगे हैं रही बात एनक्रोचमेंट की तो थोड़ी बहुत एनक्रोचमेंट थी लेकिन उसमें लोग अभी ज्यादा नहीं थी और जी थी तो उन्होंने हटा लिया है अभी ये लोग कम से कम लेकर डेढ़ सौ दो सौ लोग यहाँ पर अपना रेडी पटरी से अपना कारोबार चला रहे थे रेडी पटरी में तो लोग हमारा राइट है इस देश में कि हम रेडी पटरी को आ, को हटाया ना जाए लेकिन रेडी पटरी को भी हटाया गया वहां से तो ये सही नहीं है ना वो गरीब आदमी खाएगा कैसे ये बताओ आज आज उस गरीब आदमी के घर में कोई पैसे कमाएगा नहीं तो खिलाएगा कैसे अपने बच्चों को अभी डेढ़ परिवार को भी लगा लोगे यदि चार चार है तो कम से कम हजार आदमी तो इनके परिवार के हो जाते हैं हजार आदमी का आज तो इन्होंने दिक्कत की है अब मैं वहाँ का प्रतिनिधि मैं मेरे को चिंता नहीं होगी क्या मेरे लोगों का पैसा अत्याचार होगा तो जी आ, आज आप कह रहे हो दी इज थ्रेटनिंग द पुअर आपका आर्ग्यूमेंट गरीबी का है कल इट वॉज अबाउट अटैकिंग द माइनॉरिटी कम्युनिटी कोर्ट ने भी कहा है आपसे Do not politicize the issue. आपका क्या कहना है मैडम ऐसा है क्या नाम ये केवल कुछ ही ऐसे एरिया में यहाँ पर अटैक किया जाए शाइन बाग वाले एरिया में अटैक किया गया जहांगीरपुरी वाले एरिया में अटैक किया यहाँ पर अब सुल्तानपुर माजरा विधानसभा में भी इन्हीं एरिया पे अटैक किया जा रहा है जहाँ पर कुछ मुस्लिम बस्तियां रहती है तो ये सही नहीं है ना ये यदि उनको हटाना है एनक्रोचमेंट हटाना तो पूरी दिल्ली में सब सब जगह ऐसे हटाए ना फिर ये और ये एमसीडी में इतने साल से थे तो इन्होंने उस तब भी तो देखना चाहिए यहाँ पर तीस तीस पैंतीस पैंतीस साल से लोग काम कर रहे हैं अपना वेल दी एम सी डी इज डूइंग इट्स वर्क एज द कोर्ट हैज सेड एंड इट विल एंड द कोर्ट हैज सेड दैट इट हैज एवरी राइट टू कंटिन्यू डूइंग इट्स वर्क मिस्टर मुकेश तो दिस ड्राइव दिस इज द बिगिनिंग ये शुरुआत है ऑफ दिस ड्राइव डोंट यू थिंक एम सी डी इज राइट इन डूइंग अपना काम कर रहे हैं टू स्टॉप एनक्रोचमेंट दिस इज आफ्टर ऑल द नेशनल कैपिटल देर आर प्लेसेज वेर एज यू एज यू मैंशन थेला वालाज रेडी वालाज अपना बिजनेस uh, कर सकते हैं एम सी डी ने पहले काम कार्रवाई क्यों नहीं की अभी चुनाव के चुनाव के समय ही इन्होंने ऐसी क्यों दिमाग में आया ये सोच के देखो आप और पहले इन्होंने एमसीडी का चुनाव रद्द कर दिया अब इन्होंने ये तोड़फोड़ करनी शुरू कर दी ये कि केंद्र दिल्ली सरकार को बदनाम करने के लिए ये किया जा रहा है वेल इट्स नॉट द दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट लोकल पीपल जिन्होंने ये लॉज तोड़े हैं इट्स अबाउट दैट एम सी डी को अपना काम करना दे शुड बी एम सी डी शुड बी अलाउड टू डू इट्स वर्क आपका क्या कहना है मैडम एम सी डी कहाँ काम कर रही है एम सी डी एम सी डी तो भ्रष्टाचार बचा रखा है इन लोगों ने कल जैसे सी पी आई एम हैड गॉन टू कोर्ट आपका क्या वॉट इज द आम आदमी पार्टी स्टैंड आपका क्या इरादा है नेक्स्ट स्टेप क्या होगा आपका पार्टी का इस 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 इशू पे मिस्टर मुकेश मिस्टर वेल मुकेश अलावत द आप एमएलए हु वाज डिटेन्ड इन एज ही प्रोटेस्टेड द बुलडोजर्स as the bulldozers arrived in four zones in south delhi among them najafgarh sagarpur as well as new friends colony and mangolpuri area getting rid of encroachment undertaken all the locals do say that most of the people who received notices have evacuated their complaint now is uh, that this was unnecessary because uh, Uh, residents had already taken steps in order to ensure that uh, the mcd's orders were complied with and uh, the mcd conducting raids uh, uh, mcd conducting path hai 3 feet ka lekin iske aage ye dekhiye yahan tak jo hai wo dukaan 3 feet aur aage badha kar encroachment kar diya gaya to footpath bhi khatam aur yahan par dukaan khol di gayi aur isi ye jo thiye banaye gaye inhi thiyon ko inhi thiyon ko todne ke liye aaya hai ye dekhiye ये देखिए सीधी तस्वीरें दर्शकों को दिखा रहे हैं कि ये जो जेसीबी मशीन है 
ये अब रोकने वाली नहीं है ये तभी रुकेगी जब पूरा का पूरा इलीगल कंस्ट्रक्शन यहाँ से नष्ट कर दिया जाएगा निश्चित नाबूद कर दिया जाएगा और देखिए अब ये वहीं पर आ गई है ये ये वो वो उस दुकान को नोटिस जारी किया गया है कि आप अपना सामान निकाल लो नहीं तो नुकसान भारी हो जाएगा सबकी दुकान जो भी इलीगल है वो तोड़ेगी एन वो माफ नहीं करेगी किसी को क्योंकि ये तो जनता की जनता की सड़क है ये आम आदमी के लिए सड़क बनाई गई थी और ये देखिए उज्ज्वल यहाँ आइए उज्ज्वल यहाँ आइए और बताइए बिल्कुल ये देखिए ये जो ठिया है इसको भी अब निश्चय नबूद किया जा रहा है इसको भी तोड़ा जा रहा है क्योंकि ये देखिए जो मैंने अभी अपने दर्शकों को बताया था कि तीन फिट चार फिट आगे तक ये जो है कंस्ट्रक्शन कर दिया गया था और ये और ये देखिए ये जो खम्बा जो है ये खम्बा जो है इस खम्बे के चारों तरफ जो है एक ठिया बना दिया गया था उस ठिये को भी अब निश्चय नाबूद कर दिया है इस एम के जे मशीन ने बुलडोजर ने तो ये जो बुलडोजर है वो पूरे पूरे के पूरे देश भर में अलग अलग जगहों पर भी चल रहा है और उसके बाद में अब ये दिल्ली में जो है चारों तरफ दिल्ली के चारों तरफ अलग अलग हिस्सों में अलग अलग जगहों पर ये जो इंक्रोचमेंट किया गया था उन सभी में ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है आप देख सकते हैं कि पूरा का पूरा जो सरकारी खम्बा था वो खम्बे को ही अतिक्रमण के अंदर ले लिया था ये जो ये जो आ, मीटर देखने को मिल रहा है ये क्या इनको मीटर मिल लग गए थे यहाँ दुकानों में नहीं ये पता नहीं हमें जानकारी नहीं इसकी लेकिन ये मीटर जो है आप देख सकते हैं ये एम सी के ही कर्मचारी हैं जो निगरानी रखे हुए हैं कि जो कार्रवाई चल रही है वो सही तरीके से चल रही है नहीं चल रही लेकिन आप देख सकते हैं कि ये जो जहाँ पर अभी कुछ देर पहले जहाँ पर वो एक पूरा ठिया बना था हम खम्बे के बाजू से नहीं खड़े हो सकते थे अब हम खम्बे के बाजू से खड़े हुए और ये देख सकते हैं कि आप यहाँ पर मीटर भी लगा हुआ है आगे की तरफ बढ़ते हैं और जो आगे की तस्वीरें दिखाइए कैसे यहाँ पर जो है एक एक करके ये बुलडोजर जो है वो चल रहा है जे मशीन चल रही है और ये तब तक नहीं रुकने वाली जे मशीन तब तक जब तक कि ये पूरा का पूरा जो है इलाके का अतिक्रमण को हटा नहीं देगी उज्ज्वल यहाँ बताइए ये देखिए सरकारी सरकारी स्कूल यहाँ पर मौजूद है और स्कूल के सामने आकर ये जे मशीन खड़ी हो गई है देखिए उत्तरी दिल्ली नगर निगम की प्राथमिक सहसाला यहाँ पर मौजूद है मतलब ये जो पूरा का पूरा इलाका यहाँ से पूरा का पूरा लॉन्ग शॉट बताइए उज्ज्वल और दिखाइए यहाँ से लेकर वहाँ मस्जिद तक मस्जिद तक का जो पूरा का पूरा बाउंड्री आपको दिख रही है ये सरकारी स्कूल की बाउंड्री थी और इस बाउंड्री में पाँच पाँच सात सात आठ आठ फिट तक अतिक्रमण करने के बाद में यहाँ पर जो है वो यहाँ पर अतिक्रमण किया गया था तो कुल मिलाकर यहाँ पर जो अतिक्रमण किया गया वो इसी तरीके से किया गया जे के चालक हैं आप इतना सारा कंस्ट्रक्शन तोड़ दिया क्या क्या कहेंगे जी सफाई होनी चाहिए हम तो ये चाहेंगे सही है ये सही है जी ये कंस्ट्रक्शन टूटना सही है टूटना सही है जी के खम्बे अंदर कर लिए थे हाँ जी अभी और आगे और आगे भी चलेगा अभी, अभी आगे चलेगा अभी अच्छा अभी और आगे जाएगा अभी और आगे जाएगा आज आगे कितने 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 किलोमीटर का दायरा साफ कर देंगे अतिक्रमण का आप लोग करीब दो किलोमीटर करीब अच्छा आपका नाम क्या है मेरा नाम साविर खान है जी साविर खान है ये 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 ड्राइवर है जेसी बी मशीन के और यही वो शख्स है जो यहाँ पर अभी बुलडोजर में बैठ बुलडोजर को चला रहे थे जेसी मशीन को चला रहे थे और जेसी मशीन को चलाने के बाद में अब ये लगभग दो किलोमीटर दो किलोमीटर का जो दायरा है उस पूरे दायरे में जितना भी इलीगल कंस्ट्रक्शन है उस पूरे इलीगल कंस्ट्रक्शन को हटा दिया जाएगा और जल एक बार चारों तरफ की तस्वीर दिखाइए चारों तरफ की तस्वीर दिखाइए कि किस तरीके से यहाँ पर जो है दिल्ली पुलिस यहाँ पर तैनात है यहाँ पर अभी डीसीपी भी आए हुए थे और और ये सामने की तरफ गलियां देखिए ये जो गलियां हैं इन गलियों पर को नाकाबंदी कर दी गई है कोई इस तरफ आ नहीं सकता कोई उस तरफ जा नहीं सकता ये सामने की मुख्य गली है जिस गली से अभी बुलडोजर चलते चला आ रहा है यही वो सामने की गली है जिसमें आगे की तरफ जाएगा और जैसा कि साबिर खान ने बताया जो कि ड्राइवर है जे मशीन के कि लगभग दो किलोमीटर के इलाके में जितना भी इंक्रोचमेंट हो सभी को ध्वस्त कर दिया जाएगा और देखिए यहाँ पर अंदर जो है यहाँ के जो कुछ प्रतिनिधि हैं जनप्रतिनिधि हैं वो बात करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं हम भी उनसे कोशिश करेंगे बात करने की अभी वो कुछ लोगों से बात कर रहे हैं लेकिन लेकिन आगे की तरफ हम चलते हैं और जेसी भी और जेसी भी मशीन जो है वो अब आगे बढ़ती चली जा रही है अभी फिलहाल यहाँ पर थोड़ा सा मशीन को भी आराम दिया गया है जो कर्मचारी एम सी के लगे हुए थे गर्मी बहुत ज़्यादा है वो पानी पी रहे हैं थोड़ा सा रिलैक्स कर रहा हूँ फिर उसके बाद में फिर उसके बाद में अपनी कार्रवाई को आगे बढ़ाएंगे ये लोग और देखिए जे मशीन के पीछे आप देख सकते हैं जे मशीन के 
के पीछे जो है वो एम का ट्रक चल रहा है एम का ट्रक एम का ट्रक चल रहा है जो इलीगल कंस्ट्रक्शन जो किया गया है जो तोड़फोड़ की गई है जो जो रेड़ी पटरी हटाई गई है उनमें से जो महत्वपूर्ण सामान होगा उसकी जब्ती की जाएगी एम द्वारा और जब्त करके वो लोग लेके जाएंगे ये देखिए यहाँ पर जो है कई जगह पर सी फुटेज भी लगे हुए हैं और ऊपर ऊपर देखिए एक एक हर मकान से जो है लोग यहाँ पर नजर गड़ाए देख रहे हैं कि किस तरीके से जो एम की कार्रवाई है वो चल रही है और जो बुलडोजर है अब बुलडोजर देखिए देखिए वो जो दिखाइए कुछ हंगामे की बात हुई है यहाँ पर कुछ हंगामा करने की लोग कोशिश कर रहे थे हम उनसे हम हम दिखाएंगे अपने दर्शकों को कि देखिए सामने की तरफ जो है सामने की तरफ जो है वो हम लोग हम लोग हम लोग वहाँ चलते हैं और बात करने की कोशिश करते हैं कि आखिर आखिर ये पूरा विषय क्या हुआ है आखिर किस विषय को लेकर यहाँ पर हंगामा कर रहे हैं यहाँ पर लोग हंगामा करने के लिए आए हैं शायद स्थानीय नेता है या कौन है हम उनसे बात करेंगे लेकिन दिल्ली पुलिस जो है उनको लेकर चली गई है दिल्ली पुलिस जो है जो यहाँ पर नारेबाजी कर रहे थे उनको लेकर गई है दिल्ली पुलिस लेकर गई है नारेबाजी करने वाले लोगों को और कौन है कौन है ये हमारे एमएलए साहब हैं एमएलए साहब पच्चीस साल पुराने एमएलए साहब अच्छा पहले पुराने एमएलए साहब हैं पुराने एमएलए साहब हैं यहाँ पर देखिए जो पुराने एमएलए साहब हैं वो यहाँ पर आए हुए थे शायद कांग्रेस पार्टी से एम रहे होंगे वो यहाँ पर आए उज्जवल यहाँ दिखाइए ये गाड़ी में उज्जवल यहाँ दिखाइए ये गाड़ी में एम साहब बात नहीं करेंगे एम साहब हटाइए एम साहब हटाइए जी बताइए अन्याय हो रहा सरेआम अन्याय हो रहा दिल्ली मेरा नाम जय किशन है मैं कांग्रेस का वर्किंग प्रेसिडेंट हूँ दिल्ली का पच्चीस साल यहाँ एम रहा हूँ दिल्ली सरकार का एम का दिल्ली पुलिस अन्याय कर रही है गरीब लोगों को जोड़ने पर लगी है ये गरीब लोग रोटी रोजी कुमा रहे ये समय की नहीं बेच रहे शराब नहीं बेच रहे ये देखिए जो दिल्ली ये जो देखिए जो कांग्रेस पार्टी के जो वर्किंग प्रेसिडेंट है इस पूरे इलाके के वो यहाँ पर आए हुए थे और यहाँ पर आने के बाद अब दिल्ली पुलिस जो है वो उन्हें यहाँ से उठाकर ले जा रही है क्योंकि यहाँ पर आकर वो हंगामा कर रहे थे और देखिए चारों तरफ की तस्वीरें दिखाई उज्जवल स्थानीय लोग जो है वो यहाँ पर खड़े हुए सभी लोगों को यहाँ पर अंदर बंद कर दिया गया कि कोई भी बाहर आकर ये जो एम की ड्राइव चल रही है इसमें किसी भी तरीके से बाधा उत्पन्न न करें तो यहाँ पर एक पॉलिटिशियन अपनी राजनीति करने के लिए आए थे राजनीति चमकाने के लिए आए थे लेकिन दिल्ली पुलिस ने फिलहाल उन्हें उठाकर अब वहाँ से यहाँ से ले गई है कि किसी प्रकार से वो हंगामा ना कर सकें और देखिए ये नाकाबंदी इस नाकाबंदी के उस तरफ दूसरी तरफ आप देखिए दूसरी तरफ जो जे मशीन है वो अब रिलैक्स कर रहे हैं और वो अब आगे की कार्रवाई के लिए तैयार हो रहे हैं तो ज्वल लगातार तस्वीरें हमें दिखा रहे हैं कि किस तरीके से जो है यहाँ पर जेसीबी मशीन जो है वो काम कर रही है एमसीडी काम कर रही है और यहाँ पर जो है लगातार जो है कंस्ट्रक्शन जो इलीगल कंस्ट्रक्शन हुआ हुआ था उसे अब हटाया जा रहा है एक एक करके हटाया जा रहा है These are visuals that you see from New Friends Colony, another one of the four zones that the MCD is conducting its anti-encroachment drive in. The MCD is very clear about its mission here. It says that it wants to send out a message of no encroachment, no breaking the law, because it says that many people, many residents. Yes, JCB, जो है चलाए चलाई जाएगी जो आती करवाने हैं उसको हटाया जाएगा. उज्ज्वल आप तस्वीरें दिखाते रहिए हमारे दर्शकों को लगातार ये देखिए आगे की तरफ जो है आग दो पानी बोतल लिया है ये मिट्टी जो है ये हटा करके और कहीं और रखा जाएगा और ये बुलडोजर वही है जो पिछले डेढ़ किलोमीटर से लगातार चलता आ रहा है और थमने का नाम नहीं ले रहा है क्योंकि बुलडोजर ने बुलडोजर को साफ तौर पे इसीलिए लाया गया है जितने भी लीगल चीज़ें हैं जितने भी लीगल निर्माण है दुकानें हैं मकाने हैं या जो भी हैं उनको साफ तौर पर यह बुलडोजर तोड़ने का काम कर रहा है साफ तौर पर और जवान जो है दिल्ली पुलिस के हो या सी के जवान हो वो लगातार सुरक्षा मुहैया यहाँ पर करा रहे हैं बुलडोजर जो है वो 
लगातार चलता जा रहा है देखिए ये जो है ये ड्राइव लगभग पिछले डेढ़ घंटे से एक घंटे से जारी है और ये ड्राइव लगातार चलती जा रही है जैसे देख सकते हैं बुलडोजर जो है जहां कहीं भी जहां कहीं भी सड़क के किनारे इलीगल इंक्रोचमेंट दिख रहा है उसको साफ तौर पर तोड़ने का या हटाने का काम कर रहा है इसके पीछे पीछे कई एम की ट्रकें चल रही है लेकिन लेकिन देखिए तस्वीरें मैं दिखाना चाहूंगा मैं चाहूंगा संदीप आप सुरक्षा बल की तस्वीरें दिखाइए देखिए यहाँ पर महिला जो पुलिस है महिला सीआरपीएफ के जवान है उनको भी तैनात किया गया है क्यों तैनात किया गया है क्योंकि कल शाहीन बाग की अगर हम तस्वीरें देखें तो वहां पर कई महिलाएं जो हैं वो बुल बाहर सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पे मैंने भाष्य किया है We are showing you the pictures of this protest, which is right now taking place uh, outside Shahin Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here, but workers of Congress Party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now, police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. A police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, We are showing you the pictures of this protest, which is right now taking place uh, outside Shahin Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here, but workers of Congress Party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now, police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. A uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location, but uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, Now the workers of Congress Party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया आरोप चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज The demolition drive is currently underway in the national capital in at least four zones of South Delhi. The visuals that we are getting for you right now are from uh, Mangolpuri and New Friends Colony area in the national capital. Now, Congress leaders, of course, uh, earlier were seen trying to block 
the bulldozers uh, that uh, have been sent to demolish uh, parts of illegal constructions uh, in this part. Now, the North Delhi Municipal Corporation, of course, has begun had uh, uh, begun its encroachment, anti-encroachment drive rather in Mangolpuri. The civic body on Monday had carried out a similar drive that we'd seen in Shaheen Bagh. And these dramatic visuals that we are seeing are once again a reminder of what we've seen in Delhi since this demolition drive actually began. Now, a short while ago, of course, there were leaders from the the Congress Party and the Ahmadi Party who were trying to block these bulldozers and uh, stopping uh, their civil uh, the municipal corporation and essentially from doing its work. Uh, there has, of course, uh, been criticism that's coming in from various political parties over what they say uh, is the civic authorities extra judicial actions. But at the moment on your screens right now is all the action that's coming uh, from, I think, New Friends Colony in New Delhi, where we can see these bulldozers uh, essentially taking down illegal construction that has been made in several parts of uh, Delhi. Uh, the action, of course, began at about 11 this morning, where we saw um, the NDMC, that's the North Delhi Municipal Corporation, begin its anti-encroachment demolition drive in Mangolpuri. Uh, the civic body on Monday had carried out a similar drive in Shaheen Bagh, which was disrupted by protests. Now, Yesterday, of course, hours after the demolition drive at Shaheen Bagh was disrupted, the Delhi police launched an FIR against AAP MLA uh, Amanatullah Khan and his supporters for allegedly uh, halting the MCD-led drive on Monday. And the BJP has, of course, asked the South Delhi Municipal Corporation Commissioner also to take action against political leaders from the Aam Admi Party and the, BJ, uh, and the Congress Party who disrupted the demolition drive at Shaheen Bagh on Monday. Uh, now, we have, of course, seen a detailed plan that has been drawn up by the Municipal Corporation in Delhi to take down illegal construction in various parts. In fact, in that particular plan, what we saw चल रहा था यहां पर जो अतिक्रमण किया गया था उसकी एक कार्रवाई चल रही थी और यहां पर एक बार फिर से देखा ये उज्जवल लगभग 500 मीटर का जो दायरा था ये ये जामा मस्जिद का जामा मस्जिद इलाके का जो ये पूरा का पूरा इलाका था एक बार जामा मस्जिद भी दिखाई ये उज्जवल ये जामा मस्जिद है और इस जामा मस्जिद के आसपास का जो इलाका था इस पूरे इलाके में इस पूरे इलाके में लगभग 500 मीटर के इलाके में जो है अब बुलडोजर चल चुका है इस तरीके से इस तरीके से इस तरीके से मंगोलपुरी में इस तरीके से जो पक्का कंस्ट्रक्शन किया गया था पक्के ठीए बनाए गए थे इस तरीके के पक, पक्के All right, news just coming in. Uh, this uh, relates to uh, the RPG blast that happened in Punjab yesterday. Now, the Punjab Police DGP VK Bhavra has arrived at the Punjab Intelligence Headquarters. After meeting the Punjab Chief Minister, the DGP has also uh, reached uh, the intelligence office to take stock of the situation. Meanwhile, a team of the CRP has also arrived at the intelligence office. Now, just to give our viewers details of this audacious attack that we saw yesterday, of course, uh, this was an attack that was uh, launched through a rocket-propelled grenade. Uh, joining me live from Mohali is Amandeep. Amandeep, give us the latest on the investigations uh, that are taking place. Well, Nupur, if we talk about the investigation, Punjab police have de detained certain people and in fact this confirmation has given by Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan that he ensured that by the evening the case would be solved. But the present scenario is that Punjab police DGP VK Bhavra has just arrived at intelligence office to take stock of the situation. It is not only VK Bhavra or DGP, uh, there is a team of CRP also. They have also reached here to investigate the matter to check the spot and in fact now after this they will be disclosing the piece of investigation and the development what they have done so far but the point is that how it happened and who who has done this this is the big question and in fact now DGP is present inside the intelligence office along with the ADGP intelligence IG intelligence and several other officers as well where first they are visiting the spot where the RPG where the RPG has been fired and in fact Later, they will come to the road from where it has been fired. How much damage? 
how much damage has been done by the rpg attack that is also accessed and they are also scrutinizing the cctv cameras as well they have got certain leads from where they have identified certain people and after that they have detained also certain people regarding the same case but the present scenario is that this entire uh, incident has been linked to the pro khalistani activists they are all behind and hatching the conspiracy to attack the intelligence uh, headquarter of punjab police dgp himself is involved and even after meeting punjab chief minister bhagwant man all of sudden dgp traveled down to the intelligence headquarter to take stock of the situation a very detailed report has been shared with the punjab chief minister regarding the entire incident and even the development as well that almost 11 people have been detained so far uh, on the suspect and even chief minister that is the reason chief minister mm. ensured that by the evening punjab police will be able to crack down this case and the accused will be behind the bars dgp himself right. in, in involved into this entire investigation he visiting with All right so that's the latest we are getting right now the NIA could be probing this we slip into a short break on the other side we'll bring bringing you all the live action from New Delhi We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shahin Bagh remember that bull bulldozer has reached here but workers of congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, south delhi municipal corporation now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here a uh, police is trying to control the situation police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location but uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers uh, we are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shahin Bagh remember that bull bulldozer has reached here but workers of congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, south delhi municipal corporation now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here a uh, police is trying to control the situation police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location but uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers uh, Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus um, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों का अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ
Well, we are cutting across right to visuals that we are getting from New Friends Colony in Delhi where the bulldozers are in action again. And now security personnel, of course, have also been deployed at the New Friends Colony area as the STMC, that's the South Delhi Municipal Corporation, has begun its planned demolition drive. Uh, according to latest uh, reports that we've been uh, getting, of course, is that... Uh, uh, there are extra security first personnel who have also been deployed in this area. Now, earlier, uh, of course, the NDMC had carried out uh, demolition in the Mongolpuri area of uh, uh, Delhi, where uh, there were significant structures which were brought down. Now, this is a planned anti-encroachment drive by the municipal corporation. All right, and uh, when this demolition tribe was taking place in Mangolpuri area, of course, we saw the Congress as well as Ahmad. ये देखिए यहाँ कुछ 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 जगह जो है वो अभी भी इस मकान के कुछ हिस्से जो हैं वो बच चुके हैं इसको अब जैसे भी तोड़ने का काम करेगी जिस तरीके से देखिए इसमें कहीं ना कहीं एक पेड़ भी हमें नजर आ रहा है क्या जैसे भी इस पेड़ को भी गिरा देगी ये देखने वाली बात है क्योंकि ये जो हिस्सा है ये एम ने साफ तौर पर इलीगल घोषित किया है और ये हिस्से को तोड़ रही है लगातार तौर पर जैसे भी देखिए अभी मकान को मैं चाहूँगा एक बार दिखा दीजिए संदीप मकान देखिए कितना बड़ा मकान है और इस मकान के कुछ हिस्से जो है बाहरी हिस्से वो साफ तौर पर इलीगल कैसे थे वो सरकारी जमीन में थे कहीं ना कहीं हम कह सकते हैं इस वजह से जो है जेसीबी लगातार इस हिस्से को तोड़ती हुई नजर आ रही है ये इलीगल ड्राइव की बात करें इलीगल इंक्रोचमेंट की बात करें तो वो लगातार तौर पे जारी है और कल जिस तरीके से हमने देखा कि कल बुलडोजर का एक्शन नहीं हो पाया था लेकिन लेकिन आज जो है बुलडोजर का एक्शन भरपूर तौर पर जारी है चाहे हम मंगोलपुरी की बात करें चाहे हम न्यू फ्रेंड्स कॉलोनी दिल्ली की बात करें हर जगह बुलडोजर ड्राइव लगातार तौर पर जारी है और देख सकते हैं पुलिस लगातार अनाउंसमेंट करिए क्या अनाउंसमेंट कर रहे हैं सर सभी लोग उचित दूरी बनाए रखिए जेसीबी से एमसीडी को अपना कार्य करने दीजिए या किसी को किसी प्रकार की हानि ना हो इसीलिए आपको बार बार अनाउंसमेंट किया जा रहा है जेसीबी से दूरी बनाए रखिए ड्राइव कब तक चलेगी अभी ये हमारे अफसरों को पता है हमें कंफर्म नहीं है अभी जी तो देख सकते हैं ये ड्राइव लगातार चलती जा रही है पिछले दो घंटे से और लगातार यहाँ साफ जी दिल्ली पुलिस की तरफ से कैमरा इन्हीं पर रखिए दिल्ली पुलिस की तरफ से साफ अनाउंसमेंट की जा रही है सर इधर आइए जरा इधर आइए और एक बार और अनाउंस एक बार और अनाउंस कीजिए अनाउंस कीजिए सभी लोगों से अनुरोध है जेसीबी से उचित दूरी बनाए रखिए और ये दीवार के पास जो लोग खड़े हैं वहाँ से हट जाइए दीवार कभी भी गिर सकती है ये दीवार से सटा हुआ पेड़ है उससे भी दूर रहिए किसी को किसी प्रकार की हानि ना हो एमसीडी को अपना कार्य करने दीजिए देख सकते हैं क्या साफ तौर पे ये कहा जा रहा है दिल्ली पुलिस की तरफ से पहले सूचना दी जा रही है कि जो दीवार से दूर रही है और जेसीबी से एक दूरी बना कर रखिए ताकि आपको हानि ना हो देख सकते हैं जेसीबी यहाँ से मूव कर चुका है और जेसीबी आगे की तरफ बढ़ता हुआ हमें साफ तौर पर नजर आ रहा है देखिए अब ये जो है यहाँ पर जो ग्रिल दिख रही है हमें साफ तौर पर ये कहीं ना कहीं एम ने इसको इलीगल घोषित किया है ये वही ग्रिल है जो थोड़ी देर में शायद एम की तरफ से तोड़ा जा सकता है जी हाँ देखिए आप बुलडोजर यहाँ रुक गया और एक्शन के लिए भरपूर तौर पर तैयार है देखिए संदीप मैं चाहूंगा दिखाइए किस तरीके से ये ग्रिल को अब बुलडोजर द्वारा तोड़ा जा रहा है और पहले यह माना जा रहा था कि यहां जो टेम्पररी दुकानें हैं वही साफ तौर पे हटाई जाएंगी लेकिन लेकिन जिस तरीके से एमसीडी का ये ड्राइव चल रहा है इसमें एमसीडी बिल्कुल नहीं देख रही है कि ये घर है दुकान है या कुछ भी है जो भी लीगल रूप से हमें देखने को मिल रहा है वो एम लगातार तौर पर तोड़ते हुए नजर आ रही है क्योंकि ये कंस्ट्रक्शन साफ तौर पर इलीगल तरीके से नजर आ रहा है देखिए All right, we are cutting across to what's taking place in Guwahati right now. The Union Home Minister Amit Shah is, is presenting the President's Colour Award to the Assam Police uh, for its exemplary service during the last 25 years. Now, Assam is the 10th state in the country to receive the honour for its exceptional performance in tackling insurgency, controlling crime, maintaining law and order and ensuring security of the lives and property of both common and important people. Now, this is, uh, of course, a very, very important occasion for the Assam Police the Home Minister over there presenting the President's colours to the Assam Police.
Well, of course, the president's colors are a special flag. It is the highest honor that is given to any military or police unit in recognition of its exceptional service that's been rendered to the nation, both in peace and war. So the Assam police, of course, the 10th police force in the country, which has been given the president's uh, colors. Let's uh, listen in to what the Union Home Minister has said on the occasion. और आसाम को भूमि पर पद रहते ही वीर का बलिदान देशभक्ति और सुचारूपन के लिए न केवल आसाम के लोग देश भर के लोग उनको याद करते हैं यही भूमि है जो भूमि को माताना स्वर का आशीर्वाद प्राप्त है all right, so that was the ceremony that was being held in Guwahati, uh, where uh, the Union Home Minister is pres uh, presenting the President's colours to the Assam Police for its exceptional service in wartime as well as peace. Now, moving on to the other big story that we are tracking uh, this morning, of course, it's the Prime Minister versus the President in Pakistan. The Pakistan President Arif Alvi on Monday strongly rejected uh, the Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif's advice to remove the Punjab province governor Omar Sarfaraz Chima from his office. Here's more. Weeks after the fall of Imran government in Pakistan, a rift between the new Prime Minister and the President has come to the fore. On Monday, Pakistan President Arif Alvi strongly rejected Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif's advice to remove the governor of the Punjab province. Earlier on 17th of April, Prime Minister Shehbaz recommended the name of PVP leader Makdum Ahmed Mahmood for the position of Punjab governor. As the president did not return the summary after holding it for 15 days, Shabash Sharif re-endorsed the advice on 7th May, asking for the appointment of PMNL loyalist Baligur Rahman as the Punjab governor. Soon after the president's response, Pakistan Prime Minister Rana Sanula said the president is bound to follow the prime minister's advice. Agency report for Republic TV. You are watching Republic TV and still to come, we get you the latest of what's taking place in Delhi as bulldozers run in the national capital. Bulldozer ke bahar saamne baid gaye hain Congress ke neta wahan par keh rahe hain ki hum aage nahi chalne denge bulldozer ko koi notice nahi diya gaya hai aur hum yahan Shaheen Bagh ko target karne ki baat fir se Congress party ke neta kar rahe hain kis tarah se siyasi roop se ye bulldozer chalaya ja raha hai sirf Shaheen Bagh par chalaya ja raha hai Jamia par chalaya ja raha hai ye baat keh rahe hain the pictures of crashes taking place between police and workers of political parties police resorting to blackie charge removing these protesters जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया आरोप चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स
20 locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai. It's being done in North Mumbai, in Goregaon, in Malad and Borivali. It's also being done in South Bombay. Passive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs, uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route, uh, funding of uh, these terror activities. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this person and then this person will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पिक्चर्स ऑफ क्रैश इज टेकिंग प्लेस बिटवीन पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज पुलिस रिसोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है पता है कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पे मैंने भाष्य किया है Well, news just coming in. We are now learning that the Punjab and Haryana High Court has a stayed the arrest of the Jinder Singh Bagga till the 5th of July. So this is news that we are just getting. The High Court of Punjab and Haryana staying his arrest till the 5th of July. Do remember that there has been a huge amount of drama around the arrest of the Jinder Singh Bagga. Let me go across to Amandeep, who's on the phone line with us. Amandeep, give us more details of what's taken place. Amandeep, if you can hear me, what we are learning currently is that the High Court has now stayed the arrest of the Jinder Singh Bagga uh, till the 5th of July. Tell us more on the latest developments. Well, look, this is a big relief for the Jinder Singh Bagga regarding the case that has been listed by Mohari Police. Now, High Court has continued to stay uh, on the arrest of the Jinder Singh Bagga. Continued to stay uh, on the arrest of the Jinder Singh Bagga till 5th of July. And even parallelly, the investigation will continue of Punjab Police. And in fact, this is a big relief. This is the interim order that has been continued by Punjab and Haryana High Court. Remember, uh, last time there was a midnight hearing against the arrest warrant of the Jinder Pal Bagga just because soon after uh, that Mohali court released the arrest warrant against the Jinder Pal Bagga, he moved a petition in Punjab and Haryana High Court, challenged the arrest warrant and in fact his challenge has been considered and even now the, that stay has been continued till 5th of July. Next date of hearing will be on 5th of July and the case hearing will be continued uh, accordingly. Meanwhile, Punjab and uh, Punjab government has also ensured and ensured to comply the order of Punjab and Haryana High Court. Well, the detailed order is yet to be out by Punjab and Haryana High Court just because the hearing was for multiple cases, not for one case. But this is the one important part of the case that the arrest warrant that was challenged by Tarindar Pal Singh Bagga and in fact now Punjab and Haryana High Court has continued the stay. यस यस जी देखिए देखिए बहुत बड़ी राहत दी है पंजाब एंड हरियाणा हाई कोर्ट ने पांच जुलाई तक अरेस्ट को स्टे कर दिया है कैसे देखते हैं आप इस फैसले को 
बहुत बढ़िया मैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करूंगी हाईकोर्ट को भी और पूरे देश को जो हमारा साथ दे रहे हैं मैं बहुत बहुत सबका धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगी लेकिन जिस तरह से अरेस्ट वारंट जारी किया था और तजिंदर पाल बग्गा ने ये एक पटिशन डाली थी कि ये जो है पॉलिटिकल स्कोर सेटल करने के लिए की थी आज एक बड़ी बहस हुई है उस मामले में पंजाब एंड हरियाणा हाई कोर्ट ने और पंजाब एंड हरियाणा हाई कोर्ट ने निर्देश भी जारी कर दिए हैं पंजाब सरकार को कि पांच जुलाई तक कोई अरेस्ट नहीं होगी तो तजेंद्र पाल बग्गा और आपके लिए ये बहुत बड़ा रिलीफ है किस तरह से देखते हैं क्योंकि ये पोलिटिकल वेंडाटा कहा गया था जी बताइए आप अपने एक्सप्रेस जी बिल्कुल पॉलिटिकल है बिल्कुल पॉलिटिकल है और हमें बहुत राहत मिली है वाकई ताकि हम इसको जो इन्होंने ये किया है केजरीवाल सरकार ने इसको पूरी तरह से एक्सपोज और अच्छी तरह से किया जा सकेगा और जी आ, आपको लगता है कि ये पॉलिटिकल वेंडेटा था जो आपके आ, बेटे के खिलाफ किया गया आपको लगता है कि ये साजिश है आम आदमी पार्टी की बिल्कुल 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 साजिश है बिल्कुल साजिश है और ये जो इसके बंदे बोल रहे हैं ना ये जो इसने पहाड़ा पढ़ा दिया ना जैसे नर्सरी क्लास के बच्चों को कि वो ये है बीजेपी वाले ये है वो है वो है यही सब जो वो कर रहे हैं ना इनको पहाड़ा पढ़ाया गया है और वही रस्ता वो हर चैनल पे आके लगा रहे हैं और सब कुछ इनका एक्सपोज हो जाएगा कि ये लोग क्या कर रहे हैं जी आज तो बहुत रिलीफ मिला है तजिंदर जी, जी को लेकिन आगे आपका क्या रुख रहेगा क्या आ, आ, आप समझती हैं आगे क्या होगा हम जो भी करेंगे कानून के तहत करेंगे हम अपने आप से ऐसा कुछ नहीं करेंगे हम कानून के दायरे को मानते हैं और न्यायपालिका को मानते हैं हम उनकी उसकी पूरी रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं जी लेकिन जैसे कि आज हुआ है कि स्टे कर दिया गया है दिस ऑफ कोर्स इज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ एन अर्लियर ऑर्डर लेकिन क्या लगता है कि आपको आम आदमी पार्टी ऐसा क्यों कर रही है जी बिल्कुल कर रही है और आपको पता है कि वो क्यों कर रही है सबको पता है ये चीजें और ये खुल के सबके सामने थोड़े दिनों में आ जाएंगी कि वो क्या कर रही है सब कुछ एक्सपोज हो जाएगा आप चिंता मत करिए बिल्कुल सब कुछ एक्सपोज होगा एक एक बात एक्सपोज होगी All right, Kamal Jeet uh, Kaur, appreciate your speaking to us on Republic TV. So that was the Jinder Pal Singh Bagga's mother speaking to us at Republic, uh, going on to say that this is a conspiracy of the Kejriwal government against uh, her son, and uh, of also, of course, extremely thankful to the court uh, for a relief that has been granted to her son. Just to tell our viewers that the Jinder Pal Singh Bagga's arrest has been stayed by the Punjab and Haryana High Court. Now, this, of course, is just a continuation of the earlier order that was given by the court in a midnight hearing on Sunday. Uh, now, uh, Amandeep, if I could come back to you, Amandeep. Now, this is a political fight that uh, took on uh, new nuances as far as the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party are concerned. So, his mother, of course, over there saying that this is a conspiracy against her son. Well, absolutely. From the very first day of the registration of FIR, Tejinder Pal Bagga and his family is quoting this FIR as a political vendetta that Aam Aadmi Party is doing against Tejinder Pal Bagga just because he is openly speaking and criticizing Arvind Kejriwal. And in fact, Nupur, when the arrest warrant was issued, the uh, Tejinder Pal Bagga filed a petition, and the entire family was releasing a statement that they have full faith in the judicial system and judicial system. will do justice to them and uh, later on the midnight hearing and a short right. relief and now a big relief uh, to the jindal pal so as you pointing RS out of course uh, amandeep this is a huge relief that comes in the high court of course will pick up the case again on the 6 thank you for the moment amandeep and here's a quick recap of the top headlines at 12 this afternoon a khalistan link emerges to the mohali blast Top sources confirm the role of active pro-Khalistan wing in the attack. The role of wanted pro-Khalistan terrorist is now under the lens in the attack on the Punjab intelligence headquarters. NIA is to probe the Mohali blast. Top sources tell Republic it was an RPG attack. A rocket launcher has not yet been recovered. The Gyanwapi hearing continues in Varanasi today. Court to decide on the removal of the commissioner. Demolition drive continues in New Delhi anti encroachment drive planned in all four zones of South Delhi And India's east coast braces for cyclone Asani heavy rainfall is predicted for the next 2 days
Good afternoon and welcome back. You are watching Republic TV. Now, the Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man chaired a meeting at his residence at about 10 o'clock this morning with the DGP and other senior officials to seek a report on the course of action so far in this uh, RPG attack case. Of course, uh, what we have uh, seen is this RPG attack that took place yesterday. Let's go across uh, to a reaction that we got from the Chief Minister. लगातार काफी अरसे तो पंजाब का माहौल खराब करने की कोशिश जड़िया देश के दुश्मन वालों होंगे रह और पंजाब का जोड़ा भाईचारा वो इन्ना मजबूत है कि उन्होंने कोशिशों के बावजूद उन्होंने वो अपने सा इरादे सफल नहीं होंगे कल रात जो मोहाली के घटना हुई है मैं डी जी पी साहब न सारे इंटैलीजेंस के अफसर न मीटिंग ली है और सारा डिटेल जी है वो निकल रही है और गिरफ्तारियां कुछ हो भी गई कुछ हो जाएगी तो जड़ा तक पहुँच जाएंगे तो मैं यही बार बार कहना चाहता थोड़े जरिए कि जिन्हें भी पंजाब का माहौल को खराब करने की कोशिश की थी वो बख्शा नहीं जाऊगा सख्त तो सख्त सजा मिलेगी लगातार काफी अरसे तो पंजाब का माहौल खराब करने की कोशिश जड़िया देश के दुश्मन वालों होंगे रह और पंजाब का जोड़ा भाईचारा वो इन्ना मजबूत है कि उन्होंने कोशिशों के बावजूद उन्होंने वो अपने सा इरादे सफल नहीं होंगे कल रात जो मोहाली के घटना हुई है मैं डी जी पी साहब न सारे इंटैलीजेंस के अफसर न मीटिंग ली है और सारा डिटेल जी है वो निकल रही है और गिरफ्तारियां कुछ हो भी गई कुछ हो जाएगी तो जड़ा तक पहुँच जाएंगे तो मैं यही बार बार कहना चाहता थोड़े जरिए कि जिन्हें भी पंजाब का माहौल को खराब करने की कोशिश की थी वो बख्शा नहीं जाऊगा सख्त तो सख्त सजा मिलेगी Well, a lot of fast-paced developments, of course, are taking place in this case so far. The Chief Minister over there saying that we have made quite a few arrests. Let me go across to Amandeep, who's reporting from Mohali on this. Amandeep, we also understand that the Punjab police will be addressing a press conference very shortly to give us more details. Absolutely, Nupur. Punjab DGP VK Bhavra will address the media and brief about this entire incident and the piece of development regarding the investigation and arrest outside the intelligence office itself in Mohali where the RPG attack happened. And in fact, he before that, he was taking stock of the situation, went inside the intelligence office and even meeting the people who were on the duty when the attack happened and recording the statements, taking stock of the situation just because certain people have been detained by the Punjab police regarding the same. Pro-Khalistani angle has already been established. It was not a normal attack. It was a terror attack by the pro-Khalistani elements the way it was carried out. But now finally Punjab DGP after meeting uh, Punjab Chief Minister after meeting the intelligence officials inside the intelligence office, right. he will brief the media regarding the All incident right. as well as the absolutely, investigation development. Absolutely. As you are pointing out, very fast-paced developments are taking place in that story. Stay with us. Uh, we have more more news coming in. Well, we're going back to the uh, big story that we've been tracking. Punjab and Haryana High Court has stayed the arrest of the Jinder Pal Singh Baga till the 5th of July. Now, do remember that this is a continuation of the stay order that was given by the court on uh, midnight on Sunday, I think. And uh, thereafter, of course, uh, this does come as a big relief for the Jinder Pal Singh Baga. The court is set to hear the case again on the 6th of July. Let me go back to Amandeep, who's been tracking these developments. Amandeep, uh, there was, of course, a large amount of drama that played out over his arrest in the past but uh, relief coming in for him all right amandeep just hold your thoughts for a minute we are getting a reaction from tajinder pal singh baga let's listen in aaj desh ke nyayalay ne darsha diya ki kisi bhi vyakti ko apne aap ko kanoon se upar nahi samajhna chahiye jo punjab police जिसने अपनी वीरता से आतंकवाद को परास्त किया उस पंजाब पुलिस के ऊपर अगर किसी ने डिफेम करने का काम किया है तो उसके लिए अकेला व्यक्ति कोई जिम्मेदार है तो अरविंद केजरीवाल है 
मैं अरविंद केजरीवाल को आज फिर चुनौती देता हूं आप एक नहीं सो फर्जी एफ कीजिए हम आपके सामने झुकने वाले नहीं है मैं आपसे रोज सवाल पूछूंगा कि आपने गुरु ग्रंथ साहब जी की बेद भी करने वालों को 24 घंटे के अंदर जेल में डाला था क्यों नहीं डाला मैं आपसे रोज सवाल पूछूंगा कि आपने कहा था कि पंजाब में सत्ता आने के बाद ड्रग्स माफियाओं को जेल में डालेंगे अभी तक क्यों नहीं डाला मैं आपसे रोज सवाल पूछूंगा पंजाब को तोड़ने की मंशा रखने वाले खालिस्तानियों को जेल के अंदर क्यों नहीं डाल रहे आप चाहे उसके लिए मेरे को एक नहीं एक सौ एक हजार एफ आई आर आप डालिए मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के शीर्ष नेतृत्व का भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सभी करोड़ों लाखों कार्यकर्ताओं का सारे मीडिया का दिल्ली पुलिस का हरियाणा पुलिस का हार्दिक धन्यवाद करता हूं जिन्होंने मुझे साथ दिया और इस सत्य की लड़ाई में मेरे साथ खड़े रहे जय हिंद हमारे कानूनी प्रावधान होंगे इसको हम लोग वाच करेंगे देखेंगे और इंतजार करेंगे कि अगला वारंट कब आ रहा है किस प्रकार से देख रहे हैं नेक्स्ट क्या सोच रहे हैं क्या करने के लिए जो जो ऊपर से पत्ते चले जाएंगे उसी के हिसाब से जवाब दिया जाएगा फिलहाल इन केसों में तो पाँच जुलाई तक राहत है ये बड़ी खुशी की बात है अब इसमें करने को तो कुछ है नहीं जो होगा हमारे वकील देखेंगे मामले को आगे करेंगे अब आगे पंजाब सरकार क्या एक्शन लेती है क्या नया मामला लाती है किस तरह से वो इसको खेलेगी उसी हिसाब से हम लोग चलेंगे For the first reactions of Tejinder Pal Singh Bagga and his father, Bag Tejinder Pal Singh Bagga, of course, going on to say that this uh, is something that I will take head on. Uh, so that's uh, the uh, word that we are getting from him at the moment after his uh, arrest was stayed. And here's a look at some news in brief now. After holding up a top. Level security meeting. Punjab's Chief Minister Bhagwant Mann has said that those who attempted to spoil the atmosphere of the state will not be spared. Mann chaired a top-level meeting at his residence with the DGP and other senior officers to seek a report on the course of action taken so far. Haryana State Vigilance Bureau has caught an excise and taxation department inspector while she was allegedly accepting a bribe of two lakh rupees. for issuing a gst number to a building material supplier canal team of the state vigilance bureau caught the excise and taxation inspector sumitra godara from her office in gurugram maharashtra minister aditya thakre has inaugurated an ev charging uh, station powered by biogas in mumbai he said that this is the first such charging point in the country and that there is a lot of public transport and private transport moving towards electric mobility The family of Satish Tikku who was allegedly murdered by terrorist Bitta Katare filed a new application to place on record Bitta Karate's shocking video confession that the first Kashmiri pandit he murdered was Tikku now the application was filed through advocate Utsav Bains and supported by activist Vikas Raina the application along with video footage and transcripts will be heard tomorrow at the sessions court in Srinagar Delhi's chief minister Arvind Kejriwal has termed the Mohali blast a cowardly act and said all culprits will be punished severely. The Aam Aadmi Party's national convener said that the Punjab government will not allow people to disturb peace of the state. Now Shiv Sena delegation reached the Leelawati hospital after independent MP Navneet Rana was discharged from the Leelawati hospital they questioned the hospital management as to how permission was given to take her photographs during the treatment violating hospital rules here's more On Monday Shiv Sena delegation reached Leelawati hospital and questioned the hospital management as to how permission was given to take Navneet Rana's photographs during the treatment Former Mumbai Mayor Kishori Petnekar, MLA Manisha Kayande and other Shiv Sena leaders were present at the Leelawati Hospital. Ikade zo kai prakar zala, tar 
त्यांना माहिती आहे का सिक्युरिटी पेशंटची कॉम्प्रमाइज झाली आहे रिस्क फॅक्टर्स जे जे एम आर आय करताना लोक तिकडे उपस्थित असतात हे सगळं आम्ही त्याच्यात नमूद केलंय आणि याचं लेखी उत्तर मी मागितलंय शो कॉज नोटिस हॅज बीन सर्व बाय द बी एम सी कमिशनर इकबाल सिंग चहाल टू द हॉस्पिटल टू विच द हॉस्पिटल विल रिप्लाय इन टू डेज ब्युरो रिपोर्ट रिपब्लिक टी व्ही Well, news is coming in, of course, at 10 flights from Hyderabad, Vishakhapatnam, Jaipur, as well as Mumbai have been cancelled for the Chennai airport as the east coast of India is bracing for cyclonic storm Asani. Now, the IMD has predicted heavy rainfall for the next two days in coastal Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. The IMD says that while the cyclone is unlikely to make a landfall in West Bengal, the state will experience heavy showers. Welcome to Sky Med Bazaar. I am Mahesh Palava. This is a weather update for Cyclone Asani. Cyclone Asani is moving as a severe cyclone over Bay of Bengal and it is moving in northwesterly direction towards South Odisha and North Andhra Pradesh coast. We expect this cyclone to reach North Andhra Pradesh coast uh, by tomorrow morning and will start recurving in northeasterly direction after reaching uh, just uh, near to Visakhapatnam. It will maintain a distance of about 100 km from Visakhapatnam. So, we, uh, the chances of heavy rain and strong winds have increased over North Coastal Andhra Pradesh, particularly right from Machlipatnam, uh, Sakinada, uh, Srikakulam, Vijayanagaram, Visakhapatnam. All these areas may experience a wind speed of 50 to 60 km in gust may reach to 70 km. However, while reaching near the coast, the uh, sea surface temperature will start reducing as of now they are in order of 30 to 31 degrees celsius and by uh, the time it will reach near north coastal andhra pradesh uh, the sea surface temperature uh, will be around 28 degrees celsius and heat uh, ocean heat content will also reduce leading to degeneration of the cyclone and uh, uh, we expect that this cyclone uh, may a uh, severe cyclone uh, may uh, weaken into a cyclone uh, while reaching uh, coastal andhra pradesh area and uh, areas uh, the some districts of odisha that is particularly gajapati ganjam kendrapada and uh, bhumneshwar puri uh, all these areas may also experience uh, moderate to heavy showers for next uh, 24 to 48 hours cyclone asane abhi puri se lagbhag 590 km dur hai lekin jitna wo nazdik aayega paradip mein uska impact dikhne ko milega lekin aaj subah se paradip ka jo weather condition hai wo cloudy weather hai aur is is mein dhoop nikalta aa raha hai lekin abhi main paradip sibit mein hu aapko dikhana chahta hu जो कंडीशन सुबह से रफ ज़्यादा नहीं है लेकिन रफ होता जा रहा है धीरे धीरे रफ होता जा रहा जा रहा है आप देख सकते हैं जो लहरें आते हैं तो वो, वो ज़्यादा रफ नहीं है लेकिन रफ होता जा रहा जा रहा है कारण इसी बीच में कुछ लोग हैं
है दो तीन साल हो गया है जो मई के महीने में मई के महीने में जो साइक्लोन आता है और ड्रेनेज सिस्टम ज़्यादा दूर बिगड़ जाता है तो उसको लेकर सब चिंतित है पारादीप से रमाकांत नायक spent good amount of time outside the intelligence office the motive of the attackers were to spread the terror among the police they smoothly fired the rpg they managed to flee in a white car it has been cleared that it was a clear cut terror attack and pro khalistani elements were involved into that and even on the top of the list is uh, harvinder singh rinda and all the gangsters Well, a demolition drive is currently underway in the national capital in four zones of Delhi. The visuals we are getting for you are from Mangol Puri and the New Friends Colony area of the national capital. Congress leaders, of course, were earlier seen trying to block bulldozers. Uh, drive yet again. Now, uh, the uh, Municipal Corporation of Delhi, of course, has a detailed plan that is in place, and demolition drive is set to continue till the 13th of May. Let's go across to Anuj, who's uh, reporting from New Delhi on this. Anuj, uh, give us more details of what's happened so far. Now we understand that the demolition was carried out in New Friends Colony as well as Mangolpuri, uh, but there is a detailed plan that the uh, Municipal Corporation of Delhi is actually prepared. Well, exactly. First, let me give you the sense from the area. You can clearly see on your screen uh, the deployment of the forces and the deployment of the Delhi Police personnel. There, we are showing you the visuals from New Friends Colony. This comes under the South Zone. Let me remind you that if we talk about today, then this anti-encroachment drive has started today, and this is going on in the four zone: Central Zone, West Zone, South Zone, and Nazafgarh Zone. So, this time, I am reporting from. A new French colony, which comes under uh, the south zone, so anti-encroachment is uh, on since from the morning. Now it has finished over here. The bulldozer was uh, uh, like a bulldozer at this point in time has gone, and we are continuously giving you the sense from the ground that what exactly is happening behind me. Also, you can clearly see these are the forces. These are the forces, uh, forces personnel who were uh, deployed over here to take the con to 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 control the situation so that everything remains under control. On the other hand, we have seen what happened yesterday. In Shine Bag, so to control uh, that kind of mishapping, to control that kind of uh, uh, situation, now the adequate uh, arrangement of the police personnel along with the forces could be clearly seen on the ground. The anti-encroachment in NFP area has been already done for the day, but this particular drive. in the national capital is going to continue uh, i'll ask my video journalist hitesh to continuously give you the sense from the ground so that we can uh, show our viewers that what exactly is happening on the ground when we are talking about the particular area of national capitals where this anti encroachment drive is on we have seen uh, what happened yesterday in shine bag seeing that only now the police personnel uh, could be clearly seen the the jabans could be clearly seen who has who has been deployed in the larger number to control the situation but this particular drive drive is going to continue let me tell you that this was a break in this particular drive for 2 3 days and that was because uh, uh, mcd was uh, was asking for the for more forces right. because they were knowing that uh, that the protest may happen which happened yesterday now hmm. the adequate force uh, uh, police personnel has been already given to uh, the mcd so the anti encroachment drive in the national capital continues we are reporting from new friends colony which comes under the south zone and at okay. this point in time when we are talking this is uh, like these are the four zone in the national capital where this particular anti encroachment drive is going on so we have shown you the visuals we are continuously seeing the forces along with us who are moving towards the starting point from where uh, today this particular movement this particular drive started so you can clearly see the numbers of forces uh,
Well, this, of course, what you see on your screens right now is one of the most colorful and spectacular of all temple festivals that are celebrated in Kerala. This is the Trishul Puram, which is uh, being held today now. Uh, this, of course, is a very elaborate festival that takes place in Trishul in Kerala. Processions of deities from smaller temples and around Trishur converge on to the Vadakumanathan temple uh, where Lord Shiva is supposed to be the presiding deity. All right, I think we've got Ashwin who's reporting on this. Uh, Ashwin, of course, uh, an extremely colorful and spectacular temple festival that's on our screens right now. Uh, this perhaps is one of the biggest temple festivals that takes place in Kerala. Absolutely, the taking card of Maidana, which is the crux of Trishur, the festival is a massive festival of the people. It's a festival that represents Kerala, where you can see the caparison elephants, large number of them, the Trishur Puram, and the celebrations have begun after a gap of two years, because because of COVID, for two years, the festivities were not happening, but now, the, all the people of Kerala, the, all the Puram lovers are uh, gathered, large number of people, lakhs of people have gathered in large numbers to take part, to witness the great extravagance of the Trishur Puram that is happening. Now, now, the Trishur is geared up in the best possible way uh, uh, to counter the two years of not having this festival. But uh, what needs to be seen is a beautiful festival where, uh, uh, where uh, dozens of elephants in comparison, they are all uh, traditionally uh, decorated. They stand in uh, in two different directions, in right in front of the Vadakumnathan temple in Trishur and uh, two different groups, uh, uh, the, the Paramekavu group and Tirumbadi group. Uh, uh, it's like a friendly, uh, friendly uh, match where the uh, different kinds of umbrellas also raise at particular peak, and different uh, 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 beats of uh, the different male also happens, and it's like a, a big, a, a big uh, festivities that happen, and the Trishul Puram that uh, that lasts for 36 hours. Today is the main day of the festival, right. and it's uh, it's a huge festival. It's a festival of celebrations where all people come together absolutely come together, you know. absolutely as you're pointing out of course huge number of spectators over there to witness this seven day long uh, temple festival that takes place in Thrissur in Kerala thank you for that you are watching Republic we slip into a short break on the other side we bring you more news including the Gyan Vyapi hearing continues in Varanasi court the court is to decide on the removal of the commissioner And also coming up, a Khalistan link has emerged to the Mohali blast. Top sources confirm the role of an active pro-Khalistan ring in the attack. Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally. A testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality. To apply, visit amity.edu. We are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Park. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. Uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government, uh, the protesters who are being detained. 
they will be put into this person and then this person will move ahead we are showing you the pictures of police action police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया आरोप चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai it's being done in North Mumbai in Goregaon and Malad and Borivali it's also been done in South Bombay massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs uh, uh, taking money out through hawala route uh, funding of uh, these terror activities Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slow. Khalistan link emerges to Mohali blast. Top sources confirm role of active pro-Khalistan ring in the attack. Role of wanted pro-Khalistan terrorists now uh, undertake the, the Punjab intelligence headquarters. NIA to probe Mohali blast. Top sources tell Republic it was an RPG attack or rocket launcher not yet recovered. Demolition drive continues in New Delhi today. Anti encroachment drive planned in all four zones of South Delhi. As the bulldozer rolls, Congress parrot drops once again attempts to block bulldozer on day two. High Court relief for Tajinder Bagga granted protection from arrest till 5th of July. And breaking news coming in now, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, who is in Guwahati in Assam, has said that areas under the Armed Forces Special Powers Act or ASPA have been reduced in Assam. He said he will make sure ASPA is removed from all areas in the state. अब सपा हमेशा के लिए आम जनता का विरोध का कारण रहता था नागालैंड असम मणिपुर सशस्त्र विशेष बस विशेष बल अधिकार अधिनियम के तहत अशांत क्षेत्रों को में हाल में ही कम करने का काम किया है लगभग 1990 से असम के अंदर अब सपा लागू था लगातार साठ बार इसको बढ़ाया गया और आज कहने में मुझे गर्व है कि मोदी जी के आठ साल के शासन के बाद स्थिति ऐसी हुई है कि आसाम के तेईस जिलों में से अब सपा को पूर्ण रूप से उठाने का काम हो गया है एक रूप में आंशिक रूप से हटा दिया गया है 
आसाम के 60 प्रतिशत से ज्यादा हिस्से पर से आज अब सपा हम हटा पाए और मैं आशा करता हूं कि आने वाले दिनों में वो दिन दूर नहीं है कि पूरे आसाम से अब सपा को हटा पाए इस प्रकार की कानून और व्यवस्था की परिस्थिति यहां पर प्रस्तापित की जाएगी एंड पंजाब पुलिस डीजीपी वी के भावरा हैज अराइव्ड एट पंजाब इंटेलिजेंस हेडक्वार्टर्स आफ्टर मीटिंग पंजाब चीफ मिनिस्टर द डीजीपी रीच द इंटेलिजेंस ऑफिस टू टेक स्टॉक ऑफ द सिचुएशन मीन वाइल टीम ऑफ सी आर पी हैज ऑल्सो अराइव एट द इंटेलिजेंस ऑफिस इन मोहाली वेर द ब्लास्ट टुक प्लेस Joining us now is our correspondent uh, Amardeep. Uh, Amardeep, when we talk about the latest in the Mohali blast case, what is the information? Where does it stand? The case stand as of now. Let's listen in to what Punjab Chief Minister had to say as far as the blast is concerned. लगातार काफ़ी अरसे तो पंजाब का माहौल खराब करने दशिशा जेष के दुश्मन वालों होंदिया रह और पंजाब का जोड़ा भाईचारा वो इन्ना मजबूत है कि उन्होंने कोशिशों के बावजूद हूँ वो अपने स इरा सफल नहीं होंगे कल रात जो मोहाली के घटना हुई है मैं डी जी पी साहब न सारे इंटैलीजेंस के अफसर न मीटिंग ली है और सारा डिटेल जी है वो निकल रही है और गिरफ्तारियां कुछ हो भी गई कुछ हो जाएगी तो जड़ा तक पहुँच जाएंगे तो मैं यही बार बार कहना चाहता थोड़े जरिए कि जिन्हें भी पंजाब का माहौल खराब करने की कोशिश की थी वो बख्शा नहीं जाऊगा सख्त तो सख्त सजा मिलेगी So alarming signs of a mega Khalistani plot against India as far as uh, the blast in the Punjab intelligence office at Mohali is concerned our reporter uh, Amandeep has been continuously apprising us of the latest developments in the case Khalistan flags uh, were seen outside the police office in Punjab and uh, reactions pouring in from all quarters Let's listen in uh, to what the Congress has to say Uh, first the clashes in patiala then discovery of rdx in taran taran and now rpg kind of attack on a police office in uh, mohali is not a coincidence but a disturbing and a worrying pattern is emerging aap punjab government is clearly proving to be injurious to the uh, security peace and law and order health of punjab it is high time mr bhagwant man should start acting like the chief minister of punjab the mukh mantri of punjab rather than shedding crocodile tears mr arvind kejriwal who is also the de facto chief minister of punjab should explain why the law and order of punjab has got disturbed since the aam aam aadmi party government has come to power why is there a rise in crime why is there a rise in murders why there is a communal clashes in patiala why rdx is being found in taran taran why attack on mohali is happening so mr kejriwal and mr bhagwant man rather than uh, embarking on political campaigns should work towards a peace campaign in punjab and give accountability people of punjab uh, gave one mauka to aap as they wanted but today aap is giving many jhatkas to the law and order situation of punjab so the congress uh, lambasting both uh, arvind kejriwal uh, of uh, the aam aadmi party as well as chief minister of punjab uh, bhagwant man also of the same party and uh, questioning why there is uh, such a mess as far as the law and order situation in punjab is concerned questioning uh, how sit the situation has gone so bad and uh, and uh, well uh, even as we are waiting for the punjab dgp to address the press on this uh, particular matter let's uh, find out uh, more about the prime minister's uh, visit to lucknow and uh, what's on his agenda 
प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन थर्ड ऑफ जून विल बी अटेंडिंग द ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग सेरेमनी इन लखनऊ लेट मी टेल यू दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ मेगा इवेंट वेयर इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट अराउंड फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड प्रोजेक्ट worth more than 70000 crores will be launched the big groups the big corporate like adani group like hira landani group like uh, reliance industrial is expected to join the event chief minister yogi adityanath is closely monitoring the situation on the ground and monitoring the preparation on the ground chief minister yogi adityanath has also uh, stated that uh, uh, this is going to be the mega event and uh, it is going to give uh, the new platform uh, to the people and the investor uh, in uttar pradesh chief minister yogi adityanath has also stated that earlier in 2017 if we talk about the ranking then ease of in ease of doing business uh, uttar pradesh was at 14th position and let's take stock of for more uh, national stories in a high level security meeting punjab chief minister bhagwant man said that those who attempted to spoil the atmosphere of the state will not be spared man had chaired a top level security meeting at his residence with the dgp and other senior officers to seek a report on the course of action taken so far in the punjab intelligence office headquarters blast at mohali The Haryana State Vigilance Bureau has caught an excise and taxation department inspector while she was allegedly accepting a bribe of 2 lakh rupees for issuing a GST number to a building material supplier. Karnal team of the State Vigilance Bureau caught excise and taxation inspector Sumitra Godara from her office in Gurugram. And Maharashtra Minister Aditya Thakre inaugurated an EV charging station powered by biogas in Mumbai. He said this is the first such charging point in the country and that there is a lot of public transport and private transport moving towards electric mobility. The family of uh, Satish Tikku who was allegedly murdered by terrorist Bitta Karate filed a new application to place on record Bitta Karate's shocking video confession that the first Kashmiri pandit he murdered was Tikku. The application was filed through advocate Utsav Bains and supported by activist Vikas Raina. The application along with video footage and transcript will be heard tomorrow at Srinagar Sessions Court. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal termed the Mohali blast a cowardly act saying all culprits will be punished severely. The Aam Aadmi Party national convener said the Punjab government will not allow people to disturb the peace of the state. And time now for a short break here on Republic TV but coming up after that in a short while as the bulldozer rolls Congress para drops once again attempts to block bulldozer on day 2 And high court relief for Tajinder Bagga granted protection from arrest till the 5th of July Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally a testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality to apply visit amity.edu jo log atikraman ko bachane ke liye jo bangladeshi rohingyaon ke atikraman ko bachane ke liye aatank phailane wale logon ko atikraman bachane ke liye jo bulldozer ke samne lete hain जनता भी उनको लिटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ बुलडोजर के बाहर सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहाँ पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहाँ शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स
locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai. It's being done in North Mumbai, in Goregaon, in Malad and Borivali. It's also been done in South Bombay. Massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs, uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route, uh, funding of uh, these terror activities. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing the pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus um, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, सामने बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू लाठी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स जो लोग अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए जो बांग्लादेशी रोहिंग्याओं के अतिक्रमण को बचाने के लिए आतंक फैलाने वाले लोगों को अतिक्रमण बचाने के लिए जो बुलडोजर के सामने लेटे हैं जनता भी उनको लेटाने वाली है बताए कहा है रोहिंग्या आ जाए यहाँ पर मैं साथ चलूंगा कोई नहीं रहेगा इनकी पूरी हिफाजत मैं देता हूँ का आदेश मैंने माना इसलिए वो सब्जेक्ट पे मैंने कोई भी चर्चा ना करते हुए मैंने सिर्फ जो मेरे साथ बीती है उस पे मैंने भाष्य किया है वेल well. Visuals there of uh, the P DGP's Punjab DGP's uh, PC press conference that is likely to happen right now. A much-awaited uh, press conference in which uh, uh, everybody would like to hear what the Punjab police have to say as far as the Mohali blast is concerned. The blast was an RPG attack, as we all know. कल कल जो इंसिडेंट हुआ है यहाँ पर इंटेलिजेंस हेडक्वार्टर में उसको लेके आज हमने एक मीटिंग की है इंटेलिजेंस के ऑफिसर हैं और जिला पुलिस के एसएसपी साहब और डीआईजी साहब हैं इस केस को फेस करने के लिए हम लोग पूरे एफर्ट्स कर रहे हैं हमारे पास लीड हैं और जल्दी ही हम इस केस को सॉल्व कर लेंगे सर, 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 अभी 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 इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रहा है जब भी होगा आपको बता दिया जाएगा लेकिन सर पहले टेरर अटैक क्यों नहीं कहा गया बाद में क्यों कह रहे हैं टेरर अटैक है क्या थोड़ा एक्सप्लेन कर देखिए इसमें जैसा भी अटैक निकलेगा आपको बता देंगे मेन ये है कि आपको पता ही है कि एक प्रोजेक्टाइल ने हिट किया है और उसमें जो एक्सप्लोजिव इस्तेमाल हुआ है वो टीएनटी लग रहा है बाकी इसमें जिस जिस तरीके से इंसिडेंट हुआ है शाम के टाइम उस टाइम कमरे में कोई नहीं था और इम्पैक्ट दीवार पे आया इसलिए नुकसान कोई नहीं हुआ है और लेकिन ये चैलेंज है और हम इसको इस केस को सॉल्व करने के लिए पूरे कोशिश कर रहे हैं और जल्दी कोई कोई जानवाल का नुकसान नहीं हुआ है और बाकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन जो निकलेगा वो आपके अब आपके 
गिरफ्तारी होगी तो बता दी जाएगी who's uh, covering this story on the ground amandeep uh, when we talk about what the police said a very brief very short press conference uh, no clear answers as yet the police making it clear that it is the, it's a case still under investigation it does not want to commit to either the khalistan angle or to the fact that it was a rocket propelled grenade amandeep absolutely absolutely a very brief uh, comment from the side of the dgp uh, uh, really revealing that it was an attack with no casualty and no injury and in fact no arrest has been uh, confirmed by the dgp himself he says there are certain leads but investigation is still on so soon the police will be able to uh, nail down the accused and even i can show you i can show you the exact spot just because we are standing outside there that is the damaged wall is the spot where rpg was fired from this very much road where we are standing i request my camera person to come this side as well just because give a closer look of the entire uh, window that window pane that was broken investigation is on no arrest so far this is the comment of the dgp that certain leads have been uh, established in the investigation in the course of investigation but no confirmation of no arrest people have been detained investigation leads are there khalistani link is there but no arrest so far this is the clear cut comment of the dgp in a very brief note and now you can see the visuals the impact of the rpg the same road where we are standing right now and in fact from here it has been fired on the wall and even with a very less damage dgp also confirmed that there was no one in the room when the attack was carried out by the attackers and that is the reason no casualty no one is ye isme jaisa bhi attack niklega aapko bata denge main ye hai ki aapko pata hi hai ki ek projectile ne hit kiya hai aur usme jo explosive istemal hua hai wo tnt lag raha hai baaki इसमें जिस जिस तरीके से इंसिडेंट हुआ है शाम के टाइम उस टाइम कमरे में कोई नहीं था और इम्पैक्ट दीवार पे आया इसलिए नुकसान कोई नहीं हुआ है और लेकिन ये चैलेंज है और हम इसको इस केस को सॉल्व करने के लिए पूरे कोशिश कर रहे हैं और जल्दी सॉल्व कर थैंक यू देखिए कोई कोई जानवाल का नुकसान नहीं हुआ है और बाकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन जो निकलेगा वो आपके आपके गिरफ्तारी होगी तो बता दी जाएगी राइट अमनदीप वेल इवन एज द पुलिस इज जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट एन इन्वेस्टिगेशन एज ऑफ नाउ politics over the matter is heating up we have the congress commenting demanding a central inquiry even as the op government there is on the back foot well politics is a part and parcel of every incident just because congress is sitting in the opposition in punjab and they are trying to uh, score on the political grounds but that should not be happen here just because this is a terror attack and this is a very sensitive matter that is linking to the khalistani pro khalistani activist has carried out this attack and even the politics should not be there there has to be some kind of unity just because we should not uh, even the political leaders should not forget that what had happened in 1984 till 1995 Punjab has suffered from so many pain co- painful cuts and in fact now Punjab cannot afford to go back to that situation so there should not be any kind of politics at least every single political party should come in one line and ask to deliver the justice to avoid such kind of incident just because these are the anti national elements who are carrying out such kind of attacks in Punjab especially when the intelligence headquarter was being targeted i continuously show my the, showing you the visuals as well just because now Punjab dgp is claiming that there are certain leads eh, with the punjab police but no arrest hai, no confirmation of the arrest has been uh, revealed by the dgp but yes investigation is there people have been detained questioning is going on and even i request my camera person to kindly give uh, visuals from the different people have been detained questioning is going on even though the police on its part 
is refusing to commit to any action being taken. It's uh, just uh, saying that all will be clear once investigations slipping into a very short break. Uh, and uh, but coming up after that break, uh, more news, more breaking news here on Republic TV. Coming up in a short while from now, bulldozer rolls in Delhi, four South Delhi zones under the MCD. Come up for bulldozer. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus uh, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. Uh, In brief now, calling for the commitment to the party's accelerated revival, Congress President Sonia Gandhi has said that it is imperative that leaders and workers step forward and repay their debt to the party in full measure at a critical juncture when the party is beset with challenges. In her opening remarks at the meeting of the CWC, Sonia Gandhi noted that there are no magic wands for electoral success. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has said that strict action will be taken against perpetrators of the Bihar Public Service Commission preliminary examination paper leak. He said that immediate action in the matter has been taken and the government is checking where and how the paper was leaked from. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister has said that an inquiry has begun and the Punjab police uh, and uh, the police uh, are investigating the incident. Chhattisgarh's Chief Minister Bhopesh Bhagel has hit out at the BJP for turning Lord Ram into a warrior-like figure and Hanuman into a symbol of anger to further politics of polarization. Bhagel added that the portrayal of Lord Ram and Hanuman as aggressive figures over years isn't good for society. The Border Security Force troops foiled another smuggling attempt through a Pakistani drone. Vigilant BSF troops fired at the drone coming from Pakistan and brought it down. During the search, BSF recovered a hexacopter drone and seized about 10 kgs of heroin. The Amritsar BSF DIG B Singh said soldiers heard the humming of a drone flying over the fence and fired nine shots towards the flying object and brought it down. Karnataka's Chief Minister Baswaraj Bomai has said that the state government will ensure implementation of the Supreme Court's order on the issue of loudspeakers in public places in a cordial manner. On instructions to implement the order, he said the onus of implementing this order lies with police officers of the rank of the Deputy SP in their respective areas. The Union Home Minister Amit Shah has lauded the Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma for his vision and mission on growth and development of the health sector in the state. Furthermore, the Union Home Minister assured the Chief Minister of all support from the centre whenever it is required. Roundup of all the action from the world of sports. Sir Jaspreet Bumrah's five wicket haul was undone by Clinical Kolkata as they defeated Mumbai by 52 runs in their IPL 2022 match at the DY Patel Sports Academy. This is uh, this uh, Rohit Sharma led MI 9th defeat uh, in the ongoing 15th edition of the IPL by for Kolkata. Their fifth win in 12 matches have kept the 2022 campaign alive. The 57th game of Tata IPL 2022. And Punjab and Haryana High Court has stayed the arrest of Bagga till the 5th of July. Let's listen in to what Tajinder Bagga said minutes after he was granted big relief from the High Court. As Desh ke Nyayale ne darshadiya कि किसी भी व्यक्ति को अपने आप को कानून से ऊपर नहीं समझना चाहिए जो पंजाब पुलिस जिसने अपनी वीरता से आतंकवाद को परास्त किया उस पंजाब पुलिस के ऊपर अगर किसी ने डिफेम करने का काम किया है तो उसके लिए अकेला व्यक्ति कोई जिम्मेदार है तो अरविंद केजरीवाल है 
मैं अरविंद केजरीवाल को आज फिर चुनौती देता हूं आप एक नहीं सो फर्जी एफ कीजिए हम आपके सामने झुकने वाले नहीं है मैं आपसे रोज सवाल पूछूंगा कि आपने गुरु ग्रंथ साहब जी की बेद भी करने वालों को 24 घंटे के अंदर जेल में डाला था क्यों नहीं डाला मैं आपसे रोज सवाल पूछूंगा पंजाब को तोड़ने की मंशा रखने वाले खालिस्तानियों को जेल के अंदर क्यों नहीं डाल रहे आप मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के शीर्ष नेतृत्व का भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सभी करोड़ों लाखों कार्यकर्ताओं का सारे मीडिया का दिल्ली पुलिस का हरियाणा पुलिस का हार्दिक धन्यवाद करता हूं role of wanted pro khalistan terrorist now under the lens in the attack on the punjab intelligence headquarters coming up after this very short break and as the bulldozer rolls congress para drops once again attempts to block bulldozer on day 2 also coming up after this break Footage of the Puri beach was shared ahead of the cyclone Asani in Odisha. Locals were seen at the beach amidst overcast skies and gradually rising waves. Deputy DG of the Regional Meteorological Center, Dr. Sanjeev Bandopadhyay of IMD Kolkata, was seen monitoring the movement of the storm Asani. Suspension of fishing and tourist attractions were advised by the official head of the cyclone. The district of Badrak experienced rain as a result of the cyclone nearing the mainland. Heavy showers could be seen throughout the district as the clouds that accompanied the cyclone reached their saturation. A 37 member team of Odisha Disaster Rapid Action Force team has arrived in Badrak. In case of any adverse situation, the team was deployed to address any incident that were to arise as a result of the storm following the advisories issued by the IMD. The municipal corporation in Asansol was seen alerting the people in district about the oncoming cyclone and official commissioner of the municipal corporation Nidin Singhania moved around the district giving sounding the alarm to the people via loudspeaker. A quick wrap of all that's making news from across the country. Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik called healthcare one of the top priorities of the government. The Chief Minister said that he was uh, consistently making efforts to provide affordable quality health services to the people of the state. BJP National President JP Nadda after inaugurating the Adult Cancer Care Center in Haryana's Ambala cantonment said that the hospital will not only benefit the cancer patients from this in the state but also those from neighboring states including Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. A fire broke out on the 14th floor of a building at Bandstand Road Band in Bandra according to the Mumbai Fire Brigade Department no casualties were reported in the incident the reason for the fire accident is yet to be known Former Union Law Minister Ashwini Kumar said that sedition law in a free country was absolutely unnecessary and repeal or comprehensive revision by the central government he said that the extent of abuse of the sedition law had come to a point where in the national consciousness continuing with colonial law in a free country seemed to be absolutely unnecessary A blast occurred outside the intelligence department building of Punjab police in Mohali a police cordon of the the police cordon of the area around the office while no damage was reported on the spot and investigations are being carried out by the police we are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside chain bag remember that bull bulldozer has reached here but workers of congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, south delhi municipal corporation now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here a uh, police is trying to control the situation police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location but uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers uh, PM Khalistan link emerges to Mohali terror attack it appears the RPG was fired from 100 meters away Khalistan terror group SFJ claims role in terror attack releases tape saying Himachal next Will the West harbor terrorists and terror groups like SFJ time for India to ramp up pressure
Bulldozer drive continues on day two. The bulldozer rolls on in more than in more locations in the national capital. Congress and up block demolition drive again. Up MLA detained. BJP leader Tajinder Bagga gets relief from court. Court says no coercive action till 5th of July. Viewers, uh, thanks for tuning in. Getting in uh, breaking news right now. Taking a dig at the BJP. Shashi Tharoor yesterday tweeted a news uh, article and said, "Film promoted by India's ruling party, Kashmir Files, banned in Singapore. Now Kashmiri pundits uh, are outraged over Shashi Tharoor's tweet. In fact, uh, Vivek Agnihotri has uh, lambasted Shashi Tharoor, saying that Singapore is most regressive censor in the world. He even told uh, Tharoor to apologize to Sunanda Sol." And in another uh, latest update, Anupam Kher has called out Congress MP's tweet as sheer callousness. We have uh, Niranjan joining us from the Mumbai newsroom to break it down for us. Niranjan, what more can you tell us? Well, you know, this uh, controversy is getting out of hand because there are some uh, political parties, some leaders who are celebrating the fact that Kashmir Files, the film, is being blocked by a few countries. Now, for the longest time in India, political parties have been in denial about the exodus of Kashmiri Pandits and how Kashmiri Pandits were targeted and how there was a genocide in Kashmir. They won't talk about the Kashmiri Pandit angle and Anupam Kher has just tweeted, the tweet is on your screen right now, Anupam Kher has tweeted saying, and he's tweeted, uh, you know, it's on your screen right now. And that's the tweet that uh, Anupam Kher has tagged from 2013. He says so much is, uh, this is a tweet of Sunanda where she says, so much is being done for minorities these days, especially the ones who suffered riots. Why on earth are the Kashmiris ignored who suffered in 1989? And then there is a response to that tweet where someone says, because they seem to be leaderless, wish they had an articulate leader who can bring this issue on the centre stage of Delhi. To which Sunanda had said back then, that I try but then my husband is told to sambalo me and make sure I don't talk. So either I have to be a Kashmiri or a wife. Now that was the tweet put out, that was the tweet put out and now, and now let's uh, focus on that tweet, let's focus on that tweet, let's focus on that tweet and uh, now Anupam Kher has responded saying and, and, he's, uh, and he has said Dear Shashi Tharoor, your callousness towards Kashmiri Hindus genocide is tragic, if nothing else at least for Sunanda's sake who was a Kashmiri Pandit herself, who was a Kashmiri herself, you should show some sensitivity towards Kashmiri Pandits and not feel victorious about a country banning the Kashmir files. Now that's the controversy, we're trying, trying to get you some reactions on this story. Sushil Pandit joining me on the phone line. Sushil Pandit, uh, Congress uh, almost celebrating the fact that Kashmir files has been uh, stopped in some of these countries. Uh, why do you think they're celebrating? And what do you have to say about this uh, tweet that Anupam Kher has put out? Yes, it would have been painful had it not been a Congress's consistent policy of whitewashing our genocide. Nobody should be surprised. Congress has not only caused this genocide by collaborating with our genociders, but then actively whitewashed it through the years by denying it and by turning our genociders into icons, by denying the victims and survivors justice, and by collaborating with our tormentors in perpetuating this genocide till, till this date. Congress has a sordid past of denying the truth. साधु संत तमाम लोग उनको फिलहाल इस वक्त डिटेन कर लिया गया है और बरखा इस वक्त हमारे साथ लगातार जुड़ी हुई है बरखा क्या वहां पर जो ये साधु संत पहुंचे थे इनको डिटेन कर लिया गया
की तरफ से मांग की जा रही थी कुतुब मीनार पहुंच करके ये लोग हनुमान चालीसा का भी पाठ कर रहे थे ये लगातार कह रहे हैं कि नाम जो है कुतुब मीनार का वो बदलकर विष्णु स्तंभ किया जाए ये अपील की गई थी और इसी मांग को लेकर के कुतुब मीनार ये सब पहुंचे थे जिनको इस वक्त डिटेन किया जा चुका है जी हाँ तो ये तस्वीरें हम आपको लगातार दिखा रहे हैं और इसी तरह की तस्वीर अलग अलग जगहों से सामने आ रही है ज्ञान वापी मस्जिद का मामला क्या है वो हम आपको लगातार बता रहे हैं उसका अपडेट क्या है वो हम आपको लगातार बता रहे हैं वो मामला कोर्ट पहुंचा हुआ है सर्वे पूरा नहीं हो पा रहा है दूसरी तरफ अब कुतुब मीनार की तस्वीर सामने आ गई है कुतुब मीनार में इस बीच सुरक्षा बढ़ा दी गई है ये लेटेस्ट अपडेट मिल रहा है नाम बदलकर विष्णु स्तंभ रखने की मांग हिंदू संगठन की ओर से की जा रही है हिंदू संगठन के लोग पहुंचे हुए हैं वो इजाजत मांग रहे हैं वो मांग कर रहे हैं कि हमको पूजा अर्चना करने दी जाए कुतुब मीनार के भीतर ये ये दिल्ली की तस्वीर आप देख रहे हैं जहां पर कुतुब मीनार का नाम बदलकर विष्णु स्तंभ करने की मांग हो रही है ये तस्वीरें आप देखिए धीरे धीरे भीड़ काफी ज्यादा बढ़ गई है और सिक्योरिटी भी बढ़ा दी गई है यानी कि सुरक्षा भी बढ़ा दी गई है क्योंकि जो स्थिति है वो संवेदनशील होती हुई नजर आ रही है कुतुब मीनार के आसपास बताया जा रहा है कि जो विजिटर्स हैं वो भी लगातार पहुंच रहे हैं जो बाहर से आए हुए विदेशी लोग हैं वो भी पहुंच रहे हैं हालांकि वो अपना आईडी कार्ड दिखा करके कुतुब मीनार के अंदर जा रहे हैं वो लोग घूमने के लिए आए हैं लेकिन दूसरी तरफ कुतुब मीनार के बिल्कुल पीछे का ये इलाका बताया जा रहा है जहां पर हिंदू संगठन के लोग पहुंचे और वहां पर उन्होंने हनुमान चालीसा का पाठ पढ़ा है और वो मांग कर रहे हैं कि कुतुब मीनार का नाम बदला जाए विष्णु स्तंभ रखा जाए और विष्णु स्तंभ जाकर के हम पूजा पाठ करें आप देख रहे हैं साधु संत जब वहां पर पहुंचे हुए थे हिंदू संगठन के जो लोग पहुंचे हुए थे उनको डिटेन किया जा चुका है दरअसल इनका साफ तौर पे ये कहना है कि कुतुब मीनार का निर्माण 27 जैन और हिंदू मंदिरों को ध्वस्त किए जाने के बाद किया गया था ये इनका कहना है इनका ये कहना है इसीलिए कुतुब मीनार परिसर में किस तरह से जो विष्णु स्तंभ है ये नाम दिया जाना चाहिए जैन और हिंदू देवी देवताओं की मूर्तियों को स्थापित किया जाना चाहिए ये इनकी दरअसल मांगे जिसको लेकर के ये पहुंचे हुए थे इस वक्त कुतुब मीनार जहां पर प्रदर्शन करना शुरू किया गया था हनुमान चालीसा का भी पाठ किया गया था भारी पुलिस फोर्स की भी वहां पर तैनाती की गई थी पहले इनको वहां से हटाने की कोशिश की गई लेकिन जब ये लोग नहीं माने तो फिर आखिरकार पुलिस ने इन सब को डिटेन कर लिया ये तस्वीरें रिपब्लिक भारत पर आप सबसे पहली तस्वीर देख रहे हैं एक्सक्लूसिव विजुअल्स देख रहे हैं पहले हिंदू संगठन के लोग पहुंचते हैं कुतुब मीनार के पीछे वाले इलाके पे वो वहां पर हनुमान चालीसा का पाठ शुरू करते हैं उसके बाद से वो मांग करते हैं कि कुतुब मीनार का नाम बदला जाए विष्णु स्तंभ नाम कर दिया जाए इतना ही नहीं उनकी ओर से ये भी मांग की गई कि हमें इजाजत दी जाए कि हम कुतुब मीनार के अंदर जाकर के पूजा पाठ कर सके पूजा अर्चना कर सके और ये पिछले कुछ देर में क्या कुछ हुआ वो हम आपको बता रहे हैं लेकिन इस बीच लेटेस्ट अपडेट जो ये है कि सिक्योरिटी बढ़ गई और सिक्योरिटी ने इन सभी लोगों को डिटेन कर लिया है जैसा कि श्वेता आपको बता रही थी कुतुब मीनार की तस्वीर राजधानी दिल्ली काफी ज्यादा भीड़ वाला इलाका काफी मशहूर इलाका कुतुब मीनार विदेशों से लोग यहाँ पर घूमने आते हैं विदेशी अभी भी कुतुब मीनार के भीतर है वो आईडी कार्ड दिखा करके उनको also kutumar is also you know does does belong to the hindu community and that is why uh, a poster was also released by um, uh, jay bhagwan goel who is also a uh, president of antarashtra karyakarini uh, which is of united hindu front uh, in fact uh, he has uh, said that uh, 
uh, according to Vishnu Kutub Minar, is the Vishnu Stamba, and in that particular Stamba, uh, there are uh, there is, uh, the uh, offers should be there should be prayers should prayers should be offered uh, according to Hindu rituals. Uh, what I can tell you, the one prayer also is that the Nasir Kazi in the case of these offers they are passing the Kutub Minar, and when they reach there, they submit the chanting slogans of Jai Shri Ram, and also submit chanting Hanu Hanuman Chalita. But now these offers have been taken. Now the deployment of police person has been done there. Paramedics also have also been called in. Uh, the main organizer, Jay Bhagwan Goel, uh, has now been detained. He is the latter president of uh, Rashtrawadi Shiv Sena, United Hindu Defence. He has just been detained. And there are other uh, people also who took part in that. One more person is that the Guru Ma Kanchan Giri. She is a she who also reached who is also the president of Marathan Manav Seva. So these people reached there today in the morning and uh, they wanted to. Chanta uh, Hanuman Dalit. In fact, they did also. But uh, soon after that, the Delhi police are really there as Delhi police are now telling us that they did not have the protesters did not have uh, enough uh, required permission to uh, protest there or to chant Hanuman Dalit. So that's why these protesters have been detained. Jay Bhagwan Goel is now in uh, the uh, custody of the Delhi police. He has just been detained. We can also hit a picture of senior police officers trying to talk to him and trying to disperse these protesters who gathered there at. जो जितने मठाधीश हैं सब की तरफ से इन भारतवासियों की तरफ से यही मांग करते हैं कि जो सनातन की परंपरा जी जो सनातनी था जो ये भारत जिसका परमान इतिहास के पन्नों में आज भी दर्ज है तो ये अखंड भारत और साथ साथ हिंदू राष्ट्र की जो मांग थी उसके लिए आज हम यहाँ पर आए हैं और साथ के साथ जो ये आप पीछे देख रहे हैं जो कुतुब मीनार को जो बोलते हैं ये विष्णु मीनार के नाम से विष्णु स्तंभ के नाम से क्योंकि यहाँ पर जितने भी देवी देवताओं की मूर्तियां मिली तो कहीं ना कहीं उस सनातन की जो वो थी वो सबको तोड़ मोड़ के कहीं ना कहीं मैनुपुलेट करा गया है ये साक्ष राम मंदिर पे भी मिला ये साक्ष बनारस में भी मिला ये साथ जितने भी पुरानी इमारतें हैं उनको साथ छेड़छाड़ करके मुगल कालीन जो भी शासक रहे उन्होंने जो है सनातन की जो भी इमारतें थी जो भी हमारे मंदिर थे जो भी हमारे मठ थे सबको बदला गया तो अब ये बीड़ा उठाया है सभी संत समाज ने विद्युत समाज ने कि हम अपनी मांग को मंगवा कर रहेंगे चाहे कोर्ट में विचारधीन केस हो हम किसी भी व्यक्ति विशेष को हानि नहीं पहुंचाना चाहते उनके आस्था के साथ खेलना नहीं चाहते या हम किसी को कोई दुख हो मगर हम ये चाहते हैं कि जो मेरा प्यारा देश जो मेरा सनातन की परंपरा थी वो दोबारा से लौटे वो खुशहाली दोबारा से लौटे तो इसी को लेकर हमने ये बीड़ा उठाया है So while we have those uh, dramatic visuals from uh, near the Kutub Minar uh, road, we have uh, uh, Piyush. If you are still with us, uh, we are also getting to know that the Delhi BJP uh, chief has written to rename a uh, certain roads, which also include Akbar Road and Tughlaq Road, among others. If you could give us more information on that as well. Well, uh, we will connect with Piyush again. So some very dramatic visuals that we are getting. Uh, the uh, protest which is taking place outside the qutub minar the, the people there chanting the hanuman chalisa and also demanding that the road should be renamed and while we speak we are also getting to note that the delhi bjp chief adesh gupta has written to the delhi chief minister abhin kejriwal union minister minakshi lekhi and mcd member as well demanding that certain roads in the national capital should be renamed which include uh, the tughlaq road the akbar road uh, as well as the aurangzeb lane among others so the delhi bjp chief there upping their ant against uh, the row uh, with regard the jahan par jitne bhi log yahan par pahunche the alag alag sanghathanon se wo sirf ek swar ek swar mein ek hi mang karte hue nazar aa rahe the sirf ek mang unki or se yahan par ki gayi thi ye dekhiye abhishek jo aapko ye tasveere dikha rahe hain aap police ke jo tamam jawan hai adhikariyan dekhiye wo wahan par pahunche the un logon ko rokne ki koshish ki gayi thi unse ye kaha gaya tha ki is tarah se aage badhkar jo kanoon vyavastha hai usko खराब करने के प्रयास जो है वो यहाँ पर ना किए जाए पुलिस यहाँ पर अपना काम प्रशासन अपना काम करता हुआ नजर आ रहा था लेकिन वो लोग कह रहे थे कि पुलिस अगर हमें रोकती भी है तो हम रुकने वाले नहीं हैं और ठीक मेरे यहाँ पर आप दाएं हाथ पर देख सकते हैं ये कुतुब मीनार का पूरा का पूरा प्रेमिस है देखिए पूरा का पूरा ये वो परिसर है जो आप यहाँ तस्वीरों में देख सकते हैं इसी के अंदर कुतुब मीनार मौजूद जिसको विष्णु स्तंभ यहाँ पर दावा कर रहे हैं ये हिंदू संगठन जो यहाँ पर पहुंचे थे 
जिनकी ओर से कहा जा रहा है कि बार बार क्यों इतिहास को बदलने के प्रयास किए जा रहे हैं ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि एक चीज़ होगी उसका नाम बदला जाएगा और फिर उस पर वो ठप्पा लग जाएगा हम ऐसा होने नहीं देंगे ऐसा बर्दाश्त नहीं किया जाएगा अभी फिलहाल ये पूरा का पूरा देखिए जो आगे का एरिया है अभिषेक यहाँ पर आपको दिखा रहे हैं देखिए यहाँ पर अभी फिलहाल गाड़ियों की भीड़ है जाम लग गया है पुलिस के जो तमाम अधिकारी हैं वो आगे बढ़ते हुए नजर आ रहे हैं अभिषेक आगे बढ़कर जरा वो जगह हम अपने दर्शकों को दिखा देते हैं देखिए कुतुब मीनार की वो पूरी की पूरी जगह जहां पर पुलिस की ओर से पूरी बैरिगेडिंग की गई है आगे आगे से दाएं हाथ को जब आप मुड़ते हैं in there uh, from uh, near the uh, kutub minar uh, kutub minar where people are protesting uh, demanding that the road near the kutub minar should be renamed and now we have the delhi bjp chief who's also written to delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal minakshi lekhi as well as the mcd member demanding that certain roads should be convert karke agar use dusre dharm mein jod diya jaye to to sanatani ki bhumi rahi hai mogal to pata nahi kaun se arab country se aaye the to uske baad inki wo chali hai masjid मंदिर तोड़ तोड़ के इन्होंने मस्जिद बनाई है हमारे सनातन धर्म की हर एक चीज को इन्होंने तोड़ा है हर एक चीज पे कब्जा किया है तो वह कब्जा अब जो है हम नहीं बर्दाश्त करेंगे हर वो कब्जा वापस लेंगे और अपने अपने चीज की डिमांड कर रहे हैं हम उसकी डिमांड नहीं कर रहे ये तो हमारा धरोहर था हम धरोहर को वापस मांग रहे हैं तो उसमें कोई नई बात नहीं होनी चाहिए और कोई हम उनसे कोई छीन नहीं रहे हैं हमारी चीज है हमारा नाम टैग वहाँ से हटा के मुगलों ने अपना नेम टैग लगाया है तो वो गलत किया है हम पुनः अपना विष्णु स्तंभ को पुनः जीव उद्धार करके और ये जो है आप जिसका नाम ले रहे हैं वो नाम so the hindu groups they staging a protest near the kutub minar demanding that the road should be renamed and there we had a sound bite as well uh, demanding the call uh, to rename the kutub minar road को ये तस्वीरें दिखा दें क्योंकि जो यहाँ पर हिंदू संगठन था उनकी ओर से ये कहा जा रहा था कि वो कुतुब मीनार पर पहुंचेंगे कुतुब मीनार पर पहुंचेंगे और उसके बाद यहाँ पर हनुमान चालीसा का पाठ जो है वो यहाँ पर किया जाएगा आ, जो टूरिस्ट हैं पर्यटक हैं वो भी यहाँ पर पहुंच रहे हैं आसपास के लोग जो है वो भी यहाँ पर मौजूद है आ, जो कहीं ना कहीं ये देखते हुए नजर आ रहे थे कि हाँ क्या कुछ यहाँ पर चल रहा है थोड़ी बहुत परेशानी भी जाहिर तौर पर लोगों को होती हुई क्योंकि पीछे का जो पूरा का पूरा रोड है अभिषेक जो पीछे का पूरा का पूरा रोड है वो कहीं ना कहीं जाम नजर आता है पूरा आ, ये जो एरिया है यहाँ से लेके अंदर जाने तक मेहरोली की जो मेन मार्केट होती है वहाँ तक जाने तक पूरा का पूरा रास्ता जो है वो कहीं ना कहीं उस पूरे जाम के आ, चलते वो जो लोग यहाँ पर पहुँचे थे उनके चलते ब्लॉक हो गया है पर्यटक यहाँ पर पहुँचे हुए हैं थोड़ी हैरानी उन लोगों को यहाँ पर हो रही है आप यहाँ पर कुतुब मीनार देखने पहुँचे हाँ दर्शन दरअसल किया जा रहा था जी मैडम कहा जा रहा था की यहाँ पर हनुमान चालीसा का पाठ होगा और ये कुतुब मीनार नहीं असल में विष्णु स्तंभ है आपका क्या कहना है ये तो हो सकता है कि जो भी कहते हैं वो उस पर निर्भर करता है कि क्या हो सकता है अब तो हम तो घूमने आए थे बच्चों के साथ में अब हमें परेशानी तो हो रही है यहाँ पर देखिए जो लोग पहुंचे हुए देखिए ये क्योंकि पर्यटन स्थल है कुतुब मीनार है पर्यटक यहाँ पर पहुंच रहे हैं यहाँ पर कतारों में आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पर मौजूद है और उसके अलावा लेकिन अभी फिलहाल ऐसा नहीं है कि जाने यहाँ पर नहीं दिया जा रहा है एक सीमित संख्या तक जरूर क्योंकि अभी पूरी स्थिति को नियंत्रण में रखना ये बहुत बड़ी एक जिम्मेदारी यहाँ पर पुलिस और प्रशासन की हो जाती है पीछे की तस्वीर अगर अभिषेक यहाँ पर आपको दिखाएंगे देखिए बैरिगेडिंग जो है वो यहाँ पर की गई है इस एरिया में की गई है जो दूसरा दूसरी सड़क यहाँ से गुजरती है वहाँ पर जो बैरिगेडिंग है देखिए वो यहाँ पर की गई है अभी फिलहाल डिटेन करके डिटेन कर माँ जो हिंदू संगठन के लोग थे उनको यहाँ से ले जाया गया है देखना ही होगा कि जब वो ये कहते हैं कि अगर चाहे उन्हें कितने भी दिनों तक यहाँ पर रखा जाए जेल में वो रुकने वाले नहीं है तो आगे देखने वाली बात ये होगी कि क्या फिर से क्या फिर से प्रयास किए जाते हैं यहाँ पर यहाँ पहुँच कर अभिषेक आप थोड़ा देख कर यहाँ पहुँच कर फिर से क्या कोशिश उनकी ओर से की जाएगी कि हनुमान चालीसा का पाठ जो है वो यहाँ पर किया जाए अभी फिलहाल डिटेन सबको कर लिया गया है बहुत गहमा गहमी देखने को मिली पहले भूल भुलैया पर भूल भुलैया की तस्वीरें यहाँ पर हमने आपको दिखाई थी जहाँ पर वो पाठ करते हुए नजर आ रहे थे और उसके बाद कुतुब मीनार की तरफ बढ़ने की कोशिश जरूर की गई लेकिन रोक दिया गया था और अभी फिलहाल सिर्फ थोड़ा सा क्यों जरूर हुआ था लेकिन अभी स्थिति अदरवाइज नियंत्रण में जरूर नजर आती है लेकिन शायद यह पूरा मामला यहाँ पर थमता हुआ नजर नहीं आता है तस्वीरें इस वक्त की लगातार सीधी हम आपको दिखा रहे हैं 
So uh, the protesters there are uh, staging a protest and demanding that the Qutub Minar should be renamed. And what the latest, what we are told is that the protesters uh, have now been detained as they continue to, pro to protest. Time for a very short break. On the other side, will the West harbour terrorists and terror groups like SFJ? Time for India to ramp up pressure. And bulldozer drive continues on day two. Bulldozer rolls on in more locations in the national capital. Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally. A testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality. To apply, visit amity.edu. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shahin Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained. They will be put into this person and then this person will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं तो क्रैशिस टेकिंग प्लेस बिटवीन पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज पुलिस रिसॉर्टिंग टू प्लाटी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स Chinese President Xi Jinping met German Chancellor Olaf Scholz via video call. In addition to bilateral ties and furthering trade and investments between the two countries, the two sides also discussed the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. According to media reports, China has been working to promote peace and diffuse tensions between Russia and Ukraine. More than 100 firefighters from 20 different fire departments responded to an overnight fire at an energy energy plant in Fort Blend, County, Texas. Officials said a coal unit caught fire on the roof before midnight. A spokesperson for NRG said that the station is being shut down and no injuries were reported. Stocks deepened their losses on Wall Street. The benchmark index came off its fifth weekly loss in a row and renewed worries about China's economy piled on top of markets already battered by rising interest rates. Stocks fell across Europe and much of Asia as did everything from old economy crude oil to new economy Bitcoin. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said during an official visit to non-NATO member Moldova that the consequences of Russia's war against Ukraine escalating are too frightening to contemplate. UN chief who arrived in Moldova's capital also said in a joint press conference with Prime Minister Natalia. Welcome back viewers. Now, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, who was in Goa Hati during his address, said that certain areas under the AFSPA have been reduced in Assam and that uh, the government centre will make sure that AFSPA is removed from all areas in the state. अधिनियम के तहत अशांत क्षेत्रों को में हाल में ही कम करने का काम किया है लगभग 1990 से आसाम के अंदर अब सफा लागू था लगातार 60 बार इसको बढ़ाया गया और आज कहने में मुझे गर्व है कि मोदी जी के 8 साल के शासन के बाद स्थिति ऐसी हुई है के आसाम के 23 जिलों में से अब सफा को पूर्ण रूप से उठाने का काम हो गया है एक रूप में आंशिक रूप से हटा दिया गया है आसाम के 60 प्रतिशत से ज्यादा हिस्से पर से आज अब सफा हम हटा पाए और मैं आशा करता हूं कि आने वाले दिनों में वो दिन दूर नहीं है कि पूरे आसाम से अब सफा को हटा पाए 
इस प्रकार की कानून और व्यवस्था की परिस्थिति यहाँ पर प्रस्तापित की जाएगी And viewers, uh, that's all we have for you in this edition of our broadcast. Don't go anywhere. Lots lined up for you on the other side of this short break. And Khalistani terror angle emerges to the Mohali attack. It appears the RPG was fired from 100 meters away. And BJP leader Tajinder Bagga gets uh, court relief. Uh, court says no coercive action till 5th of July. Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally a testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality to apply visit amity.edu news in brief now calling for the commitment to the party's accelerated revival congress president sonia gandhi has said that it is imperative that leaders and workers step forward and repay their debt to the party in full measure at a critical juncture when the party is beset with challenges in her opening remarks at the meeting of the cwc sonia gandhi noted that there are no magic wants for electoral success Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has said that strict action will be taken against perpetrators of the Bihar Public Service Commission preliminary examination paper leak. He said that immediate action in the matter has been taken and the government is checking where and how the paper was leaked from. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister has said that an inquiry has begun and the Punjab police uh, and uh, the police uh, are investigating the incident. Chhattisgarh's Chief Minister Bhupesh Baghel has hit out at the BJP for turning Lord Ram into a warrior-like figure and Hanuman into a symbol of anger to further politics of polarization. Baghel added that the portrayal of Lord Ram and Hanuman as aggressive figures over years isn't good for society. The Border Security Force troops foiled another smuggling attempt through a Pakistani drone. Vigilant BSF troops fired at the drone coming from Pakistan and brought it down. During the search, BSF recovered a hexacopter drone and seized about 10 kgs of heroin. The Amritsar BSF DIG B Singh said soldiers heard the humming of a drone flying over the fence and fired nine shots towards the flying object and brought it down. Karnataka's Chief Minister Baswaraj Bommai has said that the state government will ensure implementation of the Supreme Court's order on the issue of loudspeakers in public places in a cordial manner. On instructions to implement the order, he said the onus of implementing this order lies with police officers of the rank of the deputy SP in their respective areas. The Union Home Minister Amit Shah has lauded the Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma for his vision and mission on growth and development. of the health sector in the state furthermore the union home minister assured the chief minister of all support from the center whenever it is required many locations NIA team has arrived at the Punjab Police Intelligence Headquarters after the rocket attack. Aam Aadmi Party has also condemned the attack. And the NIA team has arrived for investigations into the Khalistan related terror attack in Mohali. Let's listen in to what Sanjay Singh has to say. पंजाब में मोहाली ब्लास्ट नफरत फैलाने की और डर फैलाने की एक कोशिश है आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार भगवंत मान जी की सरकार पंजाब का अमन चैन कायम करने के लिए पूरी तरीके से प्रतिबद्ध है और जो भी पंजाब का अमन चैन और शांति बिगाड़ने की कोशिश करेगा शांति भंग करने की कोशिश करेगा उसकी जगह जेल के सीचों के पीछे है उसको बाहर घूमने की इजाजत नहीं होगी पंजाब के शांति अमन और चैन के लिए आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार भगवंत पान जी की सरकार हर सख्त से सख्त कदम उठाने के लिए तैयार है और जिन लोगों ने मोहाली ब्लास्ट को अंजाम दिया है वो जल्द ही सीख शो के पीछे पंजाब में मोहाली ब्लास्ट नफरत फैलाने की और डर फैलाने की एक कोशिश है 
आम आदमी पार्टी की सरकार भगवंत मान जी की सरकार पंजाब का अमन चैन कायम करने के लिए पूरी तरीके से प्रतिबद्ध है और जो भी पंजाब का अमन चैन और शांति बिगाड़ने की कोशिश करे and we go across to our correspondent amandeep for the latest amandeep the nia team has arrived uh, the aap government in punjab clearly responding to calls for a central investigation into the matter well absolutely a national investigating agency has already arrived at the spot and they are trying to find the in, uh, evidence here from the spot just because this is the possible area from where the rpg was fired by the attackers you can see that the visuals are there nia team is here and in fact they are searching the area thoroughly physically to find out the possible evidence from where they can get the lead and in fact you can see the punjab police officials are guiding them that this is the area from where the RPG was launched and even NIA is collecting the evidence you can see they are showing the footprints of the attackers that how they managed to flee from the spot and this is another possible uh, area from where they have escaped and reached towards the road and uh, on the road the car was parked and they fled in the car with their Uh, with their launcher just because it is the it is a heavy range and from here it was a possible target that from uh, these this is the area they having a high bushes where the attackers hide themselves and fire rpg behind the bushes and that is the reason this area has been completely thoroughly searched by the nia you can see these nia officials are checking the small piece of papers also that any evidence any evidence must have left behind and that can that can that can give the lead to the investigating agency to reach and to nail down the accused and who all are involved which organization is involved behind this no that is the main uh, uh, main primary angle of the investigation you can see in even the uh, initially they have visited the building damaged building as well they have visited the room and even they have visited the ter- terrace where the damaged part- uh, particles of the broken uh, window pane was there and after that they have identified the range after that they have identified the range and even now they have reached to the possible area from where the rpg was fired and in you can see nia officials are continuously searching the area and even to find out the evidence related to this rpg attack just because there are certain things that need to be identified so far no organization has been identified yes there is a terror angle pro khalistani elements are being behind this but even in in the pro khalistani elements there are certain organizations in that they must have left any piece of evidence and nia is trying to find out that evidence punjab police is assisting them at every uh, every step and guiding them the geographical area of this and how they have managed to flee from which what are their escape routes and even uh, how the attack was being carried out you can see the even the papers which were thrown on the ground they are being thoroughly verified they are entering into the into this high bushes to check out the area to search uh, search the area entirely properly that how they have escaped and how this attack is being carried out this is not a normal attack this was uh, attackers had done a complete reeky of the area before firing this rpg now they are extending their investigation now the nia team is moving towards the other uh, area to check and to verify they must have left any piece of evidence that can help the nia to reach to the conclusion of the investigation to nail down the accused though or parallelly punjab police have detained 11 persons uh, they have taken into the custody and even they have they are being questioned by the punjab police as well and parallel investigation is launched by the nia you can see this is all happening just because it is that a day almost a day has been passed to the attack yesterday 7:45 was the time in the evening when a rpg was fired on the building of the intelligence headquarter of punjab police and with no casualty with 
no injured injured person but yes attack was there on the building and damaged the window pane shattered the building area and in fact later on the investigation has been launched punjab ggp claimed that there are certain leads with the punjab police and a parallel investigation is being launched by the nia they are searching the area thoroughly physically to find out the evidence just because this is the possible area and even the indian army officials have also started arriving at the spot you can see the vehicles of is moving towards the punjab intelligence headquarter you can see that yes the indian army vehicle army has also arrived at punjab police headquarter minute after minute the developments are here you can see the visuals first on republic screen that indian army has arrived and now indian army will launch their own investigation into this terror attack you can see nia punjab police now indian army has also arrived at punjab police headquarter uh, CEO rank officer was sitting in the vehicle that had entered into the Punjab police headquarter and now they will start their own investigation by with their own ways multiple developments are happening one minute after minute nia is parallelly investigating the matter you can see on the road nia is trying to collect the evidence indian army has arrived at the punjab police headquarter to verify the intensity of the blast and even punjab police have detained 11 persons on the other side and questioning is going on to find out that which pro khalistani organization was involved into this incident every investigating angle is being probed by multiple agencies you can see this is all happening uh, almost a day after the uh, rpg attack on punjab police uh, intelligence headquarter and even so far no arrest has been claimed by the punjab police questioning is going on raids are going on they are trying to identify the people nia is doing their own work it, they are searching for some technical evidence to try to connect they have something they have something in their hand nia got something some piece of evidence from the spot and they have collected it and now they are returning back to punjab police evidence they were they were looking for this very much evidence and now they got something which can help them in their investigation you can see the officer in the blue shirt is have something in his hand and that is a very crucial evidence that was collected from the spot from the range from where the rpg was fired towards the punjab intelligence headquarter building they are again going to spot and trying to find out more evidence in the in this entire case this is all happening here uh, minute by minute development is there nia team is on the ground searching the area A indian army has reached intelligence office and will launch their own investigation punjab police detained the people questioning is all going on this is how the multiple uh, agencies have launched their investigation from the multiple angles just because this is not a normal attack it has actually shattered the confidence level of the punjab police as well when the punjab police trying to raid try to carry out the investigation against the pro khalistani element means now the intelligence office was being targeted by the pro khalistani elements so somewhere down the line they are trying to boost up the confidence level of their own force so that at least they can maintain the pe- law uh, and order and even they can maintain the peace in punjab just because punjab police is entirely responsible for everything happening in punjab and even multiple agencies are here to nail down this punjab chief minister claiming that by the evening this case will be cracked and everything would be ex posed and the police will reach to the investigation uh, conclusion as well and this is how they have paced up the investigation they held a meeting with the dgp got so much information and even now punjab police is in, is in assisting all the investigating agencies indian army has also arrived at intelligence office and meetings are going on uh, ig rank officer must be briefing the indian army uh, regarding the incident how it happened and even they have identified the range from where the rpg was fired and this was the range where the nia is now trying to find out and uh, some piece of evidence and in fact they have got some kind of leads as well a missing some evidence is still there 
they are trying to find out you can see these are all these are the visuals these are the developments minute to minute developments in a big terror attack in punjab and luckily with no casualty and no injury see, nia is now returning back to the intelligence office the evidence the piece of evidence they have collected it will be discussed analyzed and observed by sitting inside the office and this collect Uh, information as well as shared on one table to reach to some kind of conclusion. Just because it is a very sensitive attack, when pro-Khalistani organizations roped in, everything turned to be very sensitive. It is not a normal attack. Even the NIA has identified it that the person who has RPG, they are very much trained. They have identified the range. They have uh, hide themselves behind the bushes, and then they they put out their launcher and fire the RPG towards the building. And their motive was to damage maximum, to give a maximum damage to the intelligence building. But that could not happen just because it. Uh, RPG hit towards a uh, one corner of the uh, wall and and then turned down and even now you can see the multiple agencies are investigating this case and even the case is taking multiple turns every single minute but the so so far no arrest has been claimed by Punjab police DGP and even. not revealed anything yes they have indicated there are possible leads with the punjab police which are further probing and which can take the case to the conclusion you can see the visuals now we will try to take to uh, take you uh, our viewers to towards that place from where the rpg was fired which was the which was the possible range of the rpg where the nia was visited here just minutes back we will try to take you this is the route that was taken by the attackers to hide themselves on the road the car was parked and in fact you can see this is this is the possible range that even the nia has inspected this entire spot and even this is the possible range i request my camera person to kindly show the intelligence headquarter building from this very much point that even the viewers can have a uh, have have an idea that how it has fired and how these attackers were hiding behind the bushes and even you can see this is the possible range from where the rpg was fired with a launcher the damage the damaged wall is very much visible from here it is straight away on the target just because it, the motive of the attackers to give a maximum damage a maximum hit to the building but that not happened it hit on the one corner of the wall and then turned down and even the damage was just uh, broken the window points and you can see this is here they were hiding at 7:45 when they have launched the rpg attack so this is how it has been turned out and even the punjab police and even the nia is inspecting this area just because there must be some piece of evidence that they that can turn to be the biggest help for the nia to identify the organization behind this attack and even you can see now the multiple agencies are inside the building possible terror attack possible uh, range of the attack is here we are where we are standing right now and even investigation is still on but the final point is no arrest has been revealed by by the punjab police vk bhavra claims certain leads are there but no arrest over to studio well we are taking to you report that that we we will show you the report that how nia has started their investigation after reaching to uh, punjab police intelligence headquarters first they visited the spot and later the possible range watch this report 
In the incident of uh, RPG attack on the intelligence headquarters of Punjab Police, now Punjab Police DGP VK Bhavra uh, in his press briefing revealed that there are certain leads with the Punjab Police on which the investigation is going on. But he has not confirmed any arrest just because no arrest has been made by the Punjab Police so far. There are certain leads on which the police is investigating and even there are certain people who have been detained by the Punjab Police and questioning is going on. Terror uh, uh, angle cannot be ruled out and even Khalistan angle was not ruled out in the course of investigation. This is what the DGP has claimed in his press briefing. But the point is that from where this attack has been carried out just because that is the most sensitive point and that is the most important angle of this entire news story. We are just standing on the road from where the RPG was fired. This is the road that is leading towards the local court and in fact having two possible escape routes. This is one possible escape route of this entire uh, area from where the attack has been carried out by uh, the certain elements and even on the other side also on the other side of the road i'll show you that this is the, the other side of the road from where attackers managed to flee from the spot after launching the rpg on the intelligence building and in fact now i'll show you the spot where the rpg hit and what kind of damage has been done by this rpg you can see that on the fourth floor of the building you can see that is the room where RPG was fired and the damaged wall is the point where it RPG hit and the grenade blast the impact of the grenade was so severe that it all the window panes of the uh, of the room has been broken and the entire building shattered even the people the policemen who were standing on the security on the gate they got to know something had happened and even they hide immediately that there is some kind of attack just because this is not a normal sound you can see the visuals fourth floor of this building is being damaged and soon after receiving the information entire area was cordoned mohali attack site as our viewers are aware the story began with the firing of a rocket propelled grenade the, what the police are calling a projectile. Now the NIA has joined the investigations, NIA team on the spot. And it's time now for a short break. But coming up after that, will the West harbour terrorists and terror groups like the SFJ? Time for India to ramp up pressure. Bulldozer drive continues on day two. Bulldozer rolls on in more locations in Delhi. News in brief now calling for the commitment to the party's accelerated revival. Congress President Sonia Gandhi has said that it is imperative that leaders and workers step forward and repay their debt to the party in full measure at a critical juncture when the party is beset with challenges. In her opening remarks at the meeting of the CWC, Sonia Gandhi noted that there are no magic wands for electoral success. Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has said that strict action will be taken against perpetrators of the Bihar Public Service Commission preliminary examination paper leak. He said that immediate action in the matter has been taken and the government is checking where and how the paper was leaked from. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister has said that an inquiry has begun and the Punjab police uh, and uh, the police uh, are investigating the incident. Chhattisgarh's Chief Minister Bhopesh Bhagel has hit out at the BJP for turning Lord Ram into a warrior-like figure and Hanuman into a symbol of anger to further politics of polarization. Bhagel added that the portrayal of Lord Ram and Hanuman as aggressive figures over years isn't good for society. The Border Security Force troops foiled another smuggling attempt through a Pakistani drone. Vigilant BSF troops fired at the drone coming from Pakistan and brought it down. During the search, BSF recovered a hexacopter drone and seized about 10 kgs of heroin. The Amritsar BSF DIG B Singh said soldiers heard the humming of a drone flying over the fence and fired nine shots towards the flying object and brought it down. Karnataka's Chief Minister Baswaraj Bomai has said that the state government will ensure implementation of the Supreme Court's order on the issue of loudspeakers in public places in a cordial manner. On instructions to implement the order, he said the onus of implementing this order lies with police officers of the rank of the Deputy SP in their respective areas. 
reunion Home Minister Amit Shah has lauded the Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma for his vision and mission on growth and development of the health sector in the state. Furthermore, the Union Home Minister assured the Chief Minister of all support from the centre whenever it is required. Roundup of all the action from the world of sports, uh, Jaspreet Bumrah's five-wicket haul was undone by Clinical Kolkata as they defeated Mumbai by 52 runs in their IPL 2022 match at the D.Y. Patil Sports Academy. This is uh, this uh, Rohit Sharma led MI 9th defeat uh, in the ongoing 15th edition of the IPL by for Kolkata. Their fifth win in 12 matches have kept the 2022 campaign alive. The 57 game of यहाँ पर मंगोल पुरी में देखिए एक-एक करके सड़क के दोनों तरफ से जो इलीगल कंस्ट्रक्शन है उसको तोड़ा जा रहा है और देखिए बिल्डिंगों में अलग-अलग बिल्डिंगों में लोग भी नजर आएंगे आपको और आपको नजर आएगा ये रोड और ये देखिए इस खंबे के चारों तरफ जो है एक ठिया बना दिया गया था उस ठिये को भी अब निस्तेनाबूत कर दिया है spent good amount of time outside the intelligence office. The motive of the attackers were to spread the terror among the police. They smoothly fired the RPG. They managed to flee in a white car. It has been cleared that it was a clear-cut terror attack and pro-Khalistani elements were involved into that. And even on the top of the list is uh, Harvinder Singh, Rinda and all the gangsters. And a look at the other stories making headlines. I mean, massive protests after Shaheen Bagh bulldozers now roll in into New Friends Colony and Mangolpuri in Delhi. Conducted by the South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Palestine linked to rocket-propelled grenade attack on Punjab Police's intelligence headquarters emerges role of Pakistan-based terrorist Harvinder Singh Rinda under the scanner. And we have with us the controversial BJP leader Tejinder Pal Bagga who had contested elections as an MLA for Delhi but he is in the news because of his comments made on Arvind Kejriwal and how he was literally tossed he was literally tossed between Delhi, Haryana and Punjab police but Tejinder Pal Bagga aaj aapko, today you've got a big relief from the courts 5 July tak aapke upar ab koi bhi strict action aapko arrest nahi kiya ja sakta no coercive action Tajinder Pal Bhaga. Yes. Look, Ishwarya, you have heard a lot of money. You will eat 100 juts and 100 juts. Today, the Delhi's Mukhya Mantri Abhin Kheriwal Ji is the same thing. The one who has told you about the law, the country's law has told you that no one is not on the law. If someone asks a question of Abhin Kheriwal Ji, they are so scared that the police send the police from Punjab. पंजाब जीतने के बाद उनके ऊपर अहंकार आ गया, चाहे मैं हूँ, चाहे नवीन कुमार हो, बेटी गांधी हो, अलका लांबा हो या डॉक्टर कुमार विश्वास हो, जो भी व्यक्ति उनसे सवाल पूछता है, पंजाब से पुलिस भेजी जाती है, उनसे ऐसे व्यवहार किया जाता है, जैसे वो आतंकवादी है। लेकिन आम आदमी पार्टी तेजंदर 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 हम आपको तेजंदर हम आपको पिछले 10 12 13 साल से प्रोटेस्ट करते हुए देख रहे हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी युवा मोर्चा से सड़कों पे बैनर लगाते हुए देख रहे हैं लेकिन आम आदमी पार्टी और आधिकारिक तौर पे एक नहीं एक दर्जन नेता आके तो आपको मतलब हिस्ट्री शीटर आपको रिपीटेड ऑफेंडर कहते हैं वो तो कहते हैं कि तेजंदर पाल बग्गा तो सिर्फ आग लगाना चाहता है Tajinder Pal Bagga only wants to incite violence. You say your name. Look, I think that what I have told you is that Arvind Kedriwal is scared. This is the time of the time of the time of the time. If Arvind Kedriwal says that, then they will say that. That is not their words. That is Arvind Kedriwal's words. And I want to say that if I am so big and so big, so big and so big, so big and so big, then the FIR is in the middle of the time 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 of the time. अपने अगर ईश्वरीय अगर वो एफआईआर पड़ी हो तो एफआईआर के अंदर क्या है 
कि मैंने अरविंद केजरीवाल को धमकी दी और किस बात पे धमकी दी कि कश्मीर फाइल्स को उन्होंने झूठी फिल्म बताया मैंने क्या कहा उस एफ आई आर की अगर कॉपी हो तो वो पढ़िए उसमें लिखा है कि अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल माफी नहीं मांगते तो हम उनको चैन से जीने नहीं देंगे और तब तक प्रदर्शन जारी रखेंगे जब तक अरविंद केजरीवाल उस फिल्म को तो झूठा कहने के लिए माफी नहीं मांग लेते मैंने शौर्य सिर्फ इतना कहा बट तेजेंद्र पाल भगा वो पंजाब जीत चुके हैं अब अरविंद केजरीवाल मैं आपके पॉइंट मानता हूं कश्मीर फाइल्स पे आपका रिएक्शन वो कहते हैं इस पर इशू ही नहीं है लेकिन अगर जो आपने कहा कि अरविंद केजरीवाल या फिर आम आदमी पार्टी आपसे डरती है वो कहते हैं भाई हम तो पंजाब में बीजेपी को हरा चुके हम तो पंजाब में कांग्रेस को हरा चुके एक तेजेंद्र पाल बग्गा क्या अगर दस भी हो तो हमें क्या घबराना अगले पांच साल बाद इलेक्शन है पंजाब में तेजेंद्र पाल बग्गा हमारा क्या बिगाड़ लेगा पंजाब में ये काउंटर आता है वहां से और कुमार विश्वास जी के घर के अंदर किया है गाजियाबाद में आप होता तो क्या पचास लोगों की पुलिस की टीम दिल्ली में आती दिल्ली जब कोर्ट ने उनसे पूछा कि ये मामला पंजाब के अंदर कैसे बनता है आपने अफेयर क्यों दर्ज की क्यों ना इस एफ आई को रद्द किया जाए तो एस बना दी गई हाँ। आज तक ड्रग्स माफियाओं के खिलाफ एस नहीं बनाई पंजाब चुनाव जीतने के बाद आज तक किसी ड्रग माफिया को पकड़ने के लिए 50 पुलिस पंजाब पुलिस की फोर्स नहीं गई लेकिन मुझे पकड़ने गई दर्शाता है और जिस तरीके से आप सोचिए no no पोस्टर लगाते हैं नाउ यू आर लीडर बिकॉज ऑफ विच बीजेपी एंड आम आदमी पार्टी आर हैविंग फाइट तेजेंद्र पाल बग्गा बट द पॉइंट इज दे से कि आप जानबूझ के डेलिबरेटली यू मेक सच कॉमेंट्स एंड यू मेक सच स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ विच कम्यूनल हार्मनी डिस्ट्रॉय होती है वो कहते हैं दैट यू डेलिबरेटली इनसाइड क्राउड जी ईश्वर एक बात बताइए जो एफ आई आर है उसमें क्या लिखा है मैंने अरविंद केजरीवाल को धमकी दी धमकी क्या थी हम आपको चैन से जीने नहीं देंगे कहे कि ये जान से मरने की धमकी होती है ईश्वर आप खुद बताइए अगर मैं किसी को अरविंद केजरीवाल को कहूँ की चुल्लू पर पानी में डूब के मर जाओ तो वो तो कहेंगे की तजिंदर भक्कर ने मुझे सुसाइड के लिए प्रेरित किया है तो मतलब मैं टीवी चैनल के ऊपर आके दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री को जान से मारने की धमकी दूंगा मतलब मुझे पागल कुत्ते ने काटा है क्या मतलब ये बिल्कुल पचकारा बात है मैं आपको ईश्वर एक और बात बताता हूँ जब पंजाब हाई कोर्ट ने पंजाब पुलिस को नोटिस दिया और ये पूछा कि जुरिस्ट्रिक्शन कैसे बनता है तो उन्होंने कहा कि दो मामले और दर्ज है एक मामला मलेर कोटला में डीडीआर काट दी गई जिसमें यह लिखा गया कि एक असलम नाम का व्यक्ति जा रहा था वहां पे पंद्रह बीस हिंदू खड़े थे उन्होंने नारा लगाया जिस हिंदू का खून ना खोले खून नहीं वो पानी है उसके हाथ में तजिंदर बग्गा का पोस्टर हाँ। था पंजाब पुलिस असलम खान की रिपोर्ट पे वहां पहुंची और जैसे ही वहां पहुंची सारे लोग जा चुके थे मेरे पोस्टर गिरे मिले थे मतलब जहां मलेर कोटरला में आज तक जीवन में नहीं किया वहां मैंने लोगों को भेजा जब पंजाब पुलिस आगे मेरे पोस्टर करा के वो चलेंगे ताकि पंजाब पुलिस को सबूत मिल जाए दूसरी रिपोर्ट मेरे खिलाफ एक और पुलिस थाने सुहाना सुहाना पुलिस थाने के अंदर की गई जिसमें लिखा कि पंजाब पुलिस की जिप्सी जा रहे थे वो भड़काऊ पोस्टर लिखे थे तजिंदर बग्गा का नाम लिखा था वहां भी कोई व्यक्ति ना प्रेस का पता लगा ना लगाने वाले का पता लगा लेकिन मेरा नाम लिखा हुआ था देखिए तेजेंद्र पाल बग्गा मैं आपको बताऊं मैं आपसे सिर्फ एक आखिरी सवाल पूछ रहा हूं तेजेंद्र पाल बग्गा जो मैंने आपसे कहा था ना कि आपको वो हिस्ट्री शीटर बताते हैं रिपीटेड ऑफेंडर बनाते हैं जो आधिकारिक तौर पे आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से कहा जाता है कि भाई इसी वर्ष तीस मार्च को दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर पर हमला और मैं पूरी लिस्ट बता रहा हूँ बारह अक्टूबर दो को तेजेंद्र पाल सिंह बग्गा ने अपने दो साथियों के साथ सुप्रीम कोर्ट के वकील प्रशांत भूषण पर जानलेवा हमला किया 2011 में बग्गा ने सैयद शाह गिलानी अरुण धती रॉय और मीर वाइस उमर फारूक पर हमला किया 14 मई 2019 को लोकसभा चुनाव के दौरान कोलकाता में अमित शाह के रोड शो में हिंसा हुई जिसका आरोप तजेंद्र पाल बग्गा पे लगाया गया ये आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से क्या जाता है अठारह जनवरी दो को तिलक थाने में तेजेंद्र पाल बग्गा के खिलाफ घर में जबरन घुसने के हमले की कोशिश के आरोप में आई पी सी के तहत केस दर्ज होता है 15 अक्टूबर 2018 को तुगलक रोड थाने में धार्मिक विद्वेष फैलाने से दैट मीन कमनल हाम इन्हें डिस्टर्ब करने से 158 फिफ्टी के तहत इन सेक्शन वन तेजेंद्र केस इज रजिस्टर्ड अगेंस्ट यू एंड दिस इज नॉट इट दे गो हेड सेवेंथ पॉइंट बग्गा एन उसके साथियों के खिलाफ आईपीसी सेक्शन 34 के तहत तुगलक रोड पर दो केस और दर्ज होते हैं 29 नवंबर 2019 को 
पटियाला हाउस कोर्ट में आईपीसी 153 के तहत दंगा कराने की नियत से भड़काऊ भाषण देने के लिए दोषी करार दिया जाता है तो इस तरीके से दिस लिस्ट इज नेवर एंडिंग ऐसे दस और है जो आम आदमी पार्टी कहती है इसीलिए तेजेंद्र पाल बग्गा रिपीरियड ऑफेंडर है तेजेंद्र जी मैं सिर्फ आपसे ये रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा अगर आप अपना ऑडियो पीस थोड़ा सा पास कर लें जी एक दो हजार चौदह के बाद मेरे खिलाफ एक भी एफ आई आर और एक भी पंजाब वाली को अगर छोड़ रहे एक भी एफ आई आर दर्ज नहीं है आप चाहे तो किसी भी सोर्सेस से पता कर सकते हैं ये बिल्कुल झूठ है जो भी मेरे खिलाफ एफ आई आर हुई वो जब कांग्रेस की केंद्र में सरकार थी उसके अंतर्गत भी और दिल्ली में भी कांग्रेस की सरकार थी जो आपने सैयद अली शाह coming in now breaking news coming in that there is another low intensity blast uh, reported in mohali uh, the, the way, we're trying to get you more details as of this minute we can tell you the first pictures coming in or uh, reports of another explosion being reported on mohali uh, republic accesses pictures of a second minor explosion in mohali as per news agency ani waiting uh, for more details on on this uh, low intensity explosion that was reported waiting for more details in fact the first pictures that are coming in a news agency ani putting out those pictures hours after there was uh, there was an attack on the punjab police intel headquarters in mohali uh, these are more pictures coming in of a second low intensity explosion being reported uh, we will go across to our correspondents on the ground amandeep is anam uh, amandeep is joining me live it's a second explosion we are told second explosion uh, a, a reported in mohali can you can you confirm can you confirm the can you confirm the location or what we know so far amandeep uh, can you tell us what we know so far of a second explosion that we are hearing has taken place amandeep amandeep can you hear me we are just standing outside the punjab intelligence punjab intelligence office and in fact i can show you the visuals as well we are continuously uh, deployed here and tracking each and every movement of multiple investigating agencies and even you can see the visuals the area is very much clear and in fact uh, just minutes before nia team has searched the area niranjan just because this is the possible area from where the rpg was uh, uh, was fired by the attackers and this area was completely completely uh, searched by the nia team just minutes back we have given the live report on that and in fact exclusive live report even uh, the nia has searched this entire area to collect the piece of evidence and after that and a team of indian army has also arrived at punjab and uh, punjab intelligence headquarter but after that no team has been came out for certain kind of search we are just continuously monitoring the situation every single development is in um, is is captured in our camera niranjan every uh, every step of investigation is being followed by the republic tv and even so far this is only one recovery uh, uh, th that was the rpg fired rpg recovered inside the intelligence office and i can show you the visuals also this is the possible range which was Please, being like investigated more like pictures uh, more like pictures stay with me stay with me uh, pictures on ani also pictures from ani also of uh, of the location where the second reported explosion was reported a uh, second explosion second minor explosion that was uh, put out, that was uh, reported where where amandeep is right now second explosion we are told second minor explosion right there amandeep why don't you walk why don't you walk walk towards that location and show us amandeep at the location of the second explosion amandeep walk walk there amandeep walk and show us where it happened Well, 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 Niranjan. I am. We are walking. We are walking. Yes, yes. We are walking towards the area, and I am trying to show you that the this is just outside the intelligence headquarters of Punjab Police, and even this is. You can see these are. This is the area. This is the area which is completely under the scanner of the NIA and the multiple investigating agency, and you can see that. 
This is the area, Niranjan. This is the area. This is the area where minutes before NIA has surged completely just because this is a possible area from where the RPG was fired. You can see this is the Office of Intelligence. Indian Army is there. Niranjan, Indian Army is now investigating the case. They have reached where the damage had happened. You can see the broken window pane and inside that room Indian Army officials have reached to investigate this matter. You can see the visuals, Niranjan. First on Republic, you can see the Indian Army officer is there. You can see the Indian Army officer is there investigating the matter. You can see, you can see the visuals. Before this, NIA has visited and now Indian Army. Multiple agencies are probing this matter just because this is very sensitive. You can see, Niranjan, you can see this wall was damaged by the RPG and even uh, CEO rank officer is there to investigate the matter. CEO rank officer is investigating is investigating this matter, visiting the spot, checking the intensity of the blast and how much capacity of that grenade was to give a damage. They, they are also verifying the firing range. They are also verifying the firing range from where possibly it can be fired. You can see the visuals. Army Niranjan, officers this is first on the public that Indian Army has now joined the... Right. Amandeep, they're inside the Punjab police headquarters on the fourth floor, which was attacked. Well, absolutely. Absolutely, Niranjan, absolutely. Punjab police is briefing the Indian Army as well as NIA that how it happened, which was the spot, and in fact, how much impact on the building as well. This is the area which was highly impacted by the RPG, which was fired from the possible range which where we were earlier, just minutes back. And in fact, now Indian Army has also roped in for the investigation. This, is, this shows, Niranjan, the seriousness and the sensitiveness of this attack. This is not a normal attack. Terror angle, cross-border terror angle is involved into this attack. That is the reason they are now investigating it in a very deep manner. The in, uh, arriving the team of Indian Army is a very, very uh, important and in fact they are taking the stock of the situation. They are questioning the people who had listened what and who have seen what, who all were the witness of this uh, entire episode. And in fact they are trying to collect the technical evidence from the spot as well they are finding out the range from where the rpg was fired they are trying to identify the intensity of the blast and they are trying to find out what was the target of the attackers where they wanted to target either they wanted to give a random damage to this building or there any specific target of the attackers the way they have shot the rpg from um, from the bushes behind the road and parked their card on the roadside and managed to flee just because a proper reiki was done by the attackers and even they know what are the escape routes of this area and even they know where to fire how to fire and which was the which should be the firing range they have everything and in fact Niranjan, the most important point is that this entire area was searched by the Punjab police but Punjab police did not find the launcher in this area that indicates that the the launcher has been taken back by the attackers. They spend good amount of time in this area. Good amount of time, Niranjan. And this is this is what the now the Indian Army is collecting each and every piece of information. Just because pro Khalistani elements modest Prendi has been opted in this attack. Niranjan, remember this kind of these kind of attacks uh, carried out in late 80s or early 90s when the uh, terrorism in Punjab was on peak. RPG was uh, used to launch against the forces that were deployed in Punjab. And after a huge gap of now again such kind of attacks resumes in Punjab that indicates that pro Khalistani elements are trying to activate their cells and even trying to carry out the such kind of attacks to spread the terror. N Niranjan, two points are there. Number one, either this attack was to spread the terror among the Punjab police and in the Punjab by uh, firing RPG on the intelligence headquarters or it was a specific target by the attackers 
players they know whom to hit by this rpg what uh, uh, what should be the damage by the rpg and which side of this intelligence office should be damaged just because fourth floor of the this building niranjan where this room was damaged that 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 floor was completely occupied by the intelligence Int ig intelligence used to sit there his office is on the other side of the building this is the road side where his staff used to sit there and operate all the files are being prepared at this side and ig intelligence the sinder olax used to sit on this floor and even certain other officers also but the main question is that multiple agencies has been roped in niranjan and even they are investigating from the ground to the technical evidence and even punjab police have detained certain people they are questioning is going on but no arrest has been established so far no arrest has been established for so far they are they, the the connection of this entire attack is being reached to the pakistan as well pro khalistani elements who are sitting in pakistan they are handling the people in punjab to carry out such attacks and certain kind of recoveries Sir, are happening in punjab continuously from past 10 days and all of sudden this attack happened uh, union, yes, union home minister amit shah union um, uh, union home minister amit shah speaking live in assam i'd like to cut across he's addressing a rally where people have turned up in large numbers despite the rain cutting across street live and breaking from assam now <laughs>
आसान सरकार ने पचास हजार रुपया हर मृतक को शिद्दत के साथ इनके बैंक अकाउंट के अंदर पहुंचा आसाम के अंदर मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में हमने हिंसा अल्पावाद और उग्रवाद के खिलाफ जियो कॉन्फ्रेंस की नीति अपनाई और युवाओं की आकांक्षाओं के अनुरूप विकास प्रगति और शिक्षा का एक नया युग चालू किया उग्रवादी संगठनों के साथ कई समझौते हुए नौ हजार से ज्यादा उग्रवादी हथियार डालकर आज मेन स्ट्रीट में शामिल हुए ताकि का समझौता हो या बोर्ड Showing you the pictures of this protest, which is right now taking place uh, outside Shahin Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress Party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. A uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh,
we are showing you the pictures of this protest which is right now taking place uh, outside Shaheen Bagh. Remember that bull bulldozer has reached here. But workers of Congress party are now uh, protesting against this drive um, of uh, South Delhi Municipal Corporation. Now police is trying to stop these protesters who are protesting here. A uh, police is trying to control the situation. Police is requesting the uh, protesters to move away from this very location. But uh, the locals are sitting here in large numbers. Uh, Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing you pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं द पिक्चर्स ऑफ क्रैश इज टेकिंग प्लेस बिटवीन पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज पुलिस रिसॉर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीस प्रोटेस्टर्स Chinese President Xi Jinping met German Chancellor Olaf Scholz via video call. In addition to bilateral ties and furthering trade and investments between the two countries, the two sides also discussed the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. According to media reports, China has been working to promote peace and diffuse tensions between Russia and Ukraine. More than 100 firefighters from 20 different fire departments responded to an overnight fire at an energy energy plant in Fort Bend. Drive in the national capital continues today. We are reporting from New Prince Colony of the national capital. Let me tell you that this is the fourth zone in which anti encroachment drive is going on. It comes uh, uh, to uh, central zone, south zone, west zone, and Nazafgarh zone. So I am reporting from the New Friends Colony area, uh, where the anti-encroachment drive is just over. We can show you in the visuals the heavy deployment of the police was done, the heavy deployment of the forces was done. So uh, the drive is going on in the national capital, and it will continue. Uh, and 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 MCD has already uh, gone through the list. The areas has been already selected where all uh, this particular. the drive is going to go ahead so right now reporting from the new friends colony area which comes under the south zone so today it was in the fourth zone of the national capital and the anti encroachment drive of mcd will continue in the national capital with video journalist hitesh i am anoj and this is republic all right much more coming up on the other side bjp leader tejendra bagga gets relief Arrest uh, court says uh, no course of action till 5th of July stay tuned to Republic TV Amity has been ranked amongst the top 3% universities globally a testimony to Amity's globally benchmarked quality to apply visit amity.edu कांग्रेस के नेता वहां पर कह रहे हैं कि हम आगे नहीं चलने देंगे बुलडोजर को कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया गया है और हम यहां शाहीन बाग को टारगेट करने की बात फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता कर रहे हैं किस तरह से सियासी रूप से ये बुलडोजर चलाया जा रहा है सिर्फ शाहीन बाग पर चलाया जा रहा है जामिया पर चलाया जा रहा है ये बात कह रहे हैं पुलिस एंड वर्कर्स ऑफ पोलिटिकल पार्टी पुलिस रिजोर्टिंग टू बाकी चार्ज रिमूविंग दीज प्रोटेस्टर्स Chinese President Xi Jinping met German Chancellor Olaf Scholz via video call. In addition to bilateral ties and furthering trade and investments between the two countries, the two sides also discussed the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. According to media reports, China has been working to promote peace and diffuse tensions between Russia and Ukraine.
More than 100 firefighters from 20 different fire departments responded to an overnight fire at an energy energy plant in Fort Bend, County, Texas. Officials said a coal unit caught fire on the roof before midnight. A spokesperson for NRG said that the station is being shut down and no injuries were reported. Stocks deepened their losses on Wall Street. The benchmark index came off its fifth weekly loss in a row and renewed worries about China's economy piled on top of markets already battered by rising interest rates. Stocks fell across Europe and much of Asia as did everything from old economy crude oil to new economy Bitcoin. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said during an official visit to non-NATO member Moldova that the consequences of Russia's war against Ukraine escalating are too frightening to contemplate. UN chief who arrived in Moldova's capital also said in a joint press conference with Prime Minister Natalia that the impact of Russia's war in neighboring Ukraine is profound and far-reaching. Relatives of people still missing in an explosion of a luxury hotel in Cuba's capital clung on to hope to their loved ones that they still might be found alive. More bodies were pulled from the ruins of the Hotel Saratoga, bringing the official death toll of a powerful explosion at the iconic building to 35. After a meeting at the Chancellery, the German Chancellor and French President went for a walk through the gate, which was illuminated in yellow and blue colours of the Ukrainian flag. Both leaders waved to numerous people awaiting their visit at the Berlin's iconic landmark. Fireworks lit up the night sky in Moscow as a part of celebrations of the 77th Victory Day. The celebrations were carried out at the Victory Park in Moscow. Residents of Kherson took part in Immortal Regiment March, celebrating victory. Viewers, after a ban on Kashmir files in Singapore, the Congress, the Congress has once again demanded a ban on Kashmir files film in India. Big breaking coming right now. Meaningful step to ban film in Singapore. Congress is saying, and now the Congress is demanding a ban on the Kashmir films files film in India. I remember that just a short while back. Uh, Filmmaker Vivek Agnihotri and MP Shashi Tharoor had engaged in a war of words on Twitter after Tharoor had posted that Kashmir Files film had been banned in Singapore for being provocative. Let's listen in to the reactions coming in on the story. Kashmir Files ka Singapore mein ban karna hum samajhte hain ki bahut hi sarthak kadam hai. Isi tarah ki demand Bharat mein bhi thi Kashmir movies ko बैन करने की लेकिन भारत सरकार ने इसको बैन करने की बजाय इसको प्रमोट करने की कोशिश की और जिससे पूरी तरह से देश में पोलराइजेशन होगी धर्म के नाम पर और आप आज देख रहे हैं जिस तरीके से धार्मिक संस्थानों पर घटनाएं हो रही हैं जिस तरह से हिंदू मुस्लिम में बदवाद हो रहा है वो उसका वजह हम कश्मीर फाइल को मानते हैं और जिस तरह से आज कश्मीरी पंडित जो कश्मीर में रह रहे हैं जहाँ गैर कश्मीरी जो कश्मीर में रह रहे हैं उनको अंक के द्वारा टारगेट किया जा रहा है और भारत much more coming up on the other side. Will the West harbor terrorists and terror groups like SFJ? Time for India to wrap up. Pressure. Stay tuned to Republic TV. locations plus perhaps across the length and breadth of Mumbai. It's being done in North Mumbai, in Goregaon, in Malad and Borivali. It's also been done in South Bombay. Massive surveillance was uh, put in place uh, to zero down on exactly those people who were facilitating uh, channelizing of drugs, uh, uh, taking money out through Hawala route, uh, funding of uh, these terror activities. Now the workers of Congress party are being detained. We are showing the pictures of uh, uh, the police action which is taking place here at Shaheen Bagh. These workers are raising slogans against uh, the uh, BJP government. Uh, the protesters who are being detained, they will be put into this bus um, and then this bus will move ahead. We are showing you the pictures of police action. Police personnel have reached here in large numbers and is not letting the, the protesters to continue their protest. 
news in brief now calling for the commitment to the party's accelerated revival congress president sonia gandhi has said that it is imperative that leaders and workers step forward and repay their debt to the party in full measure at a critical juncture when the party is beset with challenges in her opening remarks at the meeting of the cwc sonia gandhi noted that there are no magic wands for electoral success Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has said that strict action will be taken against perpetrators of the Bihar Public Service Commission preliminary examination paper leak. He said that immediate action in the matter has been taken and the government is checking where and how the paper was leaked from. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister has said that an inquiry has begun and the Punjab police uh, and uh, the police uh, are investigating the incident. Chhattisgarh's Chief Minister Bhopesh Baghel has hit out at the BJP for turning Lord Ram into a warrior-like figure and Hanuman into a symbol of anger to further politics of polarization. Baghel added that the portrayal of Lord Ram and Hanuman as aggressive figures over years isn't good for society. The Border Security Force troops foiled another smuggling attempt through a Pakistani drone. Vigilant BSF troops fired at the drone coming from Pakistan and brought it down. During the search, BSF recovered a hexacopter drone and seized about 10 kgs of heroin. The Amritsar BSF DIG B Singh said soldiers heard the humming of a drone flying over the fence and fired nine shots towards the flying object and brought it down. Karnataka's chief. एजेंसी के अफसर और पुलिस के अफसर जोड़े ने वो इस गलते लगे हुए हैं कि जिन्हें भी पंजाब का माहौल खराब करने की कोशिश की थी वो बख्शा नहीं जाऊगा सख्त तो सख्त सजा मिलेगी आतंकवाद का खात्मा करना इस देश की सबसे बड़ी प्रायोरिटी है पंजाब पुलिस ऐसे काम में सक्षम भी है हम सरकार के साथ खड़े हैं Khalistan link emerges to Mohali terror attack. It appears the RPG was fired from 100 meters away. Khalistan group, terror group SFJ claims role in terror attack releases tape saying he marched next. Will the West harbor terrorists and terror groups like SFJ? Time for India to ramp up pressure. Bulldozer drive continues on day two. Bulldozer rolls on in more locations in Delhi. Congress and AAP block demolition drive again. AAP MLA detained. BJP leader Tajinder Bagga gets relief from arrest. The court says no coercive action till the 5th of July. And getting in an update that the Punjab police has denied reports of a second explosion. Meanwhile, the NI team has arrived at the Punjab Police Intelligence Headquarters after the rocket attack. Aam Aadmi Party has also condemned the attack, saying it is an attempt to spread hatred. In the incident of uh, RPG attack on the intelligence headquarters of Punjab Police, now Punjab Police DGP VK Bhavra uh, in his press briefing revealed that there are certain leads with the Punjab Police on which the investigation is going on. But he has not confirmed any arrest just because no arrest has been made by the Punjab Police so far. There are certain leads on which the police is investigating and even there are certain people who have been detained by the Punjab Police and questioning is going on. Terror angle cannot be ruled out and even 
even Khalistan angle was not ruled out in the course of investigation. This is what the DGP has claimed in his press briefing. But the point is that from where this attack has been carried out just because that is the most sensitive point and that is the most important angle of this entire news story. We are just standing on the road from where the RPG was fired. This is the road that is leading towards the local court and in fact having two possible escape routes. This is one possible escape route of this entire area from where the attack has been carried out by uh, the certain elements and even on the other side also. On the other side of the road I'll show you that this is the, the other side of the road from where attackers managed to flee from the spot after launching the RPG on the intelligence building and in fact now I'll show you the spot where the RPG hit and what kind of damage has been done by this RPG. You can see that on the fourth floor of the building. You can see that is the room where RPG was fired and the damaged wall is the point where it RPG hit and the grenade blast. The impact of the grenade was so severe that it all the window panes of the, uh, of the room has been broken and the entire building shattered. Even the people, the policemen who were standing on the security on the gate, they got to know something had happened and even they hide immediately that there is some kind of attack just because this is not a normal sound. You can see the visuals. Fourth floor of this building is being damaged and soon after receiving the information, entire area was cordoned. this spot where we are standing from here attackers have fled just because they have done a prior reiki of this entire area that what are the possible escape routes how the attack can be carried out this is how they have carried out their operation against the Punjab police intelligence headquarters their motive is to hit and to blast and with the motive of the casualties they came here they fired the RPG with the launcher and even they took the launcher along with them and managed to flee from the spot. They have chosen the timing of 7.45 somewhere that the sun, when the sun is down and in fact when the duty, security duty is shift is being changed and you can see the visuals as well behind me that now they are trying to re repair the damage. They, this is the NIA team also. NIA team is now investigating the matter. They are trying to find out the piece of evidence from the explosives, from the RPG the, from the grenade what was the angle and with what motive it was fired either it is a low intensity blast or it is a high intensity blast just because the damage is not so much but the window panes has been broken of the room and even it was bla the blast happened after it hit the one side And breaking news coming in, hearing is currently underway in the Varanasi court over the Gyanwapi Mosque survey. Our correspondent Madhurima is at the spot to give us all the updates from Varanasi. Madhurima, it's over to you. What can you tell us about what's happening at the court? We believe the hearing on uh, the all-important Gyanwapi Mosque survey is underway. Well, yes, absolutely. The well, the Gyanwapi survey... The Gyanwapi survey. Right, Madhurima, it's over to you for all the latest updates from the Varanasi court. We believe the hearing is underway. It's already begun. Well, yes, uh, the hearing is underway. It has already begun. It's been around 10 to 15 minutes uh, that the entire procedure of hearing uh, the arguments of both sides has begun. Yesterday, the court's commissioner had made himself very clear that he is carrying out the proceedings without any bias. We'll also take you straight to the visuals over here at the court. As you can see, that the security has been beefed up here. The police officials have made it clear that nobody passes this rope that they have put over here uh, so as to make sure that uh, the decorum in the court premises uh, uh, prevails. Uh, also, what today uh, the point is that uh, are very important today is to look out for is to whether the court will give a decision on the change in the position of the court commissioner. The court will have to decide that whether Mr. Ajay Kumar Mishra, who was initially appointed by the court, will continue to uh, conduct the videographic surgery as directed by the court or uh, 
uh, it would be somebody else or if an additional member needs to be added into the court commissioner's team to carry out the entire procedure. It is because uh, the, it is the Gyan Vyapi mosque side that had raised questions and apprehensions regarding the intentions of Mr. Ajay Kumar Mishra, who is the court commissioner appointed by the court himself. And also, uh, this was a question raised now as far as uh, the court's concern is we'll take you through the pictures as well and I'll keep on speaking regarding the case that is happening over here that uh, the court's commissioner had himself said that he is working without bias it is the video camera that will speak the truth as to what is really there at the mosque side the controversial site where the Hindu side is claiming that they should be allowed to go and freely conduct prayers following which the court had sought for uh, these uh, uh, videographic evidences. However, the entire uh, endeavor of collecting the videographic evidence fell flat because there was a massive protest that erupted at uh, the gate number four of Kashi Vishwanath Temple over there. And uh, there were uh, around uh, two to three hundred people that had gathered in and outside the mosque uh, banning the entry of the court's videographer. And after that, this particular court was moved, uh, questioning the intentions of Mr. Ajay Kumar Mishra, the court-appointed commissioner, asserting that he is a bit inclined towards the side of the petitioners who are asking that they should be freely allowed to go inside and worship at the uh, Shringar Gauri Temple, uh, whereas they are only allowed on the fourth day of Chaitra Navratri. The worship is only allowed on that particular day. However, these five women have come forward and they have filed the case uh, asking for uh, a free will and free permission. We'll take you back to the visuals as this is the particular court where the hearing is underway and the uh, uh, and uh, the judge over here is hearing to the arguments now today from the side of uh, the uh, the uh, Gyan Vyapi Moss side because yesterday the court commissioner had put forth a side the court has given uh, has uh, questioned that if at all the mosque side is uh, uh, you know do they agree with it or if they have any final comments those final comments will be heard by the court today following which a decision could be taken now the decision if the decision falls on the favor of uh, uh, the Gauri Shankar case side, uh, Gauri Shringar case side, I beg your pardon, then the videographic survey will be conducted by Mr. Gajay Kumar Mishra himself. If there is a change in the court's commissioner's position, then it would be uh, that particular person who will be conducting the entire survey because the survey had only reached one particular wall of the mosque where uh, and on the third day when they wanted to go inside, they were stopped and they were stalled by the hundreds of people that had gathered in and around the mosque and if today the courts decide then it will be on the courts commissioner's uh, will that he will be conducting the entire survey it is to be noted that the courts commissioner while giving his arguments yesterday had asserted over the fact that the court should highlight uh, the entire map of the surveys that where am i allowed where am i not allowed where all should i not be stalled if i want to go inside and even inside to what extent will i be allowed to conduct the videographic surgery. So all these issues have been put forth by the court commissioner in front of the court uh, asserting that he aims to conduct the entire videographic survey without any bias. The court has taken cognizance of uh, the statement made by the court's commissioner. We'll have to wait and right. watch as to what would be the final observation on the part of the court and if at all it happens uh, we could expect a uh, videographic survey soon enough. Back to you. Right, Madhurima, earlier to the court had said that it would not be interfering, it would not be stalling the survey. But on Saturday, when the Advocate Commissioner and lawyers representing both the Hindu and Muslim sides had, on, had gone inside the Gyanwapi complex, they had to come out after spending nearly two hours there and they were unable to accomplish the work. Clearly, a lot of challenges on the road ahead, whatever happens in court.
Well, absolutely, it would not be an easy task because religious sentiments from both sides are deeply involved in this entire matter. And we saw that how the entire force of people protesting against the entire videographic survey had poured in, uh, uh, in and around the Kishwa, Kashi Vishwanath Gate number four, making it very difficult for the court commissioner and his entire team to conduct the survey. Yesterday, Republic also spoke to spoke exclusively uh, to one of the assistants or assistant of the videographer there, and he uh, he told us specifically that they feared that there was so much uh, angst amongst the people over there that they feared that uh, they might uh, even uh, you know break the equipments that with they were carrying. There were expensive cameras that were involved to take photographs and videos of the entire uh, controversial site of the Gyan Vyapi Mosque in and around the entire vicinity was to be scrutinized properly. But looking at uh, the number of people that had poured in at that particular moment, uh, it was uh, uh, the decision to back out was taken uh, by the court commissioner and their entire team, following which we know that this particular court... And breaking news now, sedition case in court. The affidavit says Prime Minister has been cognizant of issues relating to civil liberties and he believes at a time of 75th year of independence, nation wants to shed colonial baggage including outdated colonial laws. A very strong statement there on the part of